That's not how you count. I'm pretty sure that's that is how, how you count. count. I'm not even All listening. Right. I'm just. Yeah, I just want to yell. Oh wait, which one of these is? Oh, shit, everyone can hear us. Hold on. Okay, it's this one. I didn't know which one was the right uh, scene to start, so I feel like those two bottom corners are empty. I'm gonna put like pictures in them. Oh, we're live, guys. Uh, All right. Hey. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us. Drink, talk, learn. This is not Ultra Podcast D. Sorry, I don't have any like special things for it at the start. Oops. But uh, we're gonna drink, we're gonna talk, and we're gonna learn. Um, maybe only one out of those three. Uh, I'm Manuel. Um, everyone could just fi- everyone choose who goes next, and let's see how well that goes. Like, just start, start introducing yourself. My name's yourself. Callie. Callie. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Double Dorks DIY. Okay, Rose, your turn. Uh, uh hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to such a good start. I'm just going to sequential okay. order, but go ahead, by all means. <laughs> Add anxiety gothic Twitter, thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Matt, Matt, go ahead. ahead. All right. Ah. What's going on, everybody? I'm MGC or Matt. Uh, you could, uh, I think TikTok's where I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff. <laughs> so MGC underscore universe. Um, been working on this wood boken katana thing. And uh, yeah, let's let's tear it up. You also have a clip in your hair. Yeah, solidarity <laughs> with Molly. <laughs> Speaking of which, go ahead, Molly. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm currently eating dinner because all I've eaten today is a donut. Um, oh, and I don't want to die. I mean, it is National Donut Day. It, it is National, National Donut Day. Is it really? Yeah. Well, it's National Donut, donut Weekend. Yeah, well, it is National Donut donuts, Day so if you have a donut. I'm getting donuts tomorrow. I literally, like ate almost an, like half a pack of Oreos and in my room it's like oh yeah donut day and I was like god damn it <laughs> now so that's a anyways. fucking mood that's a depression mood <laughs> so we ordered donuts because neither of us had cash but we wanted DK donuts and they only take cash but everyone if you haven't tried DK donuts they're in Santa Monica they're amazing they're well, the oh, yeah donut. I love that place we, we, we got donuts they're so good and we gave them to uh to Rolly Angels a long time ago Rolly Angels they're so good idol group. But yeah okay uh Pleiades Play it is Mr. Steal Your Girl and still have better hips than her. You know what it is. Here representing the TBP Treasure Box Press Crew. Whoop, whoop. That's what I'm whoop. saying. Right here. He knows what it's up. And then last but not least. Hi, it's Janet. I don't have a webcam, but I am. <laughs> yeah, ready. I didn't I didn't notice that until like kind of right know now. That was an option. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option either. Apparently it is. Well, you can still share yeah, a screen. That's all that really it matters. Is. But uh, I guess the oh shit I moved the entire thing. Uh, the drinking is now on the honor system. I guess you could just be not drinking. But um, I mean I'm I'm already like yeah. three shots in. What the hey. fuck? I, I, okay, I'm, I'm like three as well. But I thought I was the only one doing. Oh, well, young Gabe. Okay, so, guys. I would be if I had eaten more today, but I did not. Up, well, um, doing doing all right. So um, starting from top oh, left, yo, that'll I'm be Gabe. one. Uh, Janet will be seven. Alexa. Pick a number between one and seven. Oh, also follow me on Twitter. She picked seven. Instagram. You go first, Janet. A. But M A R I I S U G A Marisugo with two eyes. I just or realized. Marisugo cosplay on Facebook. I just realized I might do that for each of them. I just, I thought that would be a one-time thing. I'm like, wait, how do we know who goes next now? But Janet's going first. Heck yeah. Does everyone know the rules? Um, oh yes. Sorry, no. sorry. No, we need to explain Probably a good way to start. To, to the, 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 I'm sorry. I'm already three shots in, and they're hitting me pretty good. Okay, so what we're doing tonight? We all have a presentation uh, of varying degrees of quality, which we will judge at the end. The audience watching, and we'll judge. We're judging them, them? Just for the fuck of it. Is this? Okay. I guess it's just what gonna make our stream that much longer. We're gonna be too drunk to judge it, and you know that's gonna be the case. <laughs> that's the, it's like we're gonna prize it anyway. The prize doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just bragging the rights. The prize is cancer. What are you talking about? It's just liver <laughs> failure. Oh my liver failure. Oh my god, it's terrible. So, um, but well, anyways, we all have a presentation. Ideally, they're gonna be ten minutes in length. Um, they can go a little longer, but there are penalties now. 
the way the drink part comes in is after three minutes within your presentation we will be keeping time and i hope to have a timer on screen i'm gonna try it i don't know if it'll work um good luck yeah it's i'm, I'm already thinking it's not gonna work <laughs> um after three minutes you take a drink after every minute thereafter you take another drink now i don't mean like take a shot like if you already have a mixed drink ready just just take a drink but don't don't, don't be don't be chicken about it don't don't like don't sip it take a drink and then um there you go. The idea is you do this for everyone's or just your own. Just your just own. Just your own. You can, uh, and of course so you don't. You, it's not everyone drinks every minute. It's just okay. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was like, wait, 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 we get to mine. We're gonna all be <laughs> dead. It's like somebody call the ambulance. I need to get my stomach pumped. Um, the idea is Janet's gonna be gone by the time we're already talking about like the next presentation. So. Uh, so yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna fall asleep on stream. It's gonna be good. <laughs> We're not even gonna be able to tell. I know. <laughs> I know. It's gonna, you're just gonna that hear is me. the best strat. You're gonna hear me quietly snore, and then you're gonna hear my cat try to wake me up. <laughs> this is gonna be anyway, good. So Manuel, because you have a timer on stream, do you want to do, do the timer, or should I still do the no, timer? No, you should still, and you your should still do it. Probably because, not quite right. Yeah, you should still do it. So let me, let me actually don't trust forward. Manuel right now, Kelly. You're gonna be the most. Oh, I know. I life. I know. But I wanted to see if he <laughs> thought he could trust himself. No, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna try to capture the thing though. Hold on. Um, hello. What a sizable parrot window. What is even that? Um, hold on. Alarm clock. Time score. I'm also doing a mukbang of very healthy okay, dinner okay, right there now. There goes. Oh, I can't. I didn't, I didn't even eat dinner. My my dinner is eat hot chip and okay. lime. Eat hot chip and lime. Okay. Oh, wait, this, wait, wait. this might work. This might work. It actually captured it. And I, I can actually minimize it still, which is the big issue. So okay, Janet, you're gonna start. You get your presentation ready. And then, uh, uh and host disabled participant <laughs> screen oh, sharing. Sorry, um, let me try to figure out how to fix that. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh Zoom's super cool cough. and just resets your things every time. Oof. How do I fix it? Oh, here we go. I bet it's under screen share. Um, guys, A to G has a Minecraft server. Everyone should join, and we should all go. I downloaded it. Minecraft. Do it. Switch. I'm gonna join. And you, should you, you should be able to host. Right? You should be able to screen share. How do you already find strongholds? Heck yeah. The, the... Are you on creative mode? No. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. Because it's super easy to find I'm on creative mode. All right. Okay. Here we go. Are so, we good? Oh, shit. Hey. Wait, uh, I'm a dumbass. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Should, Should I count Killing down? Me. Should I count down to start? Yes, but not yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Okay. So, count down, and then I'll hit my, the time at the same time. Three, two, one, start. All right, welcome to Frozen Treats and You, or How I Learned to Stop Bothering with Fat Content and Learned to <laughs> Love Ice Cream. Learned to ah. love the bomb. Ice cream, gelato, frozen custard, frozen yogurt, sorbet, sherbet. What makes them all different? What makes them all unique? Why does my tub sometimes say frozen dairy treat? <laughs> sometimes it does. Are ice creams made with alternative milks really ice cream? Learn this and more, and be able to tell the USDA, wow, your rules are weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love your presentation. <laughs> so, ice cream. This is often, you've definitely had this. This is your big umbrella term for most frozen treat that is not, like, a popsicle. Um, in the U.S., according to the USDA, there are certain requirements for a dessert that is frozen to be legally called ice cream. It has to have more than 10% milk fat. Uh, most common commercial brands are between 14 and 25%. There has to be 6 to 10% milk solids. These are your proteins and your lactose and your caseins that you get from your milks and your creams. Other ingredients include some recipes have egg yolks. You got your sweeteners like sugars, honeys, your milks, your creams, your add-ins. Um, goat milk, if you follow all of these rules, goat milk ice cream counts. That sounds kind of ah. weird. I'm down. Hey, what about human milk? You know what? Molly! <laughs> Legally, you follow these rules. I don't see why not. Molly, what is wrong with you? It's consensual. <laughs> oh, why so, not? So, one of the big things about ice cream and other frozen dairy desserts are is overrun. It's the air that they turn into ice cream. That's and with one. with a lot of your commercially available ice creams, your Briars, your Ben and Jerry's, your Blue Bunnies, your Blue Bells, so on, it can be up that air can be up to 50 percent of the volume in your ice cream container which is a lot so it's like buying chips it's like buying chips um all of these percentages count toward the actual ingredients not the air 
Cheaper ice mm. creams, understandably, have way more air in them. Um, and then, you know, ice creams are usually designated into hard scoop and soft serve. Soft serve, <laughs> constantly mix. You've all, we've all seen a soft serve machine. It's just constantly spinning. We hear it where you're at your favorite, like, American Chinese buffet, and you're like, I'm going to get some of that terrible, terrible ice cream. It makes all those terrible noises. It's have great. you ever seen one of them open? It's just like they just pour, like, just cream in it. And just, oh, yeah, the, pre, the pre-mixed the bags. Yeah. That's part of the reason that disgusting. soft serve, soft what's serve the, is easy to maintain. What's the timer count? What is this? It's, it's coming, it's coming, it's so, coming. All right, just make it sure. Just make it sure. So, so soft serve, you know, it's really easy to maintain because you just take your mix, you throw it in the machine, you let the machine go, you let the machine go. It's constantly churning. It's drink! Drink! Yeah. Uh, I was waiting, I was... <laughs> I knew it was coming. So, you, it's easier to maintain. It's served a little bit warmer than your hard scoops. It's really common to see everywhere because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Hard scoops, they're very dense and fat. They have much less air than your constantly mixed soft serves. They are let the people let them freeze solid, which is why you see them in the big cases. It's more effort to upkeep them, but because they're not being constantly churned, you actually get the mixins, which is why Ben and Jerry's is like 40% random junk. Delicious. Gelato. This is that fancy ice cream that comes from Italy. More milk, less cream, which you think would be the opposite direction, given how rich it is. Usually no egg yolks. Again, this is a very rich ice cream. How do they do it? Air. Their <laughs> overrun percent is usually in the 10 to 15 percent range compared to ice cream's 50. So arguably... Hey, drink! <laughs> there's less air in gelato. Ge- there's less air in gelato, which means all the other ingredients are much denser, giving a much richer mouthfeel. And it's what makes mouth it almost feel. kind of chewy. Mouthfeel. Mouth mouth <laughs> and it's why gelato <laughs> feels different than ice cream, even though they are at the core almost the same ingredients. Uh, again, temperature when serving different types of frozen desserts has a huge effect. Gelato is served slightly warmer, which allows it to keep a better consistency than a hard scoop ice cream. Frozen custard. So oh. rich, I demand to pay higher taxes. <laughs> it is super the egg yolky. The goat. It is custard. It is incredibly dense. I had some frozen custard not that long ago on a hot day, and it did not start melting for several minutes, and I was impressed. And also, I could not finish it all, and it was the smallest one I could get. This is what, like, you see at Shake Shack, which is if you get a shake... Uh, oh, shit, no. I missed that one. Okay. Hey! <laughs> if you get, like, a Shake Shack shake, it's so thick, and that's because they use custard. <laughs> thick. Ooh. Never quite get solid. You can put one of these things in, like, a soft serve machine, it goes pretty good. And you can let it freeze, and it'll still stay, stay kind of soft. Uh, the earliest commercial sales and, like availability that I could find was like in Jersey. So this is a USA USA product. USA. It's very common USA. in the USA. USA. No, not right not now. Right now. Not, right now. Not, right now. not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Not right we can be better. Not right now. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> but, um, fro- <laughs> but wait, just real quick about frozen custard. Is it super popular in the Midwest? And that's why I got so excited about that because I'm from the Midwest. You can find it yeah. everywhere. Uh, oh, it's home. is it time for me to drink? Not yet. <laughs> okay, it's always it's time to drink. Frozen yogurt. It's almost healthy until you put all those toppings you like to dump on it. Because frozen yogurt actually is not that good. We're there for drink. drink. Similar base ingredients as ice cream, but it's got them good, good bacteria that the ladies in the yogurt commercials always tell you about. Uh, incredibly low fat. <laughs> We're talking one. single digit milk fat content. Grainy texture. I don't know what it is about frozen yogurt. But I don't know if it's that. It's just because there's no fat to really suspend all the sugar or what. But it's always weirdly grainy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh, Can be kept in the same soft serve machines that other soft serves are kept in, which is why frozen yogurt is so popular, because the ingredients are cheaper than soft serve, and it uses a lot of the commonly available machinery. Uh, Freezing a tub of yogurt is not the same thing. You will just have regular yogurt that is frozen, not frozen yogurt. Ooh, that was cool. Um, you know, it's fine. I mean, we all really just go because we really like having a cup full of crushed Oreos with hot fudge. Listen, I like to get that game... frozen yogurt the... with caramel on top. No, I like oh, to man, get it and they get so like the, the, the little gummy bears. Oh man, gummy bears and frozen yogurt are so good. Jesse always yells at me. 
I will literally go in, put a splurt of frozen yogurt, and then do the rest in toppings. I do not. Right? Give a I fuck. once paid three dollars at one of those. Um, you know those frozen yogurt places that like. They char- charge by the ounce or whatever. By the ounce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I once got so many toppings, I had to pay like thirty dollars. What the hey, hell? Hey, Jesus, fucking Molly. legend! Wow. Sorbet. This is juice, but frozen. No, really. It's In the juice. United States, for something to be ca- classified as sorbet, it must not contain dairy oh. in any amount, and be naturally flavored. So Sorber. in the U.S., you see a lot of fruit-flavored and fruit-based sorbets. Your strawberries, your raspberries, your blueberries, your mixed berries, your pineapples, your mangoes, they're pretty good. Um, but as more and more Drink! Are, uh, Shit, I missed that one too. <laughs> as more and more people are trying to avoid dairy milk, I have actually seen like wine and other sort of alcohol based sorbets. I've so seen a chocolate sorbet. It's wild. Um, because they are fruit based and a lot of them use fruit purees, you'll get a really intense fruit flavor, the way that you can't achieve in an ice cream because the milk and the fat is just going to dilute that. Um, I have been to very fancy multi course dinners where, in the middle of them, they give you a small scoop of like super, super, yeah. super tart, uh, like lemon sorbet, and it's a palate cleanser because it'll cut through the fat. Where I'm just like, hell yeah, a scoop of sorbet. <laughs> um, are popsicle <laughs> sorbet? You can argue that. I'm not gonna argue that, but you can argue that. I would I'm argue pretty that. sure. Is this you like a hot dog sandwich debate? I mean, a hot dog's a sandwich. Hot dog is a sandwich. Or that t- is a burrito a sandwich? About? This is are, not this. Are calzones no. and dumplings? <laughs> Kelly, were you there Drink. for that? See, are we're calzones? starting this. Drink. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I missed that one. At hey. ALA, when we were do- arguing, like, what's considered a dumpling? Wait, you said you're calzones like, a dumpling? Shut up, Molly. Like, wait, wait, wait. Does that calzone mean an is empanada is a dumpling? Calzone is too big to be a dumpling, but an empanada dumplings. is. No. Calzones I mean? are dumplings. That is not this discussion. I will write a paper. <laughs> if a calzone is a dumpling, then so is an empanada. I'll be honest. I thought sorbet and sherbet were just people pronouncing the same word. No. Yes. I, I yes. was honestly going to make a joke <laughs> yes. about Is that so, how you pronounce it? Until, like, sherbet. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to let this fly. So, in Italian, there's, like, the word for sherbet, which somehow became sorbet, but then the U.S. was like, no, sherbet and sorbet are legally two different things. So, like, if you go to Europe... Okay, so they are the say, same thing. Ish. Not okay. in the U.S., but if you They're go to Europe, things different. get worse. <laughs> okay, I'm not crazy, though. I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. You shouldn't no, have really sherbet crazy. anyway. It's gross. It and drink. Um, so, oh, yeah, drink. Sorry. Sherbet has a small amount of dairy. Not enough dairy to be considered an ice cream, but enough dairy that you're like, that's not sorbet. Uh, usually fruit-based because it does contain a lot of similar ingredients to sorbet because they really don't want sherbet to be ice cream they want sherbet to be slightly creamy sorbet you can make some fun party drinks with it you get like the lemon lime sherbet you throw in some sprite you throw in some vodka you got a fun party drink you're the only person who's ever mentioned sorbet slash sherbet with sprite it is amazing i've never heard it not pronounced sherbet yeah, like Bert, but Ernie that's not Bert. the word. Clearly, no, it's sherbet. There is one R, and it's in sure, not Bert. Is huh. this what push pops are made of? Probably. Potentially. Oh. The orange push pops. You know Where did that second R come from? We just made it up. It's, wait, is this, it's, is it's this like, a like Mandela Colonel. effect? Have you seen Colonel? <laughs> no, I could have sworn I've seen it with the R. Drink. Is this Bernstein, Bernstein Bears, you know? Uh, anyway. Yeah. Don't start that. Don't fucking start that. Don't fucking start that. Bernstein. Not Sherbet. It's Sherbet. There's only one R. Did you just say love your shelf? Love your shelf. Shelf. Love your shelf. Alternative Good milk advice. ice creams. Arguably not ice cream legally. <laughs> Notice how milk. this says non dairy uh. frozen dessert. Legally, oh. that has to be on there because arguably alternative milk ice creams are sorbets. But calling it a sorbet does not make you think the same thing as calling it a non dairy ice cream. Not necessarily healthier than dairy ice creams. Like, I get people have these for whatever nutritional or dietary reasons that they have them, and I'm glad that they're here, and I'm glad they exist, but many of them are just as caloric, if not more so, than a regular pint of ice cream, because it Make turns out... tasting like ass. No, 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 I gotta... <laughs> listen, I gotta, I gotta speak for the elephant in the room. What about Halo Top? A drink! Oh, That's, shit! We're coming up to that. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure we got a tab on that. Um, so, so 
texture and taste wise they are getting better a few years ago they were garbage some of them are getting better ben and jerry's now has a dairy free line that's pretty good but that's because they got a bunch of mixins covering them their low calorie um, ice cream is really good too and uh, there's a surprising amount of non-dairy soft serves available like i really like going to somi somi now that we have a couple mm. in and around here in uh, dfw and like half of their flavors are non-dairy by default and I wouldn't have known that unless they told me. And I was like, ah, that's cool. I just like this. Ah, uh, that banana ice cream. Oh. Like, I'm pretty yeah. sure everyone has seen this pop yeah. up. Mm-hmm. And they're just, and they're like, oh, make make ice cream with a banana. All it is is a cold, mushed banana. Yes. Don't do However, that for yourself. However, You're not wrong. You're banana not wrong. ice cream is, like, actual banana ice cream, so much better than any other drink kind of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. you're gaming this now. You're as, actually as a gaming person, this. Who does not like bananas? All of this sounds bad. Love yourself. No, it, it Ooh, gives it a do, different do texture. More than it this. gives but it a complete, like, uh, ice cream such a better texture. You're, you're but better. there's always money. It, in it's comparing stands. ice cream to frozen custard. It's like that creaminess you can't find. Showing love to bananas. I gotta say, like banana pancakes. Hey, the yeah. goat. Let's go. Hey. All right. So you got your old. You have your light and your ultra low calorie ice creams, which are indeed two different things. Light ice creams. You just have less sugar, less fat, maybe more air. Um, I think there was like a slow churned ice cream back when I was younger that they were like, oh, it's got one third less calories, and all it was was they kind of just churned it to the point where there was way more air in it, and they really didn't tell anyone. Uh, some of them use alternative su- sweeteners. They're okay. They're a weird middle ground between the ultra low calorie and the regular ice creams. And I think if you're going to deal with that, Drink. you will go for one of the two. But Your Ben and ultra- Jerry's has really good light ice cream. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have like three pints of Ben and Jerry's in my freezer Netflix right now. Netflix chilled. Um... Ultra low calorie ice creams. This is your Halo Top, your Enlightened, uh, your other ones. They pull out and replace as much fat and sugar as possible. They replace them with sugar alcohols, fake sweeteners, what have you. They're weirdly hard. They are. They're getting better, uh, but some them. of them are just weirdly hard. They melt. You can even say that on the package. It depends. It'll be like, yeah, like, like they're like let this melt. Ice cream. It's supposed to be. <laughs> it, yeah, it, 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 it depends, depends on the fat. It's though. soft. No, 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 no it depends fat. on the flavor. Like the peanut butter ones distinctly have like a grainy text to them but like when you have the cookie dough ones for whatever reason i don't know if it's the ingredients but it's a little bit creamier yeah so like uh you don't find a lot of mixins in these flavors because they're trying to keep really low calorie um they're not bad i really like enlightened Drink. enlightened <laughs> <laughs> enlightened has a really good coffee one and a really good snickerdoodle one that i actually really like so if I'm going to get an ultra-low-calorie ice cream, those are the ones I usually try and pick out. The s'mores um, yellow top is disappointing. Don't get it. <laughs> I've never... F- the banana cream pie one, though? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Halo that top in general I've found too. disappointing. I actually like Enlightened what? over Halo top. Halo top's just really icy a lot of the time. Yeah. Anyway, conclusion. Like... The USDA oh, has wild legal restrictions for what puts a frozen dessert in a certain category. I remember in college, my friend bought, like, the super discount brand ice cream, and we were looking at it, and it said frozen dairy dessert. And it's... it melted funny, <laughs> and he hit it with a spoon, and it, like, bounced back. <laughs> I'm like, we shouldn't eat this. It's like when you get that cheap chocolate, and it's like chocolate flavored It's like chocolate it's like flavored chocolate candy. Flavored choc. Yeah, it's no, no, so I'll, bad. I'll give y'all a better example. When you Drink. get the imitation cheese substitute and it doesn't even melt when you put it in the microwave. Yes. Uh, oh man, yeah, that's bad. Well, yeah, um, like American cheese, Kraft American cheese, it's, it's not cheese, it's like a dairy product. It is a dairy mm-hmm. product, but nothing melts like Kraft American singles. <laughs> like, if you're making a grilled cheese, nothing melts like that. No, no, you um, gotta get the deluxe deli slices. That's where it's at. Oh um, air is so much of an ice cream. Your cheaper brands are easily 50 to 75% air in that container. For the best. And Dryers, top tier. Like sure it, it has it has its its thing. Like soft serve is a lot of air because of the constant churning. It's fine. Don't eat sherbet. It's is not it, good. Is, is it really? Not Except sherbet? for push pops. Push pops are good. Except for push pops. Push pops are the only acceptable sherbet if those happen to be sherbet. I'm gonna look it up. Alexa. And done. Push pops don't have Both dairy sherbet. in them. I think of sherbet as like Starburst on ice. It's like if you got like Starburst yeah. or Happy Taffy. If it was ice cream. No. You're right. It just kind of makes me think of like mushy, <laughs> like. Oh, not, not, not sorry. I don't mean much. push pops, the lollipops. I mean the push pops that are like the orange. Yeah, like the, like the Flintstones push pops. Flintstones. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's what it is. So that was a, that was just shy of 17, 17 minutes. Yeah, um, just shy it could have been faster. Minutes. And, that and why mean, didn't like you make it faster? Like, Damn, Damn Kelly. Ooh. Ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> that was a good one. I went. Can I also go? Eat, I should go get my ice cream that's got like the potato chips in it. I go just it finished my ice cream. Should not be a thing. Yeah, no, it's it's a new Ben and Jerry flavor. It's based on uh, Netflix's Nailed It. It's got Wait. like chocolate and potato chip. Okay, no, they're trying to kill us now. I'm they're sorry, actually I'm trying to kill us. It was Go two. get it, and I wanna I wanna find out if the I mean the potato chip the potato chips aren't gonna be crunchy. So what is the point? Exactly. Thank you. The whole point of putting what? the potato chip in there is for a uh, texture, like a oops, crunchy. Oops. Texture. Oops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like dipping a French fry into a milkshake. Like, without yeah. that crunch, it's like, what's the point? Well, actually, I prefer uh, my fries to be as mushy as possible, but... Ew. Yes. But, the but orange if you're shops... dipping them into a milkshake, though. Orange push do are, in fact, mm. sherbet. Oh. Oh, sherbet. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can do this. I came back with ice cream. Okay, hey. this flavor oh, is sorry. called... This flavor is called Chip Happens. It is a Netflix nailed it uh, exclusive at Target. It wow. is a cold mess of chocolate ice cream with fudge day. chips and crunchy Party potato days. chips <laughs> swirl. And a whole container is 1,200 calories. So that, that, means, that right. means you're going to eat it all. I well, actually, might no, throw whole up. Whole <laughs> isn't that much. I was making a joke. That's that all you eat all day. day. Yeah, I was, making, it, I was oh. making a joke, but yeah, that's not that much. Hold on. Unironically, that's what I love about Halo Top. You just like pound that entire pine oh, and man. not like, you, feel horrible about yourself. You you can, and I still don't. Oh like, no, I absolutely I do. You I, I know, I'm the worst. <laughs> Wait, how do I get rid of this thingy? Or does it have to stay there? Yes. Ooh. Sure oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Um, let me let me change the to the other thingy. There we go. Ooh, potato chips. Ooh. So. <laughs> okay, actually, what am I doing? I need to get my drink ready. Hold on. Wait, oh, I take that back. If the potato chips are covered in chocolate and then put into the ice cream, that might retain some of the texture. No, it's just like potato chip crumbs, and some of them are still crunchy. And it's really good because they're salty. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Does anyone know what Takarazuka is? Hell yeah. No. Heather, co- Who, Heather cosplays from it. Takarazuka? Oh, yeah. Takarazuka? <laughs> Stage plays. Takara Arazuka Naga Naga? <laughs> They're all ladies, yeah? Yes. yes. That's the thing. Um, but yeah, Takarazuka is um, an all-female theater troupe, and I'm going to talk about it today, but give me a second to make my drink. I knocked over the rum. Please don't tell me it's spilled. Somebody keep running the started. timer. Keep running the timer. No, um, not yet. Timer hasn't started, so... I, I, haven't, I literally haven't even poured the drink. So, y'all, this, uh, this chip happen stuff is real good. I uh, recommend this. Is I do like sweet and salty a lot. Like the salty is so strong and it's nice because it's in like Good. small bursts. Also, you should get the Chow uh, chocolate bar that's got like the crunched kettle chips in it because that's also good. I like potato chips and chocolate. That's what I've learned about me. I can't. I saw it's good. Bars. I mean, it's a, that's actually I, a thing. So. I went to like a chocolate festival and they had a chocolate fountain and near it, you know, they had like marshmallows and fruit and pieces of cake and then just a thing of kettle chips. Oh yeah. As you do. It was great because in the beginning of the show, I was like, ooh, chocolate covered kettle chips. And then at the end of the show, I was like, mmm, salt. Listen, chocolate covered bacon though. Not as good as chocolate You don't need to cover chips. the bacon in chocolate. You can just, uh, if you ever get What do like, you need? What do you really need? Bacon bits in in chocolate that has a smoke taste added to it and mm. salt in it. Oh, shit. Like a, okay, like no, okay, that's pretty good. Bacon that's pretty good. <laughs> if y'all okay. live in the Bay Area, there's a place called Chocolate Covered. The dude, the dude just travels around the world finding <laughs> small batch chocolates and he sells it in his little tiny ass chocolate shop. Unparalleled, unfucking parallel. The chocolate you can get there. Okay, I'm I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. Okay, I totally covered the timer. God damn it! Where is the timer? You're fine. I got the timer going. Just I mean, you're but... still being timed. Oh no, you, you can see. Minute? No, it's fine. Yeah. Um, you, it, 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 tell me because I can't see the timer anymore. Um, it's okay. 
this was an old panel I did. Uh, so th that, that, that was the picture I used to use back then. It was a picture. Let me move that out of the way so you can actually see it. Ah, oh, crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up! This, this uh -huh. minion picture is making me hate you even more. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I demand three drinks for the minion picture. <laughs> that seems pretty on well, there it goes. It's fine. You can see it. Oh, why is it moving on its own? I didn't do that. It has a timer. Right? This is going to be annoying. Okay, so that's about the origins of the Takarazuka Theater. That's a logo right there. That's a, that's the founder on the left. Now, I have I actually have some text slides, so we can just jump into this. Um, is the founder a man? Yes. Um, all It's all... It's all female. For those who don't know what it is, it's an all female musical theater troupe located in Takarazuka, the city, uh, which is Hyogo Prefecture, Japan. It's uh, slightly, not slightly, it's quite a bit further north uh, of Tokyo. Um, was founded in 1913 by uh, Kobayashi Ichizo. That was the guy we saw earlier, uh, the then president of Hankyu Rail Railways. Um, the, the city Takarazuka used to be the end of that rail line, and he wanted an attraction to be there. So he created a, a theater. Uh, and the, the idea was it's like the, the Kabuki Theater, which is all male performers, um, but like the flip of that. And, so better. Yes. And it went through a few things, but basically the theater as we know it uh, began in 1914, and its first shows were Don Baraco, Ukade Daruma, and Butterfly. I believe that's a picture from Ukade Daruma, by the way, on the bottom right there. Um, so yeah, it's a really old theater. Now, um, actually, let me go back a little. So, um, I don't think Every I have two from... minutes or one minute? Uh, three minutes is the Every first minute one. after three minutes. All right, so, there we go. Just wanted to make sure. So, the first, um, uh, it did go through a lot of changes. It, it, like many things, it did close down during the war, World War II, I mean, the war. And, uh, but it did survive the war. And here's a picture of its theater. That's the Takarazuka Theater on the left right there, the one in the city. There's one in Tokyo as well. It's not as nice looking. It's just like um, it's just a theater. And that's uh, the museum as well that's on the top floor. And talking a bit about the Takarazuka Music School, all members of Takarazuka Theater are graduates of the music school. Now, before we start thinking this is some forward fem pro-feminist thing, it kind of isn't, to be totally honest. Um, its slogan was always, good, um, the ideology was like, uh, good wives, wise mothers. Um, just like any arts in Japan, the idea was always like, oh, they'll retire once they hit like 25 and get married or something like that, you know? So, yeah. So they say, but I'm seeing some very handsome women in that picture. Yes. Uh, their motto is Kyoku. Drink! Dash. There we go. Oh my god, I spilled some. Mm. That's a it's be right pure, there. be proper, be beautiful. Um, admittance is highly competitive. Over 1,000 girls apply every year, with only 40 to 50 accepted. Only girls between age 15 and 18 may apply. Um, they can apply from abroad. We did an interview with a talk, an ex Takarazuka actress, and she mentioned how she would take a train to Tokyo every day, which is insane. Um, it's strict, regimented, two year program. You like live on, uh, you can live there, but it's like, like most schools, it's, it's you know, J Japanese schools, I mean to say, it's pretty strict. Uh, students learn acting, singing, and dancing, as well as traditional uh, Japanese arts like tea ceremony and Japanese dance. And obviously, it's a school and they are there, you know, for high school, so there are some academic courses. But I think everyone knows this. Uh, high school isn't actually like compulsory in Japan, so technically, they could just do whatever the hell they want. So, yeah. Um, and then each graduating class has two performances that lead to graduation, and they graduate in March, and typically they're performing within months, usually within the, the fall season. Drink! Drink! Oh, shit. <laughs> mm. So first up, poor Rano Hana, her face is cut off. Um, talk about Musa Mayaku. Literally his daughter player, like this is what the word means. Um, it's the actresses that are assigned the female roles. Um, now, Ona Mayaku, Onanyaku, Ona sorry, I can't say that word when I'm drinking, um, is the term that's more often used by fans, which is more correct, as opposed to, like, you know, the, the daughter connotation. It's, like, female player, like, literally Ona, you know. Um, and typically, when a, somebody joins the school, within the first year, it's decided, like, hey, you're tall, you'll be a guy. You're more feminine, and your voice is maybe a little higher, you'll be a girl. Oh, by the way, guys start smoking, you know, stuff like that. Um, oh, really? Yeah, so I'll get to that in a second. Um, so, yeah. Get to um, Nana vibes, I dig this. Um, Musume Yaku can become really popular, but it's the Otoko Yaku who become the most famous, and we'll talk about what they are in a second. Um, now, this is the last point, because I hear this Drink. all the Shit! Ha! You hear this all the time. 
that um, Takarazi and by the way, is what you call a, Takar- a Takarazuka actress. Um, the idea is like it's binding. You become a you become a female player, you become a male player. That that's what you're going to be for the rest of your career. They can change. It's not that common, but it happens. Once again, the person we interviewed actually did change from Musume Yaku to an o- Otoko Yaku. Oh my god! I, is that I, like I, an age thing or something? Um, what do you mean? That they change from one to the other? No, it just mainly In like big ma- Michael ma- Jackson vibes. Let me ma- 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 actually see his face. Probably at the time, face. yeah. Um, I dig it. He's actually that he's playing Tybalt there from Romeo and Juliet. Fun fact. Um, nice. I yeah. super fuck with this. <laughs> so, yes. It's literally yes. male players. The actresses who assign male roles. By the way, whenever I see a a, a female playing a male in Takarazuka, I'll always call them him for you know reasons. So excuse me, I'm saying this right now because I'll probably uh, say that a lot. Um, What's oh, a character? Yeah. Drake. Oh, Hey, 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 hey. Since Otoko Yaku become the theater's top stars, these positions are highly coveted and the most competitive. Um, but yeah, the second year for Otoko Yaku, the second year of schooling, um, involves learning how to walk and talk like a man. That's This is a real thing. It's kind of funny because it's very, like, not so much toxic, mac- toxic mac- masculinity type BS, but it's like, it's just like very old school. Like, you know, to Big get dick like, energy. Yeah, it's to get that to get that swagger and stuff, you know. But uh, various techniques are used to deepen one's voice, including the suggestion to take up smoking. Um, now it's funny, obviously later in one's career because you can't smoke in Japan till you're twenty, by the way. Um, but um, it's funny because uh, the the actress we interviewed, she actually mentioned that she took up smoking while she was in theater, but never realized it that that, that she might have been doing that because it was kind of suggested to her. Um, so yeah, I've acted. Yeah, I think had she, that she said I'm that not she's. She smoked because all the otaku yaku. Smoked, yeah, they were smoking. She doesn't. Too. She doesn't remember ever being drink. Drink that, but that she did like that. All the other ones smoked, so she just took it up too. <laughs> I would get that like deep, luxurious voice. Oh hell yeah! And also something that people might be mistaken with. There have been times where male performers, like male male performers, um, were uh, were it was attempted like to use them, so but it didn't work out. So the top star system, each troop, and there are five troops, we'll talk about them, and we'll, we'll go through them real fast in a minute. Each troop has its own top stars. There are a pair of actresses that usually uh, team together, and the pair is always one Otoko Yaku and one Musume Yaku, a, you know, a boy and a girl, quote unquote. And uh, the system of top stars started with Versailles Nobara, and everyone might know that for its English name, Rose of Versailles. Uh, and the first top stars... Has there been like a million VNs and or anime about that? Because I feel like there has been. Yeah, well, not like a, yeah. they're all like inspired. Like, you know, obviously the more famous one inspired by it is, is um, uh, Revolutionary Girl Lutania. Um, the first top stars I mean, were... There is also goat just, fucking there is goat also top ten. Rose all time. Anime. Mm-hmm. They're anime. I was going to say, I swear to God, I've heard like Rosa Versailles in reference to anime, dating a... sims, every <laughs> fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> There's um, also um, and if anyone seen Mawaru Pe- Mawaru Penguin Drum, oh, um, oh, in the second half of the series, the arc where there's the actress, um, she is a Takarazuka actress, like oh, actually incident. legit. I think they say Takarazuka some at some point in it. Incidentally, Mawaru Penguin Drum and Utena, same director. Oh, yes. you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And but- also Yurikuma and Sa- Sarazan Mai. And Sarazan Mai is the one that I don't understand. I understand the rest <laughs> of them. I don't understand Sarazan Mai. <laughs> So yeah, there's always been top stars. Now I'm talking about a bit about the troops. Shinjin, Shin, Shinjin Cohen, I think it's Shinjin. Yeah, Shinjin. I was, I was right the first. What? Time. Shinjin Cohen. <laughs> uh, uh, they're the underclassmen performances, and it's meant to show uh, uh, up and coming stars. Now, fun fact, I gotta move something to the name. That picture is uh, Hinami uh, Fu and Rei Makoto. Um, when I wrote this panel the first Drink. time, when I wrote this panel the first time, Rei Makoto was not was not that famous and now Rei Makoto is uh is one of the top stars um so the first Shinji Cohen show was held for Snow Troops uh Hana no Utage and there are two Shinji Cohen performances for every show's run like whenever they do Elizabeth whenever they do like you know Rose of Versailles there'll be two Shinji Cohen shows that run one is for the Grand Theater in Takarazuka City and one's for the theater in Tokyo and all major stars have had their uh began their career uh starring in Shinji Cohen shows obviously Rei Makoto now Flower Troop Hanagumi those are the top stars. I'll move. Oh, I should probably. Oh, shit, I can't move this. Um, that's Yuzuka Rei and Hana Yuki. And the Shinji color is pink. They're one of the first troops that are. Uh, they're one of the original troops that are formed in 1921. They're they're called the Flower of Takarazuka. Their shows are usually the biggest budgeted, most well known, and they have like usually their stuff is more traditional. Drink. Drink. 
Hmm. Is any of this like war or or like inspired by the war by any chance? You mean like the the aesthetics? World War Two. Well, like the fact that like it's 1921, so I just kind of like connected it to like the era. Oh well, I mean, this was this was like the Roaring Twenties around the world and whatnot, so. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see a lot of the aesthetics there as well for what they consider like the ideal guy, you know, and so on. Now, you'll notice, like, I have these numbers, not that important to name them all, but you will notice that there's always more Otokoyaku than there are Musume Yaku. Yeah, that's surprising. And people ask, that, ask me that a lot. And if, you, if you've never been to a musical theater performance or don't really know many shows, it's usually most main characters are guys in almost every show. And Not like, just in musical theater, that's acting in general. There are more female actors, but more male roles. Yes. So the yeah, idea, that's stories in general. So, so pe people have asked that before, and that's the big reason because Romeo and Juliet has like twelve. Drink, like, drink. Well, Romeo and Juliet, yeah. I but mean, that was that was when theater was all male. So yeah, it extends even to today. So, anyways, just thought that's worth noting in case you're wondering why this is a huge disparity all the time. And uh, Moon Troop, Sukigumi, their their signature color is yellow. They were also one of the original ones. They're considered the musical research department. Uh, they're the first troop who performed Rose of Versailles and Gone with the Wind. Um, basically, the musical research department, like, they're the ones who do, like, the more experimental shows. Like, at the time, Rose of Versailles was kind of an experimental one because it was based on a manga, you know. The, I, I, don't, question, I don't think anime was there yet. Yes, go ahead. Is there a lot of Japanese theater based on Western stage plays, or is this kind of a unique thing to Takarazuka? Um, there is a lot of... of uh, pretty much every famous show has a Japanese cast version. I've always mentioned Jesus Christ Superstar's original cast was this weird like kabuki like production, which I loved, but it was like during the 70s, so it wasn't filmed. But um, but yeah, almost every big production goes to Japan. Like I wanted to go see this. Drake. Is Drake. Also, I'm living for that outfit that that just that oh, actress yeah. and oh, the, the picture the... and outfit. Did y'all ever, ever... ever find that Pride and Prejudice version where it has like animeification? No, <laughs> that's I. I found that in a bookstore, and I showed it to my local Pride and Prejudice fanatic, Pride and, Prejudice, and it yeah. was hilarious. Oh, they were the immediately version pissed of the, the hell and back, and it was amazing. Yeah, the the the, the manga classics. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, there's a there's a manga and, version of the Hobbit. There's a manga version of the Hobbit. There is an anime of Del Toro Quest. There's oh, there an is, anime yes. of the Can of Monte Cristo, and it is yes. arguably <laughs> top twenty of all time. Y'all well, make me take it to the drink, and I haven't even moved on. That was Gankutsu, recent, wasn't it? Go. Yeah, Gankutsu. Count of Monte Cristo ends differently every different version that, that you read or watch. God, that's crazy. Is, uh... But isn't that the Count of Monte Cristo one, isn't that pretty recent, that anime? Like within Drake, the like, yeah. 2000s. 2000s ish? Something. I mean, it's like, like a decade depends. old. But I mean, I mean like, it's not, at this point, us, it might be kind yeah. of dated, but like for like Zoomers and shit like that, it's like, oh, that's like a million years ago. I fucking um, hate that, by the way. Right? You, you, you gotta love Snow Troop. They're Yukiyumi. Their color is green. Why isn't it white? But yeah, their color is green. They were formed in 924, the same time as the Grand Theater was formed. That I, I didn't want to go too much into history, but that theater wasn't like built in 924. They, they were just performing in a separate building. Um, I think the old theater burnt down, if I'm not mistaken, actually. Um, they're known for traditional Japanese dance theater. They have moved more towards Western styles like these days. They were the first troupe to perform Elizabeth, which is one of their more famous shows. Um, if you don't know Elizabeth, get some culture in you. That's a very famous, uh, I believe, German show. Um, shade. Hoshigumi Star Troupe. Um, you got, you got to love Are they that. doing cats? Is she performing cats in that picture? I know. I was like, I was, I was about to say that. Drink! Like, ah, God damn it. I was like, is that cats? No, it's not cats. I'm pretty sure it's not cats. I don't think they've done cats. That'd be a fucking Anybody watch oh the God. butthole clip? Um, and the butthole cats, cut. No. I've been trying to find it, but also I had to sit through that movie once, and Jason Derulo's unnecessarily horny. I don't have <laughs> Wait, was he, the, was, was he the horny cat, the though? He yeah, was the horny cat. Together. He was <laughs> so horny. I, was I, so need, horny. I need significantly fair, more drugs to be able to watch that. all of the cats were horny? Hey. At least Rum Tongue Tugger's horniness is in the original. It's like canon. <laughs> it's true. Does that make horniness. it better or worse? His name is Rum Tum Tugger, guys. He tells yeah. Rum Tum. <laughs> Rum Tum Tugger. <laughs> oh, God, Kelly. <laughs> so, Hoshigumi, Star Troop, is the color's blue. They just, they disbanded during the war times, but they reformed in 1948. Um, Doesn't that technically mean wish group? Molly. It could, it, <laughs> could it also mean star group? Yes, it can mean star troop. It can mean star as well. Okay, yeah, Anyways, yeah, okay, yeah. Wait. Many... Uh, 
gotta start making a new one. Home of many of the theater's top stars. The show's usually male-driven and Western in origin. Um, they're no, and because they're usually uh, Western in origin and male-driven, most they're known for like their uh, their Otokoyaku actresses. Now, I believe that actually that guy. Yeah, it's Ray Makoto. I was gonna say like he looks, uh, she looks very familiar. Um, that's the person we saw earlier in that Shinjin Cohen picture. Um, Wait, real quick, um, Manuel. Yes. I know that some of the actresses will play both male roles and female roles. Um, do they usually use the same name for both? Hmm. Yes, like when they like they they, don't, they very rarely change their actual stage name, which is not their real name, by the way. Um, like that person's name is not Ray Makoto, like you know, legally. So, on. so it's like having like an online handle. Yeah. It's a stage name. There you go. All it's, right. it's, it's literally I feel that. a stage name. Oh, God Drink. damn it. I know. I spent but the time, I just wasn't time sure. making it and making it. Hold on. I just wasn't sure if um like they had like a separate stage name for like when they're being a female and a, se- and a different one. I mean, one that would make sense. Mm-hmm. I can see that, but. No, I totally identify with just like this the, is the names like my professional stuff. This is my personal stuff. Like keep them not, shit. That's not You've common. You've never though. heard of a stage name? Like for example, like mm-hmm. Su- Suzuho and um, Madoka are not. Well, I guess Madoka kind of is more feminine, but these are not the most feminine names anyway. Cosmo Troop is the newest one. They're, they're purple. They formed in 1998. Very recent. Um, the, their whole thing was that they're more experimental. They're the first group, uh, troupe to perform Phantom, which Ooh, is like which is the oh. non which is the non Phantom of the Opera Phantom show. Um, <laughs> and they had Frank Wildhorn do some of the, uh, provide some of the musical scores. Phoenix um, Wright. Yes. Holy the, 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 I was gonna say I saw that name and I was immediately more interested. <laughs> Not to say I wasn't before, but like boom. Okay, yeah, identify. And in 2014, the first Cosmo Troop member became a top star, Snow Troops, <laughs> Sina Sagiri. Drink, 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 drink. And that also tells you, that shows you the, the, that, you know, troop members also move. Because uh, even though Sina uh, Sagiri uh, was in Cosmos, she became a top star in Snow. Um, so Senka, I'll just go real fast. These are like the, the, the senior members who've long since like retired, quote unquote. Um, but they usually play the older characters. Like whenever you see like a mother or a king or like, you know, an old maid, it'll usually be by, by an older, it'll be a physically older woman and it'll be one of these ex-actresses. Wait, so they're technically an ex-actress, but they're in the place? Yeah, like the, they they no longer are technically in a troupe. Um, the, they'll be so in like the place. It's like a cameo, though. kind of. Yeah. It's like what it says here. It's like an idol who graduate, but like become like a manager or something like that. Mm. Like that happens. And then, they're, but they're in the play. They're still doing the same shit. <laughs> but the technically not members. It, it, I guess because like they're not under contract or something. That. Or they're not regularly rehearsing and stuff like that. that. Like they just yeah. like, oh yeah, I guess I'll do this. Like, I, guess when you're like being... I just feel like doing this. What are you going to yeah, well, do? I'm a legend. Yeah, when you're in the troop, you probably <laughs> like, yeah, Oh my God, that one on the left looks so much like Lady Gaga. Oh, the, that's for Elizabeth, too. I, I don't know who that is. I think that's... I don't know. God, but, these are such good outfits. But, but Phoenix Wright... Did they do a new to know, like, play by chance? I love it I feel so like, much. I don't think if so. If they haven't, I feel like this is a travesty. So the last thing I'm talking about right now are Rose of Versailles. For those who don't know what Rose of Versailles is, it's, uh, it's a manga. And obviously, there was an anime, and there was a live-action movie. Yes, mm-hmm. it was a live-action movie in English um, uh, that they did. Oh, I think God. it was a France produ- oh, a French God. production. But it's in English. Oh, okay. And oh, it God. stars... Uh, uh, it stars... Uh, it, it, it centers around a character named Oscar Francois de Jarget. Uh, was born to a noble family. Obviously, she's female, but the, the guy wanted a son. So he raises her like her son, like, like his son. And... Oh, drink, fuck. Drink! And TLDR, he, uh, she ends up becoming the captain of, of the guard that protects Marie Antoinette. And there's a lot of, like, romance subplots in the midst of the French Revolution. And it's always which one? Which she, which French does revolution? Does she do stuff with Marie Antoinette? First yes. One. Uh, well, she falls. She falls in love right. with Marie Antoinette. That's the important Dude. thing. And, and the whole idea was the best kind. No, honestly, the whole idea of, of the thing was it's like because you know, kind of like I don't want to say like it wasn't so much a censorship thing, but it's like um the. When you want to French, have, like, no. Come when on, you, now. When you want to have like a girl on girl very liberated thing. people. Yeah, when you want to have a girl on girl thing, when it's, it's like liberated. when you want to have a girl on girl thing, and want to be acceptable, accept- and want it to be acceptable to the market, you kind of pretend that one of them is a guy. And I don't mean that in a controversial way, but it was kind of kind of forward thinking because it kind of like slipped through the cracks. You didn't really think about it. And there's actually a, that's important. So I'll get back to it. So Takarazuka like blew up. Um, because of this, the Ben Abada boom. Jake. Oh, and I got a curfew. Ooh. Oh, 
Shit. Like, and a speakers out there. Um, Bada Bada, obviously Versailles, Bada, Bada Sai, uh, Bada Bada Boom, that's, uh, that was a huge thing. Uh, Takarazuka became, like, really huge because of this. And um, they continue doing plays to this day for Taka, uh, for Rosa Versailles. Uh, so I'm getting really buzzed. Um, and the shows are different. Like, there, there's ones that try to squeeze the whole thing into one play. And then there's others where, like, oh, now we're focusing on Andre. Andre is uh, oh, somebody group with Oscar. So fucking good. And I'm Marie Antoinette lie, and Fairson. I, like, I kind of want to wear one of those. <laughs> and, uh, I've yeah. always wanted to wear a big hoop skirt like that. One day I'll do it. The Top Star I'll System. The LA uh, Fashion District, we can buy them for real cheap. <laughs> the Top Star System formed out of these shows. Now, Here's a fun fact. Do you guys know where the term Yuri comes? Do you know? Do you guys know what Yuri is? Yes. Girl love. Yes. Oh, hold on. Do you know where the term came from? Drink. Good. Uh, uh, Yuri. I'm imagining the, Yuri genre. the gods. I don't know. Um, it has been credited that the Yuri genre, meaning girl and girl, uh, was named such due to the first production of Rose of Versailles. That first yeah. Moonshine production starred Har- Haruna y- Yuri. And Anna June, Haruna yeah, Yuri played Oscar. Right. Played, yes, I'm not making this up. This is actually a real thing. That's and so cool. Yuri played Oscar yeah. and became one of the biggest stars of all time. And the whole idea, once again, subverting the whole like you know, um, like you know, gay lesbian like subtext that that, that show. How has. does she have a better mustache than I can ever hope to? Thank grow? you. It's fake. But she drew like, it on. I don't know about that, but it looks amazing. I can't record, even draw a mustache this good. Like, yeah, for the record, I could not find a picture of her as. I, I couldn't find a picture of her dressed <laughs> up as Oscar. But yeah, and uh, bearing the, the, the nature talk in general, the mixed gender uh, gender love stories of Rosa Versailles, it's pretty easy to see where this came to be. But yeah, that's actually a real thing. Frank, um, I want to be this when I grow up. <laughs> Fox, nothing. Like this, you. this, this energy is just. Yeah, fucking impeccable. Oh, yeah. And that's the nothing end. is stopping um, you. Do it. Reading, <laughs> talking about Oscar sexual politics, popular culture. There's some books, gender gymnastics, and just talking about Oscar reviews since 1914. Another really great site that I do not list here, like a website, is the Taka Wiki. And if you really want to watch some shows, there's a group called Taka Oscar Insanity Productions that do subtitled shows on. They sell you DVDs, but they, oh. they but they um. Since it's a fan subbing thing, it's like they only charge shipping, so you can get you can get like you know twenty shows for like ten dollars. Um, so yeah, it's there's some good. Uh, if you want to know more about Taco uh, I have links if you on YouTube. I'm too drunk to put them in the the chat now. Same energy, but yeah, that's I it. I might ask for that later. Yeah, um, and that's it. Ooh man. So Manuel, I'm so excited the second you start presenting about this because this is actually the same troop. That did Legends of the Galactic Heroes. Yes, musical. yes. No, that, why? Why are we? They need to do a Mawaru Penguin. A Mawaru Penguin. Yeah, you know what? Too. I think we're all gonna take a bath and break. I'm taking a bath and break too. You got whoever stays around yeah. can like entertain everyone. Yeah, I gotta go. Also, though, <laughs> it wouldn't Same be time. a terrible oh. idea. I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy. So, I up, internet? Ice creams are delicious. I really Ice creams like, are delicious. You're, I learned a lot from yours, Janet. Oh, thank I you. Did too, except I'm still really hung up on sherbet. <laughs> that there's it's, only that's one R? How, yeah, that's, that's not how you say it. Like, sherbet, I don't... I don't... I've never heard sherbet before today. Sherbet... I know that it's spelled is, that way, but it, I Okay, so it. apparently sherbet is used, but it's not common... So stop. <laughs> I am in shock. Sherbert is a common misspelling of sherbet that resulted from a common mispronunciation. All right. Mm. Thanks, Google. Um, speaking of ice creams, um, a couple of weeks ago, I bought some of those like brown sugar boba ice cream bars, and they are delicious, but so very expensive. Mm. Yeah, um, guys, Legends of Galactic Heroes. My God. That's... Sorry, no, we're back on ice cream now. <laughs> oh, okay, ice cream. So those black, those brown sugar, like ice boba ice cream bars. My friend told me because I was like, "How are this, the boba still chewy?" She's like, "Oh, it's because it's mochi. Huh. They're just mochi bits." I'm like, "Oh, that makes way more sense." And then a local uh, cafe started doing like pints of boba ice cream, and those are also delicious. I really like those cheap ice cream sandwiches. That like, that I'm not even sure it's real ice cream, and I know there's no chocolate in them, but they're so good. And like, and like the cookie bit sticks to your fingers. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I like a choco taco 
very much. Those are solid. Those are... Honestly, they're top tier of what you can get from an ice cream truck. But I did get one at, like, a parade last year from, like, a Mexican guy with his little push cart. And I it would was the agree, most... a Since you're waiting for Cal... Oh, never mind, there goes Kelly. Well, this, is, <laughs> this is the clip I was going to show, but I ran out of time, so I just didn't show it. I want to skip ahead a bit, though. Uh, this is from the... Hey. This, this is from, uh... Their production of Romeo and Juliet. It's so choppy for me. Is it really? It's so choppy also is like the one in red wearing leather because that's pretty great. Well, the one in it's red not... is, is the one that I showed in the clip that was playing Tybalt. So um, maybe. So maybe Tybalt is wearing leather. Tybalt looking like Thriller Michael Jackson out here. No, Tybalt looking like Shinsuke Nakamura. They all look pretty punk, let's be honest. This is pretty good. Do they also get guns like the Leonardo DiCaprio Romeo and Juliet? Oh my god, it's yeah. It's not that. Yeah, that one. I love his knife. Uh, that would make it so much better. It's like see, foreshadowing. I want to see the production of Hamlet now. I have the production of Hamlet! You, hold on. Manuel, you need to just lend us in some way all the ones that you own. Hold on. Yeah, we all we all love this. We this have like... we have other presentations to no, wait, do. Wait, I, wait, I know we we fell in love though. We can't even properly watch it because it's so choppy anyway. Uh, that's not possible. It. To be or not to be. Oh, yeah. The connection's bad, just let it go. Yeah, it's stop. I think everyone watching can see it though. It's not choppy for them. But yeah, anyway. Well anyway. good for them. Yes. Alexa, pick a number between one and five. I don't watch. Two. So that I, I was two, but I'm not anymore. Rose, you're next. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Wait, what a play this guy just shows. He just wa waltzes back. Everyone needs a drink who hasn't drunk yet. What do I do? How do I do the thing? Let's, um, screen let's... share at the bottom. Okay. Share okay. screen. By the way, I need to warn. If you are going to play a video through share screen, I don't know what happened with manuals, but usually the video that or the the audio that comes through is way too Was it loud? loud. No, we didn't hear any know. noise at all. Oh, very, very good, good to know. Out. Thank you. Nice. Wait, that's going to come up. Kelly, how I was had it? a video in mind, but I took it out. How was it when I played uh, Sergeant Terraro? Was that the was audio fine. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the one time I did it, my friends were like, we couldn't even hear you talking. So I was like, okay. God damn it, Kelly! Why are you gonna ruin everything? Yeah, I just looked at the at the stream because my stream is super delayed, and you can't hear and see it. Yeah, you couldn't I, I, hear or see it. So yeah, I, I don't know what's uh, wrong. I don't know what's wrong it. with Disc Discord. I don't know what's wrong with Zoom that it was like being weird. To Your you guys. Zoom presentation in general was quite choppy. Like it, the presentation would be stuck on like half of it open. For, yeah. Like, oh a no, full that, 30 that, seconds. no, that actually was kind of the 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 thing itself. Like uh, for some reason, that that transition was really slow, and it was not that slow before. Listen, I'm not going to lie. Any company could just swoop in and make a marginally more efficient version of Zoom and everybody would just switch to it. No, they wouldn't. Really? Messaging, it... messaging has absolutely no nothing to do with the actual quality of the messaging app. Anyway. We'll if it was just as easy, that, but... like, you know. Without, There's a like, billion a messaging apps out there that are much better than Zoom and no one's using them. <laughs> what? what are they? Yeah. You know, some people are <laughs> jumping on Facebook right now. So, oh, that, is Facebook, we were able to get that Facebook actually like, does have a, a decent uh, thing right now. For for what, a long rooms? time, Google Hangouts were very good until they made them bad. Yeah, they suck mm. as fuck now. Well, the and, reason that people are using Zoom is because of breakout rooms. The Facebook one, I think, actually does have breakout rooms. Dude, Facebook <laughs> just makes me get all tinfoil hatty because I'm like, they're stealing my information. <laughs> I mean, they are. <laughs> yeah, it's small and lizard people all over again. <laughs> I'm not saying that they have. <laughs> no, no, Planes wasn't here. Planes wasn't here. But the last time we did the podcast, um, we we got we got Callie so riled up because we brought up lizard people. She was. I like, made her. She she quit the stream because she didn't let me finish my thought. And she, no. And then, she, and then she came back like screeching at us. <laughs> really? I'm so All annoyed I you couldn't saying. hear me. By the way. I, I I agree with this uh, screensaver. Also, I saw for a second a Star Driver icon there. Star Driver. I cosplayed Star, Star Driver. Driver. I cosplayed the president. I also cosplayed Star Driver. It okay, is well, let us know when you're ready to begin. Wait, timer. is it is it on the right thing? Yeah, I can I'm... see it. Satoshi. Okay. Sa Come on. Satoshi. Yeah. Something? All right. 
I moved my, 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 my timer to be on my screen, so it's a little easier for me to see. My thing is a mess. Yeah, I mean, be shown in I mean, everything's kind of so messy because our, our cameras don't fit. And, like, somebody is always cut off because it only shows six cameras. And it doesn't let me pick what six that we're showing. So uh, so every so hey, often, I just energy, move it. Yo. Um, let me know when you're ready to start to set the time. We can count down for the timer. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I knew all right, time so me. But go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Satoshi Mizukami. He's one of my favorite manga artists. Um, and I'm going to talk about him and his stuff today. He's a frog. For, like, it's going to be real short, I promise. So, um, oh my god, wait, I, where did my notes go? I have notes. I didn't put any text in the slides, that's why. <laughs> um, so, Satoshi Mizukami is a manga artist. He's, uh, maybe like early 2000s, he's been around really like cult following indie artist who doesn't have a lot of big stuff and he's only like had one manga anime adaptation. Actually, only had one anime adaptation. I mean, he has a lot of stuff that people are like, this should be an anime, but whatever. Um, sure. He has a lot of really, like, surreal, heavily, like, thematic uh, stuff. Um, and a lot of, like, really atypical sort of shonen protagonists that I'll get into. But um, I'm just going to go over, like, his three biggest works the three most popular because also it's really hard to find anything on him. I thought this would be a longer presentation and I couldn't find any information. Mangaka are really private. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This guy especially, he's more private than a lot of the ones I've come across. It's like ninety percent of their life is just drawing. So Yeah, this is the only picture of him I could find. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've had other mangaka I've tried to look up for like presentations I've done and the only thing that exists is like their self drawn drawing of themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean I've been to like at cons and stuff, if you go to mangaka like panels and shit, they're like, You cannot take pictures of them right now. Do mm -hmm. you're not allowed to take pictures. If we see you taking pictures, we will like prosecute you <laughs> i'm pretty sure every single listing oda has had for an intern or assistant has been uh th there's a qualification of must be willing to die for one piece so oh, fuck yeah mm -hmm. hey, it's all or nothing <laughs> it's all or nothing okay, okay so the first <laughs> okay go on the the first one i'm gonna talk about probably his most famous um oh come on Hoshino Samadare, um, oh, also known yeah, as the and the Biscuit Hammer, also hmm. known as the Lucifer and Biscuit Hammer. <laughs> There's Dull a lot Lucifer. of odd translations of the title. Look at those um, body proportions. <laughs> like that waist, yeah. that waist compared to like the legs. Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, what are you asking for? I, I've watched so much One Piece, this doesn't even phase me. <laughs> no, so this is probably like his most famous work, I think. Um, it's definitely the one I've heard the most about. Um, so it's about this guy, um, Amamiya Yuhi. He's a college student. And one day he just kind of wakes up and there's a lizard in his room that's like, hey, you got to save the world. And he's like, no. <laughs> Drink! Yes, you do. It's a lizard person. Drink! <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Not a lizard person, a lizard. Just a regular lizard. Oh. Yeah, so the whole story is like, um, the world's going to end. There's a giant hammer in the sky, the biscuit hammer. Um, and it's going to destroy the world unless this guy joins up with the team of knights or whatever and, like, saves the world. And the whole time he's like, no, I'm not doing this. By the way, Mandy, you can hide non-video participants. I did. If you've got a team of heroes okay. or whatever, you don't need me. I also don't care if the world ends. Is Janet yeah. awake? But then... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just realized my own <laughs> fucked up. Like, uh... Still here. Still here. Um, but yeah, so hey. he... Um, he meets a um a princess. I guess everyone calls her princess. I haven't actually finished the manga yet, so I don't. Know. But um, anyway, her name's Samidare. Um, AKA Lucifer is kind of her nickname that she gets really early in, because her whole thing is like drink. drink. You have to. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. It's okay. We're here to remind you. I know. We're yeah. gonna get. We're um, gonna... <laughs> her whole thing is like we have to stop the hammer from destroying the world because I want to destroy the world. And suddenly, um, an Yuki is like this. Oh my he, God. he switches in a heartbeat from I'm not interested to I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's this really interesting story about like, like it's a it's a like urban fantasy sort of modern day, like fighting monsters and stuff. But there's also a lot of like 
themes of growing up and responsibility and adulthood and that kind of thing. Um, but it's just like this sort of anti-hero. If you, I don't even know if you even maybe villain is the better word. He's just this awful child who's like, I'm exactly. not interested in anything except helping this girl destroy the world. But there's a lot of like really interesting deep themes that show up in it. It was really Drake! inspired by Fully Cooley. Is it geek? Mm-hmm. Sure, why not? Really inspired by Fully Cooley, which is, um, I think, one of Musicomi's favorite anime. There's like a bunch of special moves and stuff named after songs by the Pillows. Uh, and allegedly, the allegedly, um, there was going sword. to be an anime adaptation of this. I, I don't know how that. true this is. There wasn't? I'm surprised. No, there was a. Allegedly, there was going to be one, but he was like, we're not doing it unless the pillows get the soundtrack and the pills were too expensive. Big respect. Oh. Big respect. Right? Yeah. But I mean, there's like, there's moves in it called, like, there's like a weapon called the Blue Strike Monster or something. Oh, the, I mean, the name down. Biscuit Hammer. Biscuit Hammer is a song by the pillows, too. Um, so, I mean, it's oh. like, the pills are completely ingrained in it. So he was like, allegedly, I really don't know if this is true or not, but he was like, we're not doing it without the pillows. Gotta talk to my best friend about this. So just, you know, my God, really good. I've been um, like catching up on it. Yeah, I remember talking about this with my with my friend like in middle school. Yeah, I've been catching yeah, up on it lately, and I'm like, oh fuck. my God, I forgot how much I love this. Oh, this is that old? Um, I feel old. old. This thing it's didn't came old. didn't come out until after I had graduated from high school. So to oh hear that God. somebody was talking about it in fuck. middle school. Damn! I, yeah, I feel wait, Mrs. Wait, wait, wait. How old are you, uh, uh, Pleiades? How old do you think I am? 27. Older? Are you old? Shit. 30. 36. Older? I said. No! God damn it! 28! <laughs> Actually, 29. 29. Oh, okay. That's not- oh. So I'm, I'm like older right than you. on that cusp. Calm down. Yeah, me and Janet are still like the the adults in this room. And by the way, we we What's totally, an adult? We totally ate up your What's minute. What's that like? We totally ate up your minute. It's bro. It's time to drink again. Drink. Oh. That's the strat. That's the strat. <laughs> y- 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 y'all fucked me up that one you time. You need to you need to interrupt people if you don't want to keep drinking. But no, you y- do, y'all fine. y'all fucked me up when no, I, when when you guys kept talking about shit and I had a whole minute that I didn't get to talk. And I had Good. To drink. I read Spirit Circle. It's on Crunchyroll. Spirit Circle is maybe one of my like top three manga ever. I love it so much. Um, so Spirit Circle is, um, how do I even start with it? It's like, it's about this kid who's like, uh, this is a really common theme by the way in his works. It's always about a boy student, almost always, at least most of the big ones, who like right. has some kind of weird amnesia and there's something weird and magical in his life there's ghosts if you like spirit circle you should read to your eternity it's like that but more i have not heard of that i'll have to check it out it's getting an anime it's gonna be oh, good. weird i love when things get nice <laughs> <That's> drink <weird>. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um his name is it even in my notes <laughs> uh futa i think it was his name uh, um uh he's a boy who can like see ghosts and he meets this girl in school who immediately is like, hey, I know you. I'm going to kill you. And he's like, I don't know what's up. So I'm basically, um, the whole thing is like, he has to relive all of his past lives through like reincarnations. And um, it's basically like each time he goes through, he learns a little bit more about himself and this girl who said, I'm going to kill you. And so he's like, by the time you relive all of them at the end, I'm going to kill you and you'll understand why. So it's this really, really mm. interesting, another coming of age story about a boy who turns out to be kind of a really awful person, but he doesn't know it because he's amnesia. All thing is on Crunchyroll for free, drink! That's real interesting. Honestly, it kind of gives me some Tatami Galaxy vibes, which immediately just kind of means like, eh, maybe I'll check this out. Yeah, mm. it's actually really it's very good. It's pretty short too, it's um... It is, I read it in like two days. God yeah, it, I think I want to say six volumes, maybe seven. It's really, really short. Um, but yeah, I mean, that one it's hard to get into without spoiling a lot of the good stuff about it that happens later on. But it's just 
That's the basic premise of Boy going back through all of his past reincarnations and finding out, oh, I'm kind of not a good person. Um, and then the last Damn. of his big popular ones, this was an anime that came out a couple of years ago. Oh! Did anyone see this? Oh! I fucking love Who's this that Big Titty Maze yes, and Robots. So I'm about made it. Giant Cat. Dude, I'm yes. all about that cat. This makes Nobody so talked much about this sense. when it was airing. Gotta watch it now. So it's, good. It's, I've literally good. never seen hide or hint of this it's anime so ever in my good. life. It's so good. So good. I'm gonna good. marathon it tonight. Wait, drink! Oh, drink! drink. Sorry, I forgot one. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was enthralled by the cat. I got really like, distracted by Planet With. It's so I, I was cool. enthralled right, by so big Planet kitties with. and big kitties. <laughs> yeah. It's also oh my God. virtual. Yeah. Um, I think there's actually a manga of this too, but it was an anime first. Yeah. Um, so it's about this boy. I definitely didn't write his name down. I forgot what it is. That's fine. Um, he he kind of like... Um, he pilots a mech suit shaped like a giant cat. He lives with a maid and a cat, which speaks telepathically by saying meow. <laughs> Living really the dream. <laughs> yeah, honestly. But um, the thing is, like, the planet's getting invaded by, like, alien Drake! UFO things. Have, and, have you guys oh. ever seen a talking Drake. cat? Have you guys ever seen a talking cat? Shot. How would you see a talking cat? Do you mean <laughs> hear a talking cat? <laughs> no, the movie, <laughs> A Talking Cat. No. No. Have you guys really? Uh, no one's seen a talking cat. Oh, shut oh. up! Shut up! No, no do you? Because they you? don't exist. Go, Rose. Go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um. So there's like um a bunch of like alien things invading the planet, and like a team of heroes who's like fighting the aliens. But this kid is like, I've got amnesia, like all of um Mizukami's characters. <laughs> um. But for some reason, I hate these people. <laughs> I think they ruin my life. He has like little bits of like memory from like his past life and how his home was destroyed. And he just knows these heroes are involved. So he becomes like, he just starts, starts, starts fighting the heroes who are trying to save the world. And Drake! Drake! Drake. <laughs> yeah, so he's like the villain. He's like fighting mm -hmm. the hero organization. Yeah, which is a big, big theme in music comedy's things is it's always about people who are either villains or sort of just bad but like like out of here going through sort of redemption sort of like hmm. growing and learning and stuff um but it Planet turns out there's like a whole as fuck by the way it is um there's Maybe a whole like warm. space stuff that i don't want to get into without spoiling <laughs> it's just like a really good show with really good um action sequences that are in cgi which is a little weird but it looks good and actually um i didn't notice this when i first watched planet with but that is sami dare from loose friend of oh. oh it's a little figurine of her that the cat cat had what's the name sensei sensei is the cat's name with the more normal Drink! waist Mm -hmm. With a sensible waist, not like the thing that was on the cover where it was like this, this thin, but it like legs I mean, around here. There's a lot anime. of his art does Manuel have weird, um, Thank weird you. Thank proportions, you. but I mean, it looks good to me. I don't care. What was oh that God. anime that was inspired based off like Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland, but there was a hammer and a bunch of psychedelic oh, animations no, involved. Miyuki Chan, Miyuki that... Chan in Wonderland, right? The clamp one? Uh, I haven't seen the that. clamp sure. one? It was very no, gay. No, something crazy there's, as hell. No, I think also, it's that one. It was very gay. It's, Cla it's Miyuki Chan in Wonderland. Oh, I'm interested. No, no, no. It was there's like, a like manga spectacle. Based on, on Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I need to be more specific. Nobody fair watched enough. that. Yeah, what about Pandora Hearts? Oh my God! Yes, I love that. Oh my God. I'll find this. So. Um, okay, so those were like his three main like big things that people have heard of. He's done a lot of other stuff. Drink! He did Drink. a um, he did a um, a Trigon one shot, and just like so many things. It's really hard to find his stuff actually, um, especially the ones that aren't these three. <laughs> but I mean, it's all out there. He also, um, I followed him on Twitter recently and went back and found out that he played Pokemon for the first time in his life at like 40 years old. 
Oh my god. And he drew this Which really one. Um, I think he's playing Sword and Shield. Oh, Sword and Shield. Yeah. Wow, that <laughs> must he, be a um, trip. Drew this these really cute like little manga like one shots. A bunch of them. There's a lot more. That's on his a low tag. Aww. Of like his his experience playing Pokemon. Also, um, he always draws himself as a frog. So. I mean, oh. I, I, don't, I can't tell if that. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What's that Mexican like thing Drink. with the thing with the, the thing on its head? What's it called? Ludicolo. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will forever. You don't. Did you see Detective Pikachu? Yes, Detective Pikachu. So good. <gasps> Wait. There was just that one frame where there was Ludicolo, and it was just like turned to the screen, like Ludicolo. <laughs> yeah. I just fucking lost my shit in the middle of the theater. <laughs> oh my god. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, here's a bunch of his, a handful of his other things. I haven't actually read any of these, but they all sound really good. I love the proportions of that girl's like head in the yeah. middle. <laughs> I know, it, I know it's, it's called I, perspective. Yeah, I know it's yeah. a perspective, but that looks even wrong for perspective. Like I'm pretty maybe you really, look really, wrong really, for really, perspective. Really Have you considered yeah. your proportions, Manuel? Damn! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Those are fine words. Roasted. There's something to be said with like mangaka being able to have way more wiggle room with like artistry than an anime because there's not mm -hmm. as many like chicks in the pie. Like they can just do whatever the fuck they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why manga's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, watch, they don't I read so much more anime yeah, compared to how many. I mean, I read so many more manga compared to how many anime I watch. I read so many anime. I read all the. Well, I mean subs. So technically, oh my I'm god, not yeah, that is true. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was the last slide, but basically, I just wanted to say, like, check this guy out. His stuff is really cool, really like surprisingly deep and thematic for how silly a lot of it is on the surface. Um, and very good protagonists. Some of like the best that I've read ever, maybe. So, that's it. Uh, that keep talking crazy. for 10 more seconds. And the oh. seconds? Oh, my God. I, can, I mean, um, you don't have to, but, I mean. And the, well, and, yeah, drink! Oh, oh it's fine. Drink. I just want you to take. You can keep drinking. I, I've been drinking. I, I haven't stopped. <laughs> yeah, I, I also never stopped. But, um. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That was it. Yay. Also, my my background on Zoom is the biscuit hammer. In the I have sky. to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> hey, I actually gotta go too. Hold up. It's pee pee time. Oh. Okay, so it is wild that those only two dollar chips. Oh are my god! Twenty nine, right? <laughs> I'm not even joking. Wait, hold on. I had two Alexas, and they both gave me different numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Why do you have two? Why don't you have giga? Have... Well, I have, I have I have more... Wait, I have more than two. But wait, who oh left? Oh my god, I have a who friend left? and his his apartment, he had an Alexa in every room. That's horrifying. That's absolutely horrifying, like 1984 shit. Yeah, I, I hate would that. never do that. I hate it. All of his lights were controlled by Alexas. I'm like, this seems no. wildly unnecessary. You live in an apartment. <laughs> nice have, but... His lights are doxing people. It's good <laughs> It, 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 if that's what you like, that's what you like, I guess. Also, for reference, the anime I was talking about is uh, Kyoso Giga. So, yes. that is like one of the millions of Alice in Wonderland like adaptations. That's what you were talking about? Yes! Because it is the only thing that I could think of was like, oh, why did I like even get interested Not in this? Not giant because... hammer with big balls in it? <laughs> big balls. I thought that would actually be less specific. Oh, like, I haven't oh, even seen the show, hammers? and I know the giant hammer with the big balls in it. There you go, then. Can there you go. I should have just had big hammer, big balls. It would have been like, away, understood Kelly. immediately. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I can't tell me. <laughs> have my balls out if I want. <laughs> You're not the dad of me. <laughs> oh, I can't God. tell you how many times America, I regularly you can't tell say me that. Shit. You... <laughs> shit, I can't even right now. You missed it, by the way. I was okay. For the record, I have more than two Alexas, but I have two Alexas in my room. I um, can hear that seems wildly unnecessary. unnecessary. <laughs> and they both gave me different numbers. One gave me one and one gave me two. Technically, me and Rose are both two, so I guess we'll, we'll won't count that one. So Callie's next. They okay. give me like free Google Chrome's and that like or like the little like tap to press whatever, and that shit sounds horrifying. So 
So it's okay. appropriate that I go next anyways, because I also am just talking about like an anime thing I like. Hey. Kelly, you're peeing an awful lot for someone who hasn't been drinking. Have you been drinking? I, I haven't been drinking, <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. I was about to say, actually, no, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably just talking shit. What the now, fuck? Manuel, if you I'm surprised it didn't come up last time, honestly. What'd you say, Matt? If you ask for your drinks tall, I, you usually pee more. Like, <laughs> instead of, instead of like less, I usually go less alcohol, more chaser. No, you know, um, that's, well, that's what yeah. that means. Yeah, we, we, we take shots. We take shots. Like, I don't pee as much but when i drink a lot of mixed drinks or like coke and whatever it's just like i'm fucking like peeing every three seconds yeah it's it's because alcohol dries you out basically yeah i'm super looking forward to this i'm not gonna lie okay a spoiler free are you stretching right now are you serious is this necessary yeah well i mean i haven't moved around a lot (laughs) what's bacano i like this show you're gonna find out Please don't. Please don't. It's really good. Wait, Manuel, really? Okay. My Apple Watch thinks that I have moved. Um, I have somehow burned one thousand one hundred and fifty-five calories between twelve and six a.m., which is when I was sleeping. So I don't know what the fuck. By I was, living? What the fuck were you yeah, doing? You were like trying to like, get oh, oh. out of you. Oh. Uh, bro, uh, the, the, I mean, that watch might know um, more than we do. Bro, Who's gonna okay. time? Please. Who's gonna time? Please. I'm I'm here. I'm just waiting for okay, you to okay. start. Three. Wait, wait, three. Two, one, go. So before this, on Discord, I asked you all if you've seen Bacano. This presentation is technically to give information that is very confusing the first time you're watching Bacano. But if you have already seen Bacano, this might fill in some gaps that you missed, essentially. Um, you probably will get more out of this if you've already seen Bacano than if you haven't seen Bacano. Also, if you have a question, please yell question because I can't hear anyone over myself talking. <laughs> so, quick elevator pitch. What, like, what is the show Bacano? Um, Bacano is an anime. It is 16 episodes. Um, it is many volumes, like 20-ish. Um, it's based on a light novel and it got turned into an anime in 2007. Oh, oh, oh. It is Boy. about... Um, a bunch of people in 1930s-ish America. Um, and there's like mafia stuff, there's like bootlegging, there's like immortal people, there's like murderers. It's it's really wild, it's really a trip. So we're gonna start talking about like the people, the groups and like the timelines and the things that will help you parse Bacchano as you're watching it, because it's kind of difficult. So, Bakano is literally my favorite anime. I've seen it over 16 times. I've also read the light novels, but it's super confusing because there's an insane amount of characters and the storytelling, they jump around in time a lot. A time and place, both. So um, it's just really hard for people to watch the first time. I actually believe that Bakano is best viewed. Huh? What's the connection with Dura Ra 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 Ra? They're in the same universe and they have the same author. Oh, there we go. I didn't know Wait, they were how many, in the same how many universe? episodes is this show? Really? See, I, it's I'm only say, 16 episodes. Look this up. Let's go. <laughs> There's only 16 episodes. It's 14 you episodes of the original show and there's two OVAs, but it actually has one. Oh, game. so it's it's, it's like it's like a weekender. Yeah, okay. Because I was like, yeah. 16 times sounds ridiculous if it was like a 52 episode or no, something. No, it's only 16 so episodes. Fuck. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, it's only, six, it's only 16 episodes. That ain't bad. So, um... It's very easy to watch, um, but just a lot of people drop it on episode seven specifically. Um, <laughs> really? Yes. Huh. Which is the uh, 1711 episode. I got addicted. So to we're specifically going to talk about the anime. The anime covers the first four books. Um, uh, it's There's like three timelines because this, the second and third book are actually like one timeline. It's all the stuff that happens on the train. Um, and you can buy the first 13 volumes in English. I have two copies of every volume on my Bacano shelf. Why two? Uh, cause to support the sales. Your Bacano shelf. I skipped a ton of characters and like a few of the organizations because I just want to focus on the things that are actually confusing. So like, I don't talk about the daily days. I don't talk about the things that are extremely straightforward. I just talk about the things that are very confusing and took me many, many rewatches to actually figure out. So... Curtains rise, 1932, oh. New York City. Um, you know, Great Depression. You could change that. Um, you could change that year to 2020. Prohibition. Deep. You know, all the stuff. Same energy. Um, because this takes place in Drink! America. <laughs> Wait, is it? I yes! thought it was like every minute after three minutes. No, the first one's after three. Oh, okay. God damn it, please. Yeah. 
<laughs> so <laughs> there's <laughs> three, <laughs> the three main storylines that come from the four books, um, which I have titled Mafia Shit, Where in the World, Where in the World is Dallas Genoward, and yes, the train is <laughs> called Dallas. the Flying Pussyfoot. The Flying Pussyfoot. The flight's called the train is called the Flying Pussyfoot. We'll, go, we'll get Hell that yeah. last. The, mm -hmm. the mafia shit is by far the most confusing. Um, so we're gonna, so in general, throughout the three storylines, these are the factions. So there's the immortals, which is just like a group of people. There's a lot of immortals that are in all the groups. There's a bunch of mafia Drake. families. That Drake! Are... The Martello family, the Gandor family, the Runerata family, and the Russo family. There's Jacuzzi's gang of bootleggers. There's the Lemurays. There's Isaac and Miria, which aren't really a faction. And there's Lad Rousseau's cult, and there's Dallas Genoward, and I hate him. Um, but I love Wait, him. They're not the lemurs, it's the lemurays? Yeah, it's the lemurays. Does anybody like the Dallas? lemurays? <laughs> no, you're saying- I'm Dallas, but I, he's, he is a piece of shit. Um, so, as far as immortals, I'm just covering them because they're not like a cohesive group. They're just like, there are people who are immortal. So, there's the new immortals that become- Those are the people who become immortals through the events of the anime. And then there's the old immortals who became immortals in 1711. Um, they're immortal. They cannot die from anything. Um, I mean, you get the details in the show, but basically they're immortal. Um, they're in like a lot of groups. And um, basically, as far as people who aren't any of the other factions, Zillard Quates is an immortal Drake. who is also an alchemist. Question, how um, slash why are they immortal? They drank a, you saw the show. I know, but I'm trying to explain for the crowd. It doesn't matter. That's a spoil. I mean, it's not a spoiler, <laughs> but like, they drank a I'm grand just fantasy. To the plot. They drank a grand fan. This is not about plot, by the way. This is just explaining the things that are confusing. Okay. But they drank a grand panacea that made them immortal. So there are people who, who drank it in 1711, and there are people who drank it in 1932. All right. Um, Zillard Quates is a 1711 immortal. He's trying to recreate the grand panacea in 1932. He has an, a, a homunculus slave named Ennis, who is more important than he is. Why and is by the way, there's another character who looks exactly like Zillard Quates over here. Um, but he's not Zillard Quates. He's just like another alchemist, who's oh, yeah, a me... mortal person who's trying to recreate the Grand Panacea. Yeah, that's, that's the same that's character. That per yeah, it's that person. I moved it so everyone can see. Nah, that yeah. guy bald. No, oh, that's like yeah, that's, that's the that's same fucking balls, character. Bob. Yeah. Oh, that's you're right. Yeah. The... He needs his description to keeps. That's not a, that's not a plug, but it should. What be does plug. homunculus mean? Like a a synthetically made person. Oh. Um. Okay. So Martillo family. They're actually Kimura. They're not mafia, but that's essentially the same fucking thing this is like the mafia family that's the main mafia family in the show where all the main characters are um and they're in new york and um they're throwing up in all the mafia shit of course and they're based in a speakeasy called um i believe it's pronounced alveare I'll, i'm not sure and uh the important characters are firo who people argue is the main character but really there's no main character vacano and Miza. Miza's the taller one in these and they're friends with the gandors who are a mafia family uh, the only Every people that are important in the Gandor, I feel like you've missed a few drinks, by the way. Yeah, oh, you're gym. right. We did. We missed six. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm distracted by Fero. Like, yeah, it's I'm him and John see his best boys. Like, no, also, I think he did. No, wait, hold up. I tried to cosplay Fero in high Drink now. Drink now. Oh, I just had like six. I just had like four drinks. Okay. So, the really the only important one is Luck Gandor. Um, everyone is, everyone else is not really important. These are the three brothers. Um, that's really the only people that matter in the Gandor family is the three brothers, and of them, the only person that really matters is Luck. So let's talk about the Rudorado and Russo families who are the, the truly most confusing part of Bacano, I believe. So the Rudorado family, basically everything that happens with the Rudorado family happens with this one fucking dude who's like an <laughs> underling of the Rudorado family who is a dumbass and just like starts fights with people. And he killed all the members of the Genoward family, except for Dallas and Eve. So he has to kill Dallas because Dallas said that um, he knows that he killed his family. Um, so he's looking for Dallas. That's his most, this, that's the Runerata guy's most important role. But at the very, very beginning of the show, he attacks the Gandor family and tries to kill them for no fucking reason. Um, and he's also trying to buy a bomb from Chesla Mare that is being transported on the flying pussyfoot. <laughs> um, and then there's the Russo family, which is different than the Runerata family. The Russo family is based in New York, and the only thing that's important about them is that Lad Russo is a member, and he is looking for Jacuzzi's plot. We'll talk about Jacuzzi's plot later, too. 
So this is all I'm going to talk about with the with the Dallas Genoard timeline. Um, basically, Dallas Genoard has a little sister named Eve. She's looking for him. She doesn't know where he is, and everyone fucking hates Dallas. Um, <laughs> that's it. Absolutely right. Objective truth. Hey, she, who is she? Choo choo. Oh, it no, doesn't no, matter. Totally here, totally here. Choo choo. All aboard the flying pussy foot. Uh, it doesn't matter who Eve is. She's just she's just rich and she's Dallas's little. Brother. That's what we're calling. That's what device, we're calling honestly. the podcast after night after we do a hundred episodes. It's gonna be uh the flying pussy foot. Flying pussy foot. That's choo choo. What is the flying really pussy? Fire name. The flying pussy oh, so foot is just drink. a fancy train. It's a train drama. It's like a train mystery. Like yes, the drama. the well yes. So the 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 thing is, is that the stuff that happens on the train is by far the most coherent of the whole series because it's extremely chronological. The rest mm. of the stuff that happens in the show is not presented chronologically, and it's hard to follow. So uh, as far as the train stuff, I'll mostly just talk about the passengers of the train. But anyways, the train goes from Chicago to New York, um, and like I said, this is the most coherent part of the story. So I'm just going to talk about who is on the train. Uh, Jacuzzi's gang, the, the bootleggers, um, Ladarusso's cult slash gang, I don't know what you call them, they're on the train. <laughs> the the Lemurays are also on the train, <laughs> and they are definitely a cult. Um, Isaac and Miria are on the train, uh, Chesla, Mare yes. is on the train, and the Barium family's on the train. I don't, in this picture, there's a character who's literally never on the flying pussyfoot is in this picture, so I just blocked his face out. Oh, that perfect. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah. who is Jacuzzi's plot and his gang? Best boy! Um, Best fucking boy! He is best boy. Um, so they're just a gang of misfits and bootleggers, and they're very lovable. And uh, the most important members are Jacuzzi Splot, for which, you know, he's the leader of the gang, and uh, Niece Hollystone. Um, and niece. their tech. Yes, her name is Niece. Mm -hmm. um, they're on the train to steal the bomb that Chez is transporting on the train because Niece just really likes bombs. That's it. Niece Hollystone so sounds like a bad James Bond uh, girl name. Yeah. Especially with the and pussy foot thing. There's Lad Russo and his merry <laughs> cult of serial killers. He is <laughs> fucking insane. Um, and he's also looking for Jacuzzi, but that's kind of secondary to him just indiscriminately killing people. Um, he has a girlfriend. Her name is Lua. And whatever the opposite of Yandere is, that's What's what she a is. What's A Kudere? I, I don't know. Oh, wait, no. well, what is a Yandere? They're the what ones that love you but also want to kill you. Yeah, yeah. That, that oh, would be like Yandere like, Simulator. Like Ray so she I hates know. you, but also wants to save you. No, no, no. So the whole she has <laughs> no purpose in the show. Crazy girlfriend who wants to fucking yeah. kill you. Drink, well, <laughs> lad. I literally just drank. Oh, I but like Yandere would be like no emotions whatsoever. <laughs> fucking just pretty much like might as well be a human corpse that is um, walking around. No, Yandere's are the if if I can't have you, no one else can. But also. I also can't have you, so everyone dies. <laughs> Did not think we would be explaining Yandere's. Mandel, you really don't know what a Yandere no, 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 is? Okay, I just... No, 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 but no, like I a Don know, Dede would be like time, that, but with gone. no emotion. Like, robot body. Anyways, I don't think there's a word for whatever the fuck she is. She's fucking crazy, too. They're all fucking crazy. Um, basically, energy. Lad is also is always like, I'm gonna kill you, honey. And she's like, oh, Lad. Um, so, anyways. <laughs> I know literally, people like Literally, this. actually, lines in the show. Um, Drink. <laughs> oh my god, my mic fell. <laughs> There's also Chesla Mare. He's not part of a faction, but he is he's one of the he's one of the 1711 immortals, but he's like a child. Is Sucks this for him. From Full Metal I really Office? hate him. I don't like him at all. He pisses me off. He's transporting a bomb on the train, and the reason he's traveling to New York is to kill an other, another old immortal. So the Barium family, the only Damn, important thing forehead. is that they're there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, they are relevant later, but basically all you need to know is that the family of a senator named Senator Barium. Let's talk about the actual confusing part. I hope I'm not too drunk to explain this. Okay, so the Lemurays are a cult, <laughs> but you need some background for this cult. Basically, this guy here, his name is Huey. He's an, he's an immortal from 1711. He's one of the OG immortals. And basically, he's the main character of the book series, but as far as the anime goes, he's not that important. Um, he's also, like, big into the alchemy stuff. Um, he has a daughter who... Drink, that explains, drink. like, what makes her a daughter as opposed to a monk, a monk kills. I mean... But I guess it's because she's a human. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Anyways, thanks. he has a daughter named Chane. Chane Lafare. And um, he also has a bunch of cults. Uh, in the show, we only talk about the Lemurays, but he has a bunch of cults. Uh, anyways, he's in jail right now. Um, Senator Barium put him in jail. 
because he's an immortal. Um, so the libraries are one of Huey Lafarre's cults. Um, they think that for some reason Huey's gonna let, allow them to become immortal. There's no evidence for that. Sounds like a cult. Like the Huey never said that for sure. I don't know why they think this. And so they're trying to get Huey out of jail because he's like their leader or whatever. Um, and they're threatening to kill everyone on the train, including the senator's wife and kid, if Huey isn't released. So basically they're like keeping uh, the Senator Barium's wife and kid hostage for his release. Um, and so Chane, who's the most important part of the Lemures, um, she's Huey Lafarre's daughter. She is mute. She does not talk. Um, she's not a member of the Lemures. Drink. Also wife and material, just saying. Yes, Chane's great. Um, but she wants Huey out of jail, so she's helping them. And for some reason, the Lemures don't like her and want her dead. I don't know why. Ah! So, okay. Isaac and Miria, um, the best <laughs> the best boy and girl in all of anime. Um, there's not really much to say about them, to be perfectly honest. Um, they're basically just like... Um, Jesse and Jane said better. Bo Bonnie and Clyde. Jesse and like James? Bonnie and Clyde, but like dumb. <laughs> but like, this, like, despite being dumb, they just fucking like come out ahead for whatever reason. Yeah, they always win. They're always, well, mm -hmm. kind of. So anyways, so they're 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 thieves. They like dressing up. They dress up in costumes all the time. They're just they're so lovable. They I are just, I love them so James. much. Mm -hmm. By the way, they're in every single timeline. They're in all the stories. In all the, the stories and everything I've, I mentioned, they're That's in all of them. Right now. They're in do da 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 da. That's right now. They're in do ra ra. These two characters are in do ra ra. Oh, are they? I didn't even notice. Yeah, they're in do ra ra. Uh they're 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 members of the dollars. But does do da 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 take place like Oh man, is that racist? Dura takes place in 2005. Okay, so it's like way after everything that happened in Bucky. Yes, yeah. which might imply that they're immortal. Anyways, oh. <laughs> you need to watch this show. So you're probably Wait. really confused. You should watch Bakano, please. Dubbed. Wait. I would ask you to watch the dubbed, but. Why is there so many like what best, is the boy, the best girls in this series? I first. But I... Dura, Bakano is the best fucking oh, show. Oh, you drink, so by the way. <laughs> And we we missed about fifteen. Drink. Like I, I, I kept like looking over every single character. I'm like, oh my god, I forgot how much I love this character. I forgot how much I love this character. Like it's funny because the counting. <laughs> There's been going... even more lovable characters in the books, by the way. The counting's been going to shit, and every so often, that, someone yes. in the chat's all like, drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, <laughs> drink man. right now. Oh yeah, drink right now because now it actually is sixteen. We missed fifteen, but we, we drank it. If like, anyone has any questions, 16. I'll be happy to answer them. I could literally talk about Bacano for my whole fucking life. Uh, how did you first discover it? Because I I found out about it from like on demand cable and yeah, Netflix. I would say that too. Like I don't think I've ever. I by the way, I it is saw it, it's no longer it. licensed. It's no longer licensed by any company. Uh, hey, so the DVD pirate, is pirate. Yeah, and just just so just pirate it. Just pirate we it. we we as a as a group, do not condone piracy. We don't. Allegedly. No dumb. Allegedly. No, no. Listen. No. We, wait, wait, wait. Allegedly. A, a to G Connections does not condone piracy, but Manuel Figueroa does. I do. Does. Listen, <laughs> all I'm I own three copies of the DVD. No, same, same thing. All I'm saying so is you could buy figures. You can buy merchandise. Exactly. You can still support the series <laughs> somehow. Actually, you Support can't. the series somehow. Somehow. Okay, I know, maybe Bacchino not show. in Bacchino's case, but still, you know what These I mean, goddammit. There's only two ways you can support the series, by buying the light novels and by buying the art book that was released in, like, 2009. Yeah, I'm totally okay with buying those, because at least, like, it, it, like, it's nice to look at, and it's yeah. fucking cool. When 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 I used to when I used to like collect anime like not even like watch anime I was collecting anime I think I did own Bakano but I think I sold nice, it. Nice Rose, nice Rose. I never watched it. I think I, what happened? What did Rose do? I missed it. <laughs> the big old Ruby's fucking little finger. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Up oh, here we go. Up oh, there we go. God damn Who it. Knows? Okay. Run I found out. I didn't get to answer. Your Drink. Question. I found out about Bakano. Because at AX, I went to a quiz panel, and he the, the the quiz presenter did this thing where, to like limit the number of people on stage, he would like just do a question that you just had to answer like down the line, and the question he said was name a character in Bacano. Like what is what is the name of the train in Bacano? Pussyfoot. Yep. And I was like, I should watch that show. The flying. And so I did. I think I went into the same panel because that was a question that was in there for one of the panels that was like a game show type of thing for me 
It yeah. might have been the same fucking panel. It was actually, the panel itself was like a debate, but like to narrow the number of people on stage, you would ask questions like that. Mm-hmm. And okay. no one could answer it, by the way. No one could answer the flying pussyfoot. Even people but in the audience were saying the flying pussyfoot, and the people on stage didn't believe them. <laughs> Are you serious? Let yeah. me tell you. Let me tell you one of the most amazing experiences I ever had. It was in like one of those panels. It was like a game show thing, but the entire thing is guess the anime based off of the anime opening, like the oh, song which is playing. Bakano is one of the most. Bakano has a very parodied opening. Even like this week, I saw a JoJo version of Bakano's opening because it's so fucking iconic. Drink. <laughs> it's one of the best like, also, I But like, here's the thing. Wait, but here's the thing, is it came out, like, that panel was, like, right when Attack on Titan came out, right? So mm -hmm. the full version of the opening song hadn't come out yet. So everybody was out just, like, you know, whatever. And then the song was playing because it was the full version. It was just, like, chanting. And then all of a sudden, you just hear, and then, like, everybody in the room erupted, like, raising their hand. I think it was drink. Did you drink? I don't know. I already drank. Yep. Okay, oh, so sure wait for did. 20. Okay, oh, so actually, uh, fuck, what was my last question? I had a question about this, really. Um, fuck. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, I, I had it when we started, and I forgot what it was. I love Bacchino. Oh, it's great. I should watch it. I've, I've never... Um, like it's I said, I, I really watched no, it. No, 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 no joke. I legit owned it. I, I'm 99% sure I owned it for most and of like my. I think worth a lot now. Yeah, and I fucking but sold it. it. No, no, I'm pretty sure. I'm DVDs pretty sure Book Off I gave me are worth a lot. No, I'm pretty sure Book Off gave me like five dollars for it. I'm not even amazing. Because I just took, I just took, I took literally thousands. I'm not even exaggerating. I took I've thousands been trying of DVDs. I to buy more copies of the DVD, but they're all like eighty, ninety dollars. No, yeah, um, I I wound up like getting like a box set of Berserk, like the original 1990s version on DVD, and I got it just when Suncoast is going out of business around me, and then I wind up finding out like several years afterwards, like a hundred dollars. I'm like, Jesus Christ! Well, I sold that too. I definitely sold that too. Fun fact I about Berserk so is that like I actually paid full retail price for Berserk at Suncoast when I was young. Like when I when it first came out on DVD, I spent like twenty thirty dollars a volume, and there was like six of them. Back in those days, I had I had the nice little box that it came in because Volume One would always have like a box, and then uh, yeah. I miss that. I miss those days. Uh, yeah, like those, those like the, the president of the anime club in high school. Like he was only president. Like he was a year <laughs> younger than me, but he was oh, only drink. He had the most DVDs. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. And, and I think we'll Somebody call that we'll call that the end of your thing. Um, Alexa, pick a number between one and three. I love Bakuna. Please watch Bakuna. It's one. So me. So who's the first one who hasn't gone? It's Matt. Okay. It's time to strap yourselves in. Am <laughs> I gonna be last? I know. Like no, I still haven't wait, gone. Have, have you have you guys been drinking? Because we're all lit, and I think we were all lit before this even started. So <laughs> I've been drinking a lot. I've been jiggling my leg. I'm like tipsy right now, dude. Oh, like I it's have, it's getting late much. in Texas, and I'm just like. Oh, it's eleven. I, I forgot. Buzz. Yeah. I'm the lights. It's finally so starting to hit me right now. <laughs> starting out with vomit. All right, this is a nice, this is a nice right. intro. Uh, I think this is the timer going yet. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold wait. on. Wait, 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 wait. It really is it. Hold on, Jen. Let us know when, when are you starting. On. Okay, three, two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait what up. is this about? I'll tell you. Vomit. vomit. But like, no, actually, like, are you going to show people vomiting? Because I can't watch that. No, there's no vomit. That's just okay. So. Wait, wait, wait! Are we starting? Wait, yeah, are you starting? Okay, I'm sorry. Three, right. two, two, one, go. What's up, everybody? So, just letting you know, Molly, no, it's not about vomit, but it's called lead vomit because of, you know, I wanted to talk, when people talk about shooting bullets from a gun, they talk about, like, spitting lead. But mm -hmm. this is, like, a straight vomit. Like, if, if you're shooting so many bullets from a Gatling gun, that's it's like it's vomiting lead. So, it's the name of my mercenary story. My alternate history mercenary story I've been writing since 2010 called Lead Vomit. So Lead Vomit, it's a story about Swiss mercenaries that are based out of Geneva, Switzerland. And they basically end up changing the course of both World War I and World War II because they have such like advanced weapons. They have really like high level engineers and, you know, they have shit like helicopters uh, they've got an oil tanker that transforms into an aircraft carrier. 
They got like ATVs. So one of their most famous. Wait, bottles... wait, 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 wait. What's that third one in? What's up? What are you talking about? Guide gear, ATV, c- cabin, clothes. What is that third one I, in? Go I back think to the ATVs. Buy that. I think you can buy that cover on Amazon. I'm not going to lie. What is that? that? A tent? Yeah, so, like that bro just straight up put a tent on top of his ATV. I guess they got to get the rain off of them somehow. So <laughs> I <laughs> need to it. all enough. terrain, yeah, but I don't, want, yeah. I don't want the rain to touch me. <laughs> so ba- back to it. So their most famous battle is Constantinople. So they're able they were able to take once in Istanbul. Yeah, they were able to take over Constantinople with the power of freaking ATVs, uh Gatling guns, like fully automatic pistols, helicopters, <laughs> and they even had like a blimp. Wait, wait, wait. Two Can things. Just... Two things. Two things. I need to Are I, you I, also I need... saying how there's birth dojin number one dot W E P no, th- this is totally a fair thing to present on, but I need to know two I, things. Because I identify with that in like big energy mode. I, I need to know I two should, things. I should before... delete. I should close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm eating into your three minutes, but I'm still gonna keep. I'm still gonna ask my two questions. So first of all, so no, that's like could, identify. No, wait, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is your presentation on a story that you wrote? Yup. <laughs> Love it. Okay, okay, Love to see okay, it. okay, okay, okay. Now, now that I understand that fully, because I was kind of, I was like, wait, I was kind of confused. Yeah, this is confused when we started. But the that's how question... I opened it, man. Well, I said it's a mercenary story I wrote. Yeah. Okay. So. Obviously, man, I'm like 30 drinks. <laughs> I think we. Should... Oh yeah. I'm we pretty sure I used this gun in Resident Evil 4. No, yeah, my second okay. question is, what time period Constantinople? 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 Are we talking? 1918. Before okay, I was in Istanbul. Okay. 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 Er, when it so they, was Istanbul. Yeah. Is, so Istanbul. There's only there's was once Constantinople. Well, the British, the British still Istanbul. called it Con- So when the British took Constantinople, like we're trying to take Constantinople in the Gallipoli in the Gallipoli campaign, they were using they were u- they were trying to like use it with conventional like trench warfare, right? But this mercenary organization changed the course of history because they used these blimps, right? that dropped paratroopers down on like the Hagia Sophia. They just mowed people down. They had like shit like UMPs that used like 357 what, cartridges. Wait, hold on, what is UMP? It's universal machine pistol. <laughs> okay, there we yes. go. But it's kind of like a it's kind of like a UMP, but it's like their version. Like I haven't drawn it yet, but you'll see it. So why, why is other, like, like I, I just, just go like back. a week ago I just started like looking into like anything about guns at all. So they got the they got this other weapon. The this is the main weapon of the the so the organization's called the Rice Lopper, which means like rice finder. But there, uh, but that was the term for German mercenaries back in Drink. the 1600s. Drink. So, so basically, this isn't their other. This is their standard side, sidearm, the Mauser C96. You know, fully auto. But I, you know, I'll get before I get to the weapons. I'll get down to the characters. So the leader <laughs> of the organization. Keep going. His name is. I'm gonna keep laughing. Just keep going. Yeah. The leader of the organization, his name is Commodore Bernard Stoffel. He's age 48. He's from Munich, Germany. Uh, yeah, he, he went to military school in Prussia. You know, I don't think I'm going to get to all of this. I'll Prussia probably just give you guys... Germ- just Wait, just go with like... The big no, he's, he's, super, he's super old. So anyways, well, it was part. it's part of the kingdom of Germany. So... I mean, it's part. Of, Prussia was a kingdom within the Empire of Germany. Mm. So, Commandant Nigel Deacon. So, the story actually kicks off. The main story actually kicks off. Wait, at the I want to hear about Si Lang, whatever the the one from Xi'an, China. Oh, Sun Sun Li Fang. <laughs> yeah. So, so Sun Li Fang, he's like a sniper, and he's part of the Chinese Nationalist Party, and he uses this weapon. He uses this weapon called the the K thirty one. Wait, so he's and, nationalist? So he's like he's fucking. Uh... Yeah, he's pro Chang. So, <laughs> but check Open it out. Tang. I've but seen this YouTuber before, but not doing this. What is his name? Folding can ideas. There we go. Oh, we can't hear. It. Yeah, for some reason we can't hear. That's, That's okay. It's fine. It's we loud. can hear it. We can hear it. It's, it's loud. It would be loud anywhere. So it's a straight. It's a straight pull rifle. So you just pull it back like a shotgun. And you push it back forward to chamber the next round. 
So that's the K31, and that's suddenly Fang's weapon of choice. Mm. So we could shoot faster than just about anybody. Oh, drink! That Big he's time up drink! We, we, we totally missed five, and you're about to. And drink again, because we're going to have six in like two, ten Yo, seconds. Yo, his yeah, GoPro <laughs> is pointing in the complete opposite direction. So I got two. So the other main weapon that the Rice Locker uses in World War II is attack helicopters. So they got like attack helicopters. They've got an oil tanker that could transform into aircraft carrier. They got ATVs. They got blimps. They That's got a blimp. That's a blimp. Listen, no, 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 you can't just create so Go back to the blimps. Go back to the That's blimps. I need blimp. more expansion. That's I need blimp. more expansion. So the blimps was used in the Battle of Constantinople. <laughs> Where the troops parachuted out of the blimps. Wait, but and... that's a hot air balloon. They brought like four troops at a time. <laughs> would, that bottle of Const- would that be Not the Battle of Constantinople? Would that be the Battle of Constantinople? It's the like, it's like a Istanbul. bigger carriage underneath. It's like no, no, a no. bigger carriage, like a zeppelin almost. Okay, okay. Yeah. Look up the word blimp. Can you please just like look up blimp right now? Because blimp is an actual thing that I'm you can dying. find. Hold on, hold on, I'm dying. Oh, yeah. Is well, there they, a difference like a between balloon. the definition of a blimp and a zeppelin? Now I'm interested. Now I'm like, go. wait, what's the, and you yeah, got the like, good year. difference? You got the good year. What is the distinguishing factor? A zeppelin here? actually, um, I think, can carry people, and a blimp can't. Oh shit! Oh, okay. No, they got like a, they've got like a bigger undercarriage Drake. though, so. Drink. Not gonna lie, I'm a massive like word nerd, so like shit no. like that actually like the main character. My so hold on, man. the main character his name is name's Nigel Deacon, and he, I based him off Pip Bernadette, Bernadette from uh from Helsing. Ah. And seven eye patch. He's got sunglasses, and he's got like a cigarette and stuff. But his main weapon is the Fedorov Optimat. It's a fully automatic, uh, machi- like a, almost like proto assault rifle from late in World War One. But they never utilized it or fixed its um, fixed its its flaws. But it's it was, it's full auto. It predates the AK-47 and the German Sturmgewehr, which is also the second character. He's this guy who wears a top hat from New Orleans. His name's Top Hat Murphy, and his weapon of choice <laughs> is the sawed off is the sawed off Browning automatic Drink! rifle. Drink! Wait, okay, so like, top hat what, what's the story like here? Name. Like, how do they like change the like? course of history no no well yeah exactly what i want to hear is where did they get the time machine no no time machine They're, they just have a really good arms maker so <laughs> how, do, they, how does like shit go different how does shit go like oh, south no, one of the or things is, that's not what this is about apparently this is just about the people and the weapons they use yeah oh, molly molly so right. the one right. thing well play just one of the things they did change is is they they knocked they, they knocked the ottoman empire out of the war in early 1918 that was one of the things they they changed. Oh, the other okay. thing I'm is sorry, I the was Spanish time travel involved. I just I get this now. Okay, okay, I get it now. So yeah, so Manuel, the Spanish Civil War, they were able to change that because one of they fought for the the Spanish Republican yeah. side against Francisco Franco. Okay, and I thought you were writing time machine science fiction. No, but you're, no, you're doing this alternate is a, history. You're doing alternate. This is alternate history. history. There yeah. you go. This drink, okay. drink. Sorry, I, that's, that's the main reason I was laughing. I was so confused. I thought it was time. Yeah, travel. I just made up time travel in my head. Don't just ignore me because I'm fucking. Wasted. It's all good. So they're they're a commander in chief. They've got one real life. He's based off a real life figure. His name's Emile Mouslier. He's actually the one who came up with the symbol for the Free French Forces during World War II, which was uh, Joan of Arc's cro- a double, cross of Lorraine. That's also the cross for like. Uh, it looks very similar to the cross. That's like the what the fuck do you call it? The one, the um, the Orthodox Church, the one that's like the little cross. So it was, it was Joan of Arc's Cross of Lorraine. So Emile Mousselier, so like the main characters would report to Admiral Mousselier <laughs> and put them on missions. And the main villain of this story is the French is is French fascists. They're the they're called the Malice. Oh, let me see. I've got it. I've got it right here. Yeah, the Malice. So they were basically Nazi collaborators Drink. in France. They were basically Nazi collaborators in France, and their uniform was kind of like navy blue or dark or black. And they have this symbol, right, right here. It's the Malice, the Malice Francais. That looks like the Jesus fish. I'm not, the yeah. Jesus fish that is. <laughs> it does. It straight yeah, up looks like Jesus, it. It's the Jesus fish facing downwards. But yeah, the Malice Francais was like they're like Nazi collaborators in <laughs> France. And those are like the main enemies of the story. Okay, I, thought, I, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, go on. Yeah, so they're the main enemies of the story. And basically, these guys are getting their asses handed to them by fucking helicopters and hair. Oh, and so one of the another character, he's a Swedish 
fighter pilot named Gustav, and he actually has like a Harrier jet that he uses. Gustav. Yeah, he's he's pretty bomb, and it's based off of the British Gloucester Kelly. fighter jet. <laughs> I was saying, that shit doesn't even look real. That shit looks like a fucking cosplay gun. I gotta look for where's it? Where's that Gloucester fighter that jet I got on there? It's on. <laughs> I had I had that shit on here. No, I'm like, oh, yeah, here it is. guns it's look like. It's based off of. So imagine this shit if it, was, if it was. it was. So imagine this if it was like a Harrier jet, basically. So it could or, it could it could take off like this and land like that. So and that that shit like wailing on them, you know, going all out. Oh, and their other weapon that, is like the fully automatic, the full auto shotgun. The, the that AD-12. looks like a mad guy. That, that looks guy. fake Tommy as gun. fuck. Yeah, it looks like a Tommy that gun that went on crack. Bit, yeah, because it's made. It looks from, like uh, my first cosplay gun. <laughs> it's made from synthetic materials, but it's, it's like it's like that looks like it's it, made from cardboard. Kelly's yeah, made I know. that shit before. <laughs> it's like it's like plastic, but it's it's fully auto. So and it shoots it sh- it could shoot mini grenades too, which is pretty bomb. <laughs> it can shoot one of the, the fucking fuck? ones. <laughs> yeah, dude, you want to see that what the grenades look like? Oh no, I God. believe you. No, I'm I believe dying. You. Shoot... I believe you. It's cool. I I believe you, Holmes. These these grenade shells are so they're so crazy. Wait, do these exist? <laughs> yeah, and they and they blow people to bits because like they have the the mini grenade inside of the shotgun shell. It ignites it, shoots out the grenade, and bam, you're jelly. So, <laughs> so Kelly out. has fallen off of her chair. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> I think Kelly died. When did this happen? Did she just fall over like she just, just like, now? S- she just like slowly slept, like went out of her chair. And I wish I could do the same thing, but my table's blocking me. <laughs> okay, so, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I'm drink, so drink, dude, like, drink. This we guy has home. an actual Hitler mustache. He does. What okay, are you showing look us? At him. <laughs> And his name is Julius Stryker. I'm sorry. To but be just... fair, it says right there was a member of the Nazi party. Yeah, oh, it does. I can't like they all actually had the same mustache. It's like, so, wow, okay. I know this is the, the main. This is actually the it's main villain cool of the story. The this is actually the main villain because he's he was a real life person, and a lot of people said he was ten times worse than Hitler. So he's like, uh, that's a that's a tall order to fill. Yeah. Well, he was. He was, they said in terms of cruelty, because he doesn't have the kill count, though. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on from let's move on from from Mega Hitler. Let's move on from Super Hitler and just just move on, just move on. Mega okay, Hitler. wait, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Plot, 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 plot. He not, he, he not raided us. She raided us again. So he not raided us. Plot, 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 plot. So plot, back plot. to plot. So we got two more. The two main villains are Lieutenant Colonel Marquis Leon Dumois. He's age 33. He's from Marseille, and he's an officer in the Malice. Like I said, Julius Stryker, I burped. Klaus Stern, he's a member of the German Communist Party, but he also fights, like, the 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 fascist, and and he starts off being on the same side as the, as the Swiss mercenaries, but... I miss FP. Oh, what happened to FP- FPS Russia? Isn't that Kyle? Like, FPS Kyle, or whatever his name was? Yeah, this is FPS Russia. Like, that guy... <laughs> But Elko, so we got a bunch of characters. We got Elk, Lieutenant Elko Vanderklaas. Like, you guys were talking about pirates earlier. This guy's a straight-up pirate. Oh, if it, nice. did somebody get him on drink already? Yeah, no, okay. I already got it. Okay. Molly's so, a ghost! Oh, my God! So, Lieutenant Vanderklaas, <laughs> he's got, like, two shotguns. He could steal ships and shit. And we also got... <laughs> Got General. We got Captain Fang, who I told you about earlier. Yeah. We got Top Hat Murphy. We got Gustav Slicer. He has. He's got that Harrier jet. You know. So we got. We got a lot. A lot of pretty like. So so the, the story is okay, called vomiting okay. lead, so, like, right? What's, what's... Lead vomit. Lead, lead vomit. vomit. Yeah, bro. Okay. Yeah, and it's just. It's just Drink. straight. Strap yourself in and feel the G's. It's like. I mean, also. No, oh my talk, god. Sorry, you should write this and publish it on Amazon. But go on. I have to. I Nigel. Have to. Nigel Deacon actually starts out as a bank robber, pretty much. So no, have you ever seen the movie Young Guns? Oh, by the yeah, way, I've, I've seen some of it. Like on I love famous. Young Guns. It's actually free on, if you have Amazon Prime. It's actually it's not part of Amazon Prime, but it's free with like ads. I think it's on... Emilio Emilio yeah, Estevez's it's, it's, best it's, work. Yeah, it's I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. No joke. But the reason I mention it is because there's this part, and it, the guy who actually kills Charlie Sheen, if you watched it. 
um, where like this bounty hunter comes after them, and his name is Buckshot Murphy. So whenever I see Top Hat, and I, no, mind you, I love the movie, so I know it like I the back of my head. Where I came up with it. Yeah, and Buckshot Murphy, he's like, I remember he shows up, and he's like, let's dance, and he pulls out guns, and starts like shooting up everyone. He gets Lou Diamond Phillips in the hand. He gets like fucking uh, what's the guy from Twenty Four? Uh, I can't remember his name. Because he's in that movie. Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, he has Kiefer Sutherland in the arm. And he's just Manuel blasting. Has... And then he you hides in the outhouse. <laughs> you know about that line from there? Is like Drink! He pulls out the gun and he says, I'll make I'll you make famous. I'll be famous, yes! <laughs> I'll make you famous. No, dude. And then he goes in the outhouse and the, the, they shoot up the outhouse. But then, like, it's like, go check on him, Dick. Because his, his name's Dick, Charlie Sheen's character. And he so, goes and he gets shot. He gets, he dies. I think, I think one more plot detail I'll tell you. I think one more plot detail I'll tell you is that... um. So Nigel Deacon starts out as a bank robber, and his dad gets killed by uh, by uh, Marquis Dumois, who he he just starts off as a French policeman, but he joins the Foreign the Legion? Malice. Oh. yeah, the Malice Francais. Okay. So um, so it's based on a lot of real history, but it's yeah. like it's like it's a, it's fun like in Glorious Bastards, like there's a different there's like different kinds of guys. It's a little bit like Expendables too. Also, oh, there's shit. like different different guys with different guns, pretty much. Yeah, you know? Kelly, I don't know if you missed it, but we got we're getting raided. I don't know if we, yeah, we're getting raided again. Isn't that crazy? So any I questions? Saw and I can hear all. So like, any questions, you guys? No, I, I think I think that was that was actually I'm not gonna lie. I was really confused when it started mainly because of the alcohol, but now I'm kind of getting it. It's not a, it's actually a good story. Um. Yeah, I got a lot more. Like I think I wrote the battle of constantinople already into my you know into my thing publish it on, on you can like they, self publish on amazon easily they got like all terrain wheels on these motorcycles and they got like the sidecar and they got like double guns like shooting automatic guns at the trench lines in their battles it's so fucking like i'm sorry if if, if i ruined the sorry the, the cussing sorry oh, about that fine. you can yeah. <laughs> kelly what are you doing kelly that was the default when i turned on Use virtual backgrounds. Alexa, so, oh, but yeah, any oh. questions, you guys? Take any a drink, questions? by the way. Yeah. Wait, Alexa, pick a number between one. Pick a number between one and two. Oh, you are going last, Molly. <laughs> What? It literally picked. Oh, he's not here though. So fuck him. It's, Molly's going next. Take another drink, Matt. And yeah. thank you. That was actually a really good. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was laughing my ass off because you straight up did a presentation on your own story, which is kind of ballsy. Yeah. But you it actually, whatever, it actually was. You can do whatever you want. Might as well. No, know? exactly. I'm not. I mean, that totally is in line with what you could have done. But it's yeah. just. Uh, it actually went pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. When you first started talking about it. I, Mainly, I was laughing my ass off that I thought time travel was involved. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I should get time travel involved at some point, but, like, Please the don't. grandfather paradox makes it so crazy. Because you have to think about, like, how the grandfather paradox works. Like, oh, if you kill your own grandfather exactly. or if you do this shit, you, create, you have to create separate timelines and all this other insane shit. So It's like but, the butterfly effect, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean the movie. I mean the actual effect. Yeah, the thing. actual, the actual effect, concept. Yeah. 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 Like, it really is a thing. Like, the idea is if you go back and if you go back to prehistoric times and kill a butterfly, that you change so, the course of, like, I history. Like, at least three drinks. Watch <laughs> Bacchino. Did you seriously... Did Callie Please? just like randomly wake up just to draw this on the screen? She, Callie, she, she, she's dabbing. She dabbing. She hardcore like. But play this. If you missed it earlier, I just oh okay. You got your yeah. You got yeah, your yeah. dabbing. You, you're if you going last earlier, place. I basically I basically said like one of the motivations for one of the characters is the lieutenant colonel Leon Dumois killed the dad of C Commandant Nigel Deacon. I believe so, you. So he, <laughs> take, take a he, drink. He killed his dad, and his dad was like drink, he originally. Drink, drink, drink. Nigel drink. Deacon was a bank robber, so they. All right. He, yeah, and, Bernard and... Stapel recruits bank robbers to become mercenaries, and you know, they fought Nazi Germany. They fight fascist France. So word, I believe. You know, yeah, okay. and they so... and they also changed the course of the Spanish Civil War. They so... won it for the Spanish Republicans. So. Word, word. Le le so let's wrap that up. Let's get ready for Molly. Molly, pull yours. Start pulling yours up. While I actually um, is that a casino? I, I no, love. It, I, it's not working. The background's not working. Oh my <laughs> god! It's Cheesecake Factory. 
Is the presentation oh about Cheesecake Factory? Please tell me the presentation is about Cheesecake Factory. It is. Hell yeah. Uh, is it about all the cheesecakes? Yes. Um, I love I love that um Kelly straight up put Watch Bacano and put a straight up pirate link. And put a straight up pirate link. Molly, you There's okay? no other way to watch so it. Hard. If no, there's any other way to watch it, I'll give you a link. Listen, here's the thing. Do you want That's the series the to be supported or not? Do you want it to oh be supported God. or not? That drink Buy the light novels! It. Wow, it's not. It's not. Okay, okay. That, that my computer not. does not meet the requirements because I need to update it. Um, So next time we do one of these, I'll have a background, but this time I cannot unless you want to be looking at this. No, that's <laughs> terrifying. Like that's terrifying and your eyes are just floating life. and I don't like it. My drink did not light novels. Is this or... the final boss in Star Fox? The 2018 um... Bakano manga adaptation, which is in English. 2008? They adapted in 2018? Or I know, they... right? Like, oh, that's... fucking Wait. bad. There wasn't a second fucking season. What I could Sorry. do is if Pleiades wants to go, I can update my computer real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you were gone when we did it, but you technically were next. Yeah, so <laughs> well, you're technically cool back, so you're you're like, okay, well, I'll be right back. Like it's like you're the invisible woman, like, like. <laughs> no, right that's now. what it looks like. It's actually I'll be back. Is that effect and everything? Like we could see. Th it's like. Are you okay, Rose? Yeah. You look like you're 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 pretty gone too. A little bit, <laughs> but I'm Are good. any of us really here? <laughs> what is oh. life? Technically. Callie Maybe is just a Bacchano me. machine right now. Y'all gotta go don't fast so I can me. go bed so I can no look more. at houses tomorrow. If you want, oh, you yeah, can have a terrible idea. Go. What time is it there? That no, should be like, sounding like, real cheap right almost now. Mid, it's almost, no, is it really? Never mind, you can stay. It's, Fuck you. I thought it was like 11.30 over here, so yeah, that sounds about right. No, you can stay, yeah, you can you, stay, never mind. You got you got like half an hour and then I'm just gonna... Well, if you don't be real talk, if you really want to go, you can go ahead. I'll give you half an hour and then I'm gonna go see. Okay, that's fine. Um... Yeah, you they're both published by Yen Press. Oh, Ooh, Yen Press is the only one doing any fucking thing with light novels. Yeah, Dude, Yen Press homie. is the only one that won't fucking email me back. No, we have ah. we have the contact now. Oh. I, I don't want to name his name anymore because I don't want to name his name anymore. I don't want to name blow his, his name, ass up. Blow his ass up. A, 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 certain, a certain friend of mine. Friend of mine. Oh, Netflix said that they had Bacano? No, they they used to um. He used to work for Viz, but now he works for for Yen Press. So we actually have the the connection, and we get we get all their mangas, but nobody wants to review them ever. Like we get them for Are you free. Fucking kidding I'm not me making this up. We get them for free before they're released. And Wait, people the physical ones? Physicals, yes. And Send nobody, it to me. And no, we get to review it, but nobody wants to review it. Review it. I mean, it's also because like, well, that that's that's a that's not a discussion for the. Stream. But yeah, that, that's another. Oh, that sounds like the best discussion for the stream. <laughs> this is internal A to G. That sounds anyway, spicy. Anyway, Aniplex yeah. had had the Blu-rays not that long ago. It looks like. Um, the Watch Bacchano stream now. Let's fucking watch Bacchano. Fuck Bacchano. Hey. Fuck Bacchano. Bacchano. Oh, I support wait, this message. Pull, pull, pull your. Pull, pull, I almost said. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Pull, pull your presentation out. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't want to hear what I was gonna ask you to pull out, Pleiades. Just pull your presentation out. <laughs> They don't have Bacchano on Listen, Netflix Listen, I anymore. haven't decided Netflix isn't, on Sorry, Bacchano isn't anywhere because it's not licensed anymore. Mm. The license expired in 2017? That's how oh, Sailor Moon was that, for That was very recent for me. That, so it must have been like 2015 when it was on Netflix. Yeah, it was pretty late it's, long ago. It really should have been like a no-brainer, though. As soon as like do -ra -ra -ra, like just popped right, right, off, right. it really should have been a fucking no-brainer. Exactly. Dura see? is worse than Bacchano. Sorry about it. It's not that good. Bacchano's good. I like I it. Listen, I, a, not I agree. I agree. Okay. That said, if I have to sell it to people who don't know what the fuck I know, it's it about, really depresses that's me. how I, don't know I do why it. Dura is so fucking popular, honestly. Also, I'm not gonna lie. The uh, the handful like of dollars websites <laughs> where like people would have like their own websites where they would just be like, oh, dollars, log in. <laughs> And like everybody's anonymous and shit like that. It was kind of cool for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I like Dura. I like Rio Gunarita. I will support all the shit he does. It just bothers me that Bakano is so underwatched. No, it's okay. Listen, here's the thing: people don't pay attention to good shit. Just leave it. 
No, that, I know, that, so I know. Let's have a I chance know. of people ruining it. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I'm just upset that there's no season two, which there never will be. I Listen, mean, this, most anime. What you're describing is two. how I feel every single time a fake fan says anything, and I'm over here sitting with Tsukihime like, well, remake or 2.0 never coming. So whatever. I no, guess we're just I know that most things don't. Because no, know knows what makes don't money. Season two. Fucking The Nasu crazy Lord. thing about Bakuno is that there's literally a scene in episode one of a thing that would have happened in season two. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that weird? We don't. They, they, were, just, they were just thinking a bit too uh, ahead of themselves, maybe. I know, but that, they that, were that right. Might... They, there should have been a season two. There was even a re- a restream of it on Nico Nico Doga last year, and people fucking loved it. Please, Show of hands. Like how, how many people have uh, Nico Nico uh, accounts? I mean, I don't. I it's all about one. Billy Billy. Nobody watches Nico Nico. Billy Billy. Billy, what the fuck? I'll get it's, both. It's, it's a Chinese one. It's a Chinese like live stream. That's version. a real thing. Yeah. I, oh, okay. I didn't make that up. <laughs> that sounds totally made up. <laughs> Billy Billy's like, ah, oh, just made up a, a thing. No, Billy, it's a, it's a... Billy. Billy Billy. Oh, uh, he's drunk. He's playing music now. <laughs> okay. What is that? No one <laughs> asked, but this guy's my favorite character. <laughs> it's like th- this guy. Dallas. That, that's over it my was. face. Oh. Vino you is would be a Dallas, but it's a fucking spoiler, so I can't talk about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Play, that play better be alcohol, like, ladies. Is it, isn't it kind of like how Gundam After War Gundam X was cut short, like thir- ten this episodes? This is all boomer talk. I just read that. I don't know what that is. I don't care. Bakuno's never boomer talk. Wait, I just realized I Bacano forgot we were streaming. Is a treasure. Um, I think Pleiades just started his presentation. <laughs> I, I probably oh, yeah. should, but I feel like really apprehensive. Done. Like since Molly's she, not she here, she said she was she said she was updating her thing, but that oh, was yeah, so literally background. But that was literally ten minutes ago. But she she Harmony died. Harvey will you get a season minutes ago. three though. That's the difference. Bakuno will never get a season two. Harvey is overrated. Harvey's not really overrated. It's my second favorite show. Harvey is it's absolutely overrated. It is overrated. Harvey is As someone who likes <laughs> it a not, lot. It's, it's pretty not overrated. Bad. Bad. It's, I, I it's will, I will quantifiably name? say that it's not bad, but it's overrated for what it is. I still cried though at the disappearance of Ahri Suzumiya, where like. Uh, Nagato like has to like take the paper back from Kion, and she's like fucking like tearing up. I will admit that I did tear up at that scene though. Are he is good actually. The anime is not as good as the light novels. I know that's like a fucking hipster thing to say. It really but, is. But like I like the yeah, anime the and origi- the light novels. The original shit is always going to be better just because like there's less like um like stuff that's lost in translation. You Bros, know. Bros, what's your favorite anime? Oh my god! Uh, I don't know. just can, one. No, 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 no. I, I can give that's like a top a five. I can't give a one. I can <laughs> yeah. give like. I don't know if I, I can give ten. Impossible. Because like, like fucking Callie, fucking Callie's on her Bacchano shit. I, go, like, <laughs> I can give you, I can give you two or three. Exactly. That's Legends what I was of the Galactic too. Heroes, Nadesco, and Sukisio. Just because I'm a, I'm a Fudanji. That's why. I, I will <laughs> give you Serial Experiments Lane. I will give you um, Technolize. Well, Technolize. Tommy got at uh, Tatami Galaxy. And then, like, if we're talking, like, slightly out, like, more accessible shit, like, Outlaw Star Yu Hakusho. Like, I don't even know where I'd begin. Like, maybe maybe Slayers, and then, like... Slayers Slayers Slayers? fucking slaps. Yeah, I love Slayers. Slayers slaps. I fucking love Slayers. That's boomer talk, though. Oh, God! Fucking right, that shit is dope. God damn, that's harsh. It's boomer talk. Listen, I unironically uh, watched the original Mock Ross. Is that true? Do no, not give a fuck. Real talk, it's probably, it's probably Slayers, Rose of Versailles. Um, that's even more boomer. That's even more boomer than Slayers. Um, <laughs> the very on brand. And then honestly, like honestly, I know it's super new and it's weird to add it in, but I'll add it. Fuck it. It's probably Macross Delta. Even more so than anything any other before Macross. So not the first Macross? No. I the original like, Macross? Like, I... I I honestly don't think I could watch the first Macross again if I would sit down and watch all 36 episodes. You'd um, be surprised. Like, I tried, but I could watch all of... Uh, I can't watch all of Seven again. I might be able to watch all of Flash again, but I could definitely watch all of Delta again. And I have. I watched it twice, which is, I know it sounds like not that much, but it's, it's recent. So, like, twice is still pretty crazy for a show that came out, like, two, three years ago. 
Um, watching any anime from like the seventies is like if you no, can like wholeheartedly watch that shit, that is like a Rose testament of, to no, your Rose patience. Of I'm is not amaz- lie. Rose of Versailles is amazing, but watching some of the like dueling scenes where they're trying to like do sword shit, it's kind of laughable hey, because it's like be Molly. This heart, there's only a few frames of animation. Oh, she's still the same. <laughs> You're still in. Oh wait. Are you still invisible, girl? Still trapped in the that? Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, I, well, no, because I'm still using it without a, um, tr- like, technically I'm using it with a green screen, so I'm going to try and see if it works. Now. Yeah, by the way, by the this way. This feels like a metaphor for purgatory. We, we literally spent 15 minutes just talking. Pleiades never started his presentation. We, we went on about our favorite anime. Um, oh, but if you also, haven't watched Serial Experiments way, Lane, fucking watch Serial Experiments yeah. Lane. No, I, I know it. it's like five deep six for you, but like still, it's pretentious as hell, but it's amazing still. I well, if you, I could tell you were a Lane fan if it's you said so you were good. a Technolized fan, because those two kind of go together because they're so Pretty brutal much. and crazy. Okay, wait Techno- a minute. Sorry, keep going. I, I was talking to myself. No, oh, go for it. And, no, no, I was just gonna say my computer does meet the requirements. Why is it saying that it doesn't? D- uh, because it needs to. Is it, um, do you have, have a fun. dedicated GPU? I don't know what that means. Like, do you have, like, a separate part that, like, handles graphics, like a graphics card versus, like, some onboard stuff? <laughs> no, I have a Mac. All right. Oh, okay, okay, never mind then. I was going to say, like, sometimes people have trouble, like, oh, when it goes to your motherboard shit instead of, like, the actual card that you're, You need like, quad core, and stuff. I only have dual core. Okay, that's Oh, fine. okay, there you go. So I can there only do go. it if I had a green screen, which I don't. Um... This is real fast. I also want to shout out to Dirty Pair Flash. It's actually one oh, of my yeah. favorite shows. But it's weird because, like, I'm not going to lie, part of it might have just been because I watched it, like, relatively all right, young Callie, what do you, all the yeah. time. Is that autograph, Callie? Yeah, yeah I'm going to rob you. We were talking you. in the chat yeah, about the hardcover of yeah. Haruhi, and I have one of the volumes uh, signed by Nerezi. By, by the way, I probably... Listen, like, by the way, I love whenever artists do that shit. Like, it's noisy, oh, really? Shit, That's what your pseudonym is? <laughs> Noisy Ito. Yeah, it's noisy. It's a it's a portmanteau, wherever the fuck it's called. Like they, it's a play on words. A portmanteau. Uh, no. We'll Ito noisy. That, that we'll means that the, it was just pretty much it's noisy. Like a like a what's it called? Uh, it's breaks. fucking written as Ito noisy, so that's how I'm gonna fucking pronounce it. What? Oh, <laughs> like the guy who made Air Gear. Kelly. Oh, great. It, but it's like, but he says like, oh, good air or whatever the fuck. It's like or, that kind of thing. Or Edogawa Rampo. Which is Edogawa Rampo. It's not my fault that they, oh, they that always true. write it yeah. as Noisy Ito. Edogawa Rampo is Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, but no. Nobody... Oh, I thought that was something, something Rand Paul. I was like, No, what? but yeah, Edo... he, he's an author, Edogawa Rampo. And it's funny because they only call him that in America. But in England, in, in Japanese. <laughs> the green pillow is a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my snap. god. That's fun. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the dimensional That's pretty cool. Pillow. That actually I... is really cool. Yeah. I couldn't get green screen to work when I tried to do it with Zoom. My my wait, cat wait. is starting to like eat me and telling me to go to bed. Oh, if you want to go, you can go ahead, Janet. She's like nibbling my feet. Lie. She's like, it's bedtime. Okay, everyone good. say goodnight to Janet. Good night, night, Janet. Janet. Night, Janet. Thanks so much for being lovely and being here. If Thank I'm, you so much. If I'm picked as the winner, I give my win to Callie. Hey. Oh, there you go. I, I will beat up Callie for Kata- that. <laughs> wow. I'll Kata beat wave. you up. I know <laughs> where you It just looks is. like you're petting Cheesecake Factory. I know. Right. Okay, I know. Bye. Okay. So let, let's play these. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. It's been like 20 uh, minutes and we haven't Fun started. facts, guys. Look at that that back of that head. That's me. Wow. Oh, snap. Look at that. It's like you're holding yourself. <laughs> All right. How do I do this? Wait, hold up. Uh, oh. Wait, I think I did. Wait, nope, is Molly touching yourself? What did I hear? No, th- that's me. Oh. Do we have to censor this again? I know. I know. Start the Shut presentation. Up. Oh my god. Kelly. I'm trying. I'm used to using Zencaster. God damn it. Wait, what is up. Zencaster, you boomer? It's super oh listen. Listen. It's secure. No, it's it it like auto processes everything, levels it. It's it's amazing if you're lazy. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, hold up. A little bit lazy. A little bit crazy. Slideshow. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> I just realized Matt is like a little bit lazy, a little bit, <laughs> little bit crazy. Oh my Damn god. Like a... Wait, we gotta do a sing along. Well, we should do a karaoke in what session for one of these things. Oh, right. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what? Kelly can sing. I've heard her sing. I never heard you sing. But I definitely it... cannot sing. I'll tell you that. Can't sing nor dance. Um, you can shake the tambourine. I told sang. my parents. You sang huh? um, Book of Mormon at my birthday. I did. It wasn't very good. And it's mostly talking. Wait, but, have uh, you not heard me sing? Like, I sing all the time. I can't sing. Um, Zoom I told my parents I was so coming. Down. I told my parents I was coming back to live live with them. Like you know, for you know, a short amount of time, just because I live by myself, I'm fucking depressed. Um, and Same they were energy. like, they were like, you can do d- karaoke. Do you want to do karaoke? I'm like, what do you mean do karaoke? Like, I'll, I'll be at, we'll be at home. What are you talking about? They're like, we just do karaoke now. I'm like, what? My parents just do karaoke in their house, apparently. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'm gonna go move in with your parents too. Just yeah, we so. gotta. We'll bring the. We'll bring the soju. Yeah. We'll bring the snacks. I'm sure they would appreciate it, honestly. We'll bring. Do it. We'll bring the tambourine. Uh, I'll bring Molly's pillow. Mic. Yeah, I'll bring Molly's pillow. Bring the magic mic. A little bit lazy. Magic bit mic, crazy. really? <laughs> yeah, I'm Filipino. We got the ghetto magic mic. Oh, there. You oh go. shit. <laughs> How the hell do I share this? Pleiades, what are you doing? That's what I'm asking. How the hell do I share this? Are you? I think it's just share screen at the bottom is green. Are you on crack? Are you on crack? I wish. That might make this easier. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Dope. All right. All right. Hey, yeah. There's. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Oh! You sip, motherfucker. Oh my god. Welcome to the territory. Oh my God. I sent Buck and all, I don't give a fuck. That's <laughs> fine. Hey, nobody's stopping you, yo. Callie's a simp. <laughs> oh, God, I need more of this. I sent Black Lives Matter. Oh, oh my, God. my God. Hey, by all means, by all means, yo. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you say? You can tell I've never fucking used a PowerPoint in my I- I'm going to. Life. Okay, in the bottom right, there's like a full screeny thing. Oh, there we go. One of those, I can't see it. I don't know what you're hovering over because the cameras are blocking it. And I'm too lazy to move Oh, my face has turned so red. Oh, my God. There's no water left in this. If anyone would like to donate to the Molly Needs a New Computer Fund, Ah! I... We're here. Everybody seeing this? (laughs) We're seeing (laughs) your Do you want to donate? (laughs) Yeah. Amazing. There we go. I mean, you can use that, too, but you're you're not not really doing the full screeny thing. Yeah, you you need to click present. Or, or may- maybe you want to click a different screen to share because you, you could may- maybe you're full screen it on on a different screen. I don't no, it's fine. As long it. as you click present or whatever, I mean, it should be. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, no you're right because I have like two monitors going. Yeah, so that's like, exactly. Oh, like, gotcha. that, yeah, that's the issue with me too because that's actually why I was having problems the first time I did it because I'm like, and also not only do I have two monitors, but I'm also like managing the actual stream. So um, it was actually a bitch of a time for me to figure out how to uh, how to do it correctly. And I actually forgot this time. I'm glad I remembered when I did it. Remember when I did talk at Osaka like fucking five hours ago? But <laughs> that was five hours ago. Akarazuka? Molly. Oh, yep. Molly, I'm gonna punch you. Is that how you say it? That's not how no. you've ever said it before. I, I I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I don't know what's going on with me, Molly. Just, just um, let me, me live. <laughs> let me live. Wait, what is this? Twitter.com slash Is it going to be a clip of, of Kelly saying she stands Black, Life Mat- Black Lives Matter? We're not I mean, going to... By all means. Not make a joke out of that. So we, I mean, it off? okay, it sounds like a joke, but it, it's a legit thing. Like, I don't think any of us are joking, not to get too political here. I think all of us are on the same page when it comes to these kind of things. I've tried... Not to say anything. Yeah, I have. Like, I, have. I know, like everybody said. Also, I don't feel like I'm educated enough or in a position to be able, to, like, say shit educatedly enough to like have I'm... a good point of view. But love everybody. We can do better. We can be better. That's I've given so much money to so many Black Lives Matter organizations, bail funds, etc. I opened a fu- I opened a savings fund in a black owned bank. Green that- like, oh my period. god! It works with the green that's on my phone. Oh my wow. god! Wow. 
Molly's on crack. It's fine. Should I, go wear, should I go put on a better, a different green shirt? Wait, does it look at my cup? It does. Look it at the does. straw. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, play these. What are you doing? It's been like five minutes. I'm trying to fucking put this on like the full like. Is Molly wearing pants? Go. No, it's it's or fine like, like that. Underwear? It does. Do All right, screw it. Go. Yeah, just do just do it like this. All right. Whatever. Just go. Wait, wait, wait. Any countdown? Um, three, two, one, go. Kelly, are you keeping time too? Fucking hell, Kelly's. Okay, like, no, wait, I'm not up. keeping time. Oh God, it's all on me. What are y'all seeing? A girl I on a computer. I can keep time if you want me to. Okay. Yeah, cool. we're ten seconds in already. Go. go. <laughs> okay, so dangers of speaking. Uh, dangers of simping. Don't do it, son. Uh, what's the actual definition of simping? Uh, there seems to be like this whole kind of idea where it's just kind of used flagrantly without any actual definition and it's just pretty much like it's dude you doing. don't like has an interest in a female oh they must be simping not necessarily top definition from urban dictionary just because like i wanted to grab in like a survey of different definitions when you infatuate over a woman allowing them to take over your mind and cause you to do things wait for them did you move you slides did yes you move? i did because it didn't show for us and yeah, no. see, that's exactly what I was talking about. Hold Fucking up. Fucking fuck. Well, you can just click I'm on saying. it. You know, just just get, rid of, get rid of your second one where you're actually showing the presentation and just doing your thing. No. Actually, hold up. No, yeah. no, 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 she's right. She's right. I can just duplicate I know. the settings. Yo, when you're right, you're right. I'm a programmer. Kelly doesn't know shit. There oh, we go. You can see it. All right. When you infatuate over women, allowing them to take over your mind, it costs you. There we go. Uh, or second definition: a male overly catering to the exaggerated emotions of a woman. A man saying things to a woman he does not believe, but only saying them because he thinks that she wants to hear them. A man tearing down another man just to gain points with females, mainly male bashing females. And I have to make this point clear. It does not matter what gender you are and what the object of your affection is. You can be a simp no matter what the fuck is going on in your life, period. Uh, and this third definition is something that I most align with probably. Uh, and that is to be in, quote unquote, your feelings. A feeling of emotional, gloomy sense, usually before becoming... Blah, 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 blah. Point being, you have allowed your emotions and rose-tinted glasses to overtake your rational thought. And it's like, oh my God, if I toss all my thoughts and attention towards this one person, maybe they will notice me. In which case, this has catastrophic kinds of fallout, but we'll get to that in later slides. Uh... This is like about the easiest way to describe this. I actually don't even know if this video will work. Doesn't look like it'll go, but uh, I'll just go with it. Um, it winds the slide up didn't move. The slide didn't and change. drink also. Oh no, it didn't. God damn it, Pleiades. Are you, are you fucking really on crack? No, I just never have to, I've never had to use a PowerPoint. So okay, I'm just winging screens, it here. Put it on now one that's screen. the boomer talk. Exactly. You got y'all no, call like y'all call me boomer, but I figured my shit out like in a couple minutes. No, I have met. Listen, my entire college experience, I managed to avoid ever having to form a cohesive PowerPoint. I don't know how the fuck I did it, but middle no, school, I, I high school, too. college, I had to give presentations in all three. No, oh no, nope. didn't have to do any presentations. Put Straight in papers. In the chat, he's like, I'm a simp. He he is a simp. He simps for all the e-girls. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Point being, when you uh TLDR didn't show me what this would have shown otherwise, because this is like the most popular simp related uh video on YouTube, it basically amounts to like dude is willing to bend over backwards and compromise every single boundary that you would normally have in a healthy relationship. Because like, oh drink, I want to be loved. Why are there two mollies? Wait, what? Are you are you drunk with Cal Cal there? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, oh okay, they, it went away. Oh shit, I there wasn't are, crazy. Oh, there was. 
What are you guys seeing? Would be. Would be. Whatever it is, wind up being like, you just make massive compromise because it's like, oh, if I just keep compromising my own boundaries, this person will love me. Shit ain't fucking happening, but sadly, there are an entire subgroup of people who will devote themselves to this. And it basically just amounts to a new wave version of the quote unquote nice guy, which is just, Trey. hey. Somehow, being nice should it, uh, yes. wind up like obligating the female oh. into like having sexual intercourse with me. That's not how it fucking works. You can't do that. Like that doesn't work like that. And if that's how you wind up having these interactions, it is never going to work for you. Wait, it, your slide still aren't moving, bro. It's We're still on the definition slide. I wait, word. Yeah. You need to change the slide on the PowerPoint application. Yeah. Oh like, shit. You motherfucker. Yes. I've, yes. Whatever you did there, TLDR, don't just show me. Keep moving. Play that video. I'm trying to. Okay, just move on. Just move on. Just move on. All right. All right. All right. All right. Move on. You got like five seconds. Four. All right. Three, two, one. I'm just drink. Fucking drink. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't forget right. the simp A to G. Yes, please. Please do that. Now. No, no. You need to go back to the application. <laughs> Fucking kill We have to see your presentation mode. Wait. Fuck. Oh, my God. Boomer! I'm so sorry I'm not using this fucking backward-ass app. It is not backwards. It's really simple. You're just a boomer. My mother, who is... 65 years old can use Zoom. Listen, I have nothing to say. I think she's 67. Oh, shit. You don't know how old your mother Snacks. is? No, I, I don't. She's so much of a boomerite. Wait, I really don't wait. Know her age. Everyone stop. You are a horrible Everyone heart. stop. Yes. We, 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 we got a simp. Um, Snacks, a.k.a. Isaiah, is our, is our new simp. He just, uh, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, we, we got a new simp. Ooh, we, got, ooh, we got an A to J ooh, simp. Ooh, ooh. Thank you. So, by the way, drink. But, um... Uh, of course. Drink, you fucking bastard. I love you. Sorry. Now, see? There we go. Fucking fuck. You son of a bitch. How about you now? Oh, my God. I'm going to kick your do ass. You, do I'm you gonna see it fucking, now? Yeah. I'm going to fucking kick your ass, bro. I'm, I'm being real. <laughs> fucking try me. Let's go. I, I'll do it. I'm you act like I, don't, I haven't taken fucking four years of Muay Thai and I'm afraid to go back to jail. Let's fucking go. Back to jail? Wait, wait, I want to know more. <laughs> That's next podcast. Okay, press play. Oh, I am. Hold up. All oh, right. One. Okay, what is this? There we go. Screen. Slide say, bad, question mark, question mark, duh. Here's why. Everybody seeing the same thing? Yes. Amazing. All right. So here's where the danger winds up lying into. And I don't, and here's the thing. It's just kind of like. Drink. An innate evil of like the whole kind of business model is a thing that you wind up having streamers who wind up being so infatuated with um, or people who like sub and uh, to streamers and whatnot that they're so infatuated that literally the streamers can't even mention that they have any sort of relationships or any sort of like close uh, relationship because they're afraid that their uh, subscribers or something might freak the fuck out and either we really, stop them. We really are going to pretend it's not exactly the same as the idol industry or whatever? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it is. It, is. But it really I didn't is. Even have, I didn't even think about that, but you're right. It you're really exactly is. right. It's just like Eagles it's a more... are literally just idols. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It, and, it winds, and that's where I wind up being like, it's a... Yo... People who are of age and they have their money, whatever, Drink. they can spend their money on whatever. God damn it. You suck, Kelly. Huh? You have your money. You can spend it on whatever the fuck you want. That's fine, right? The thing is, there's a lot of these guys who wind up, like, who are just not in a good place. And then, like, their already warped mentality just keeps feeding into this thing of, like, oh, they're the object of my affection. 
if I just keep pouring money in, if I keep defending them on social media and like that, maybe they'll notice me. This shit is like textbook mental illness. And I feel for those people, but at the same time, it's really hard to be sympathetic because it's like, yo, what the fuck are you doing with your life? It's it, it, it. And again, with people who are of age, yo, it's capitalism, right? Free market, spend your money on what you want. I'm with it. Make There's a really point. good sweet Anita video on YouTube where she talks about the simps that have been in her actual IRL life who have been tried to like shower her with niceties until they think they, they deserve stuff from her. Exactly. Exactly. It's that kind of shit. It, it's, it's just like it fucks up the entire... Well, it doesn't even fuck things up because it's people doing it to themselves is sadly the thing. Like you can't just drop a nuke on something and fix it. This is like uh, almost like just a fucking like a, a, a photo shot of like people just missing things and what they're missing in life in this. And I keep seeing tweets like this, anything that has to do with people who think that they know the person who they consistently drink. subscribe to. I think I to. missed a drink. I think I missed a 10 drink. I was really paying attention really hard. You're good. Who they like to vote a whole bunch of time to who they might like rant and rave about online. And, it, and they think that they know that person or that that person Drink. owes them something. Son, I just did! I know, but now it's 11. Drink. Oh, my God. And the biggest thing for me, like, winds up being, like, it's, it, it's almost like it's facilitating mental illness, almost, because it just, like, facilitates you being more devoted to somebody who isn't directly related to you, but it's so hard to justify it because it's like if you're an adult if you're an adult what right do i have to tell you how to spend your money and for somebody who's like if for a cam girl for an e-girl i can't tell them not to do whatever they're doing because again this is free market like if people want to pay for that shit that's on them i just want to i don't know like i don't know the most co the most coherent way of saying it but it winds up being like be careful of people who wind up being so devoted that they will like get stalker mindsets and wind up like thinking that you owe them shit for their devotion for their money and things like that and that's the kind of thing that oh, kind of scares sorry. me sorry well, you're good you're good <laughs> i'm really paid at them actually like this is a good topic all right uh, either that or that's i'm it. drunk oh yeah, that's it that's it um drink to drink five more times um um fuck you <laughs> I'm sorry I missed most of that because my headphones decided to stop working, so I had to go get new headphones. Uh, TLDR, uh, Mo Molly's a simp. TL TLDR, no, wait. simping if is free is free choice, but at the same time, it facilitates people being creepy stalkers, in which case, it's not as great for, like, e-girls and shit like that to, like, encourage it because then they just get encouraged to be more creepy stalkery. Have you ever seen... I'm at Checky on A to J Patreon. Yeah, I, I got an exclusive Kelly Checky. Um, it's just of her back with the QR code, but it's still an exclusive Kelly Checky. She has Kelly, like... what the fuck are you eating? I know. Yes. She's been eating chips this whole time. Yeah, she she, she she's a she, she's an eat girl. She eats chips and lie, eat hot chip and lie. Like eight eight and of lie. those chips oh, just wait. fell it's, to it's, the it's floor. Still, it's also tortilla chips you get for like two bucks at the store. Yeah, um, I use a grocery service, and for some reason they went to the wrong grocery store, and I just said, just get me any yellow chips. I don't care, and this is what they got me. You <laughs> say you use a grocery service? Well, like, no. Instant damn, cart. must be nice. The rest of us have to go to grocery stores. I'm, to buy I can also use a grocery service. Yeah, not gonna lie, like I use it all the time. Like I have not gone to a market since the. Listen, y'all live here. in California. Y'all don't understand, okay? The rest of oh, us have to live? actually fuck. Uh, Pennsylvania. BFE Pennsylvania. Oh, Minnesota has East grocery Coast services AF. too. Where? Minnesota has grocery for, uh, services. For the record, I, I was gonna mention. Play these. Listen, the it, second it, it, the second I get grocery service, I am not leaving my house. No, same thing. Like even before, even before all this happened, uh, quarantine. I mean, not like the recent recent shit. Um, even before all this happened, I was still mainly getting my groceries through Instacart or whatever. I've I've been using time. our grocery service for three years, four exactly. years now. It's usually because of time, like like real talk. Like I'm pretty busy, time. and and like unless I can like 
get to one after work or something like when i was actually working at a place um or we just uh, now got uh doordash for select restaurants just now Live, like, in a, live in a city, dude. But no, real talk, real talk. Real talk. Fuck that! I, Hell I was gonna, no! I was gonna mention. I seen what happens in cities. Fuck that shit. Have you ever seen the Last American Virgin? It's actually a, a it's a movie from like the eighties or some shit. But like it, it stars you the, and your the, boomer movie recommendation. Hold on, the, the movie, the, the movie, the movie. The, oh, Cal, Molly. The movie has like the best example. Cal of Molly. A, I know Cal Molly. The movie has the best example of a simp ever. This guy, TLDR, like not pretty much part of the movie, but TLDR, this guy does every like is a totally in love with this girl, and he's and she's like, like fucking some other guy, like one of his friends, and she gets pregnant, and he basically goes through this whole thing with her about like you know um, helping her. No, like, I don't know because I've never experienced. Well, I don't want to spoil before. the whole movie, but TLDR, she ends up getting back with the guy who fucked her over, and like the whole movie. Cuck. Is, yeah, the whole movie. And, like, he had bought her a ring. He had spent all of his money to take care Like, literally all of his money to take care of her. Like, he spent his paychecks. Like, and it was just, like, it's the perfect example of a simp. And if you ever watch that, you should watch guess it. what? Oh, no, that's oh. real cuck hours right they actually, there. They actually made a Korean drama based on that, that story. Except oh, really? it kind of Except he actually gets the girl in the end. It's called oh. Hogu's. And it stars it stars Ui from After School and the guy from Parasite. Really? From uh, I I I know her. Um... It has Ui from After School. Wait, called... which guy from Parasite? It's basically it's called Hogu. The Love, son or the dad? The same plot you described, but except the guy gets the girl in the end. Wait, that's the only who, difference. No, no, no which but guy what, from Parasite? Which... Yeah, I was gonna say younger like, one, the dad... younger one. Okay, the okay, so the son. All right. His name's Eddie. They call him Eddie in in English, but I forgot what his. Let me see. What was his name? But Hogu's Love. It's it's pretty good. I I because like I was surprised they actually made like Korean dramas about like young pregnancy. By the way, stuff. I was laughing during the thing because uh, during as the as the your presentation was going on, um, Isaiah was like, I just uh, he, I just used my Simp Prime. That's what he called his Twitch Prime Simp Prime. I think I'm gonna like nice. Um, I think our, our, our tier levels our tier levels uh, for subs is like A to J Simp and then Lizard Person. I think is the highest one. Um. Just to piss off Cali for really? lizard people, by the way. I'm not I, making this up. I don't hate this tier system. And, and I actually, um, even though right now, if you use our emotes, the only one that's there is me drinking. But we have other <sighs> emotes, and we have the ones for the subs as well. Um, and I actually commissioned a bunch. And one of them is like Illuminati hot chip, and then one of them is also a lizard person. Uh, th- I don't mm. want to spoil them all, but there's actually, I, I, I did commission a few uh, a few of those. And they, they kind of stalled because of what's going on right now. But, uh, I do my presentation now. All those yes, get it loaded, Molly. I was going to ask. I was, no, I was, I was wondering. Thought, I, thought she was, I thought she was getting ready. I'm I am super time. stoked for this cheesecake tea. <laughs> I heard, there's uh, not, there's I not that much tea. I still work I, there. I, I can't give you that much tea. tea. Oh, not right now, though, but like later, right? Oh, okay. No, there was that time when I mentioned how my, my, we, we gave my nephew alcohol. <laughs> and cheesecake factory. I'm sorry, the server. what? I was not the server. Yeah, and Molly got mad because we could have got, 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 got the server fucked up. I but can't yeah. imagine why! It wasn't at our Cheesecake Factory, though. I think, oh, no, it wasn't. It was at the one at Redondo Beach. I don't know if you know of that one, but yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. It's the one that's like on the beach. You can get the liquor license taken away, Emmanuel. Yeah, and I totally gave. I totally well, not just me. Like other members of my family, totally let my my stop. My life. Seriously, stop. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Molly, Molly, Molly. I, I'm super stoked. Please unroll this PowerPoint. The host us. muted you, Molly okay, Kelly. So Kelly, PowerPoint what the fuck? Share. <laughs> You're such a bastard. Oh, I need to open this. Okay. Kelly, Kelly. See, I'm right. not the only one. God damn it! I need to give <laughs> Zoom. I'm their, not uh, the only one. <laughs> Kelly muted. I need to give Zoom prefer- preferences or permission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kelly, mm-hmm. why is, does no one notice that I Kelly that muted me? You can't even bail. I guess nobody could hear me. Okay. Kelly Let's muted hear. me. Kelly muted me. I'm nuts. I muted. <laughs> I, I didn't make it unmute myself. Yeah, Kelly okay, muted can me. Can you guys see it? And nobody can you guys heard see me. it full screen? Well, we can, but I need to change, I need to change my scene. Hold on. I have too much power here. Kelly muted everyone. me. This could be Bakano's oh, stream right now. Y'all all that Do power. It. I'm ready for Bakano's stream. Can't wait to throw my chips okay. in the air Going back fryer. to Bucknell. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Wait, fuck air fryers. Air fryers just 
fucking Can we fuck start, you. Please? Air fryers yeah, are amazing. Start. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have the timer. I Three. have the timer. I'm Three. waiting until Three. the actual. Three, Three, two, one, go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your definitive guide or ranking of the desserts at the Cheesecake Factory. Yes, I said desserts, not just cheesecakes. AKA nuts don't belong in desserts. Fight me. Yes, they do. You're wrong. They do. (laughs) Fuck you. Nah, fuck nuts. Nut gang. (laughs) Nut gang. Let's start at the beginning. The worst. Oh, we're going to have some words if some nut shit comes up in here. Oh, wait. Look, hear me, Sue. The worst dessert. The worst dessert at the Cheesecake Factory. Number 48, because there are 48 desserts. 48? Are you fucking serious? That's yes. so funny. Wait. I mean, to be fair, like, I, I assume, like, 20 of them at least are cheesecakes. <laughs> uh, more. More than 20. <laughs> Kelly. There, I want to agree. The tiramisu. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try tiramisu, but go on. Mascarpone, whipped cream, ladyfingers, marsala, and coffee liqueur. Sounds good, right? Uh, yes, it's, it's not. Amazing. It's too moist for my liking. Would not recommend. When people order it, I don't tell them not to, but I... Never had anyone say that they like loved it. I never had anyone like turn it back, but whatever. Okay, next up we have in the forty seventh spot How the cookie dough cheesecake. This, this That's my me. favorite one. The chocolate chip cookie dough cheesecake is one of the worst is the worst cheesecake I've really? ever seen. I tell people top? not to order it. Is uh, it have nuts on the see, top? We will get into this. Okay. Oh, here's where the overthrow yeah, comes in. Here okay, so it is the most disappointing cheesecake. It's mostly not cheesecake, as far as I can tell. I love cookie dough. Okay, I have eaten an entire <laughs> an entire tub of Toll House cookie dough in under a week, like one of the Costco sizes ones, by myself. I was made cookie dough when Manuel was at my house. Yeah, I was. I, I was, I was we talked was, about this we before, talked you, about joined, it before you joined actually. us. We were making fun of you. You missed it. Okay. No, I was, I was on your really side, Molly. Dough. I really I love did. cookie. Yes, thank you. You don't need to refrigerate it before you eat it. Like what the? Okay. No, no, what the fuck are you talking no, about? No, 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 after specifically you make it though, things. and after you make it, right after, like, like, and you've eaten it, like, if you're gonna wait the next day, you should probably yeah, then it. you refrigerate. Okay. Anyways, though, but this it tastes weird in this. It doesn't taste good. I've actually had people complain about this one and send it back. If people ask me their opinion, I will tell them not to order this one. Um, I really hope that they change the recipe because, like, I love. I think that this is like a really good idea. It's they make not... it in house. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. No, I thought there all is, the okay. shit just came in pre-made, no. frozen. There, there is a cheesecake factory. It's in Calabasas. Oh, okay. All of the cheesecakes are made in that factory. I think there's also one on the East Coast. It or, might like, be Calabasas. I think there's actually one in Pennsylvania. That uh, services the East Coast long. and the Midwest. But okay. they, no, they don't come frozen. They come deeply chilled. Deep oh, okay. Chilled. That's how they deeply get around that. Deeply chilled. All right. All right. No, that's what I call it when I'm pretty fucked up. Um, <laughs> this also has walnuts, and nuts do not belong in cookies. Yeah, what the fuck? Why are there mm-hmm. nuts on it? Drink. They're not. They're in it. The cookie drink. dough has it. Yeah. Drink. drink. Um, drink. Fun fact also. Molly, drink. 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 Drink, 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 drink. All of the cheesecakes and desserts in the Cheesecake Factory are processed on machines that also process nuts, so if you have a super bad nut allergy, sorry, I mean, I didn't. Don't eat the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, okay. also if you're allergic to chocolate, the only one that is not, that does not go into the oven, which the chocolate cheesecakes go into, I believe is the key lime, which we'll get to soon. We, we have 46 more, you probably should speed it up a little. <laughs> okay, fine. True. That one was going to be the longest, because I knew that one was going to be controversial. Okay, next we have the key lime cheesecake. That one was oh, wow, that yeah. came up fast. <laughs> that was a key lime cheesecake number 46 it's the least sweet of the cheesecake so i guess if you don't like sweet what stuff this is the one that? for you i don't like key lime pie i don't like this i bet if you like key like lime it, pies Sam, i am i do not I like key, key lime and pie next we have 45th the white chocolate macadamia nut my roommate disagrees with me on this one um she said it was blasphemy but drink white it's white chocolate cheesecake swirled with macadamia drink, nuts drink. And drink. On a blonde brownie crust. also molly did you seriously make 46 plus slides for this fucking presentation. This, this is a, a 51 slide presentation. Jesus Christ. Manual did mention that earlier. <laughs> Holy I told shit. You. Okay, They're so I love proper. blondies and I love white chocolate, but I hate macadamia nuts more. It's like my least favorite nut. So this is number 45. Still not as bad as All right. All right. I think once we get to the 44, 44th place, we have the apple crisp. Warm apple crisp. Ew. It's not. Oh, okay. It's good, but like, why? Yeah. What? Because it's 
It's what do you mean? Like, it's fu- if it's good, then why is it so low? Because it's an just, apple pie with it's like, just like ice cream. If you're gonna much. get something at the Cheesecake Factory, get something that's more specialty. Like this isn't like something that's like special. I guess. Yeah. Cheesecake Factory is fucking Basically, everything. Basically, everything from this point is something I would recommend ordering. But like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Next. Also, we have drink. Oh yeah, you're right. Drink. Reese's peanut butter chocolate shake. Oh, I've cheesecake. gotten this. Reese's puffs. Yeah, I've gotten Reese's this puffs. too. Oh god, this peanut fucking butter, chocolate. <laughs> this flavor. animation. What is this? <laughs> it's going so slowly. Reese's no, Reese's no, she, she told us earlier. Peanut butter cups. She puts the presentation is gonna be peanut an hour butter, long. chocolate <laughs> flavor. Okay, and cheesecake with fudge cake and caramel. It's it. one of the few that I don't want to eat a whole piece of. <laughs> Rose is done. It's too much. So this is just one of the few that I don't want to eat a whole piece of. Wait, where's the picture? Wait, why was the picture of that one? Yeah, Apparently it's just gone. Whatever, just go, just go, just go, whatever. Okay, whatever. Whatever. And, we, we didn't get a Oh, but there's another slide, all right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> that transition, though. So now we have the 40 seconds. I think we just skipped some, but whatever. I was going to say, that definitely looked like Pumpkin cheesecake sounds pie. delicious, but I hate pecans. Drink. Okay, here, here. Just wait, Callie, just wait. Drink. So the, the pumpkin pecan cheesecake. Why does Number everybody one, sleep on pecan pie? I, hate I need nuts, to know this. So I love pecan pie. This is available from September. I'm saying pecan pie is so good. It's my the favorite pie. Crust pie. Is meh. Thank you. The pie crust is meh. The pecan is meh. But it has the pumpkin cheesecake, so it's not the worst. Mm. Yeah, I hate, I hate I nuts. Love, so. I love pie crust. It was, I was disappointed with that one, too. Next, we have Ooh. the 41st, which is the caramel pecan turtle cheesecake. It's a pecan brownie and caramel fudge swirl cheesecake topped with caramel tur- turtle pecans and chocolate. It's good if you like turtle stuff. Turtle stuff. Almost, turtle stuff. It almost All right. makes nuts so, acceptable mm-hmm. in desserts. Oh I have had to explain to people that it does not actually contain turtle. Are what? you allergic? Are you allergic to nuts? What is not? I hate if people are not allergic. Not I like nuts, just not in desserts. I hate nuts. <laughs> I can't stand nuts in anything. What the fuck do you eat nuts in then? Like, what will you eat? Peanut butter. In? That's literally it. I eat like mixed. Nuts. Drink. Well, like, what about smooth? Oh, okay. I was gonna say like smooth peanut butter. butter. Oh, that looks right. good. Whatever okay. that is. Oh, you... that no, that shit looks good as hell. It's the Godiva chocolate brownie sundae. That does look really good. So I don't usually like brownies unless they're from a box mix. I know that's really like stupid. what? I don't that's... like. No, I, don't I like understand that. I understand that. They don't like flourless cake, and they oftentimes taste like flourless cake. Listen, no, that's like is... stuffing out of a box versus handmade. I understand that completely. Um, but this is no exception. But I like the ice cream, so it's okay. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just ice cream. And you can also, ask for I no would recommend nuts you get it without yeah. the almonds. <laughs> yeah, you can ask for no nuts on it. I believe it's pronounced um, almonds. Nuts don't belong in ice cream, or in any dessert for that matter. I, or I do kind of agree with, with the ice cream, actually. I'm very but pro other Next, we have the lemon uh, cello cream tort at 39. Oh, looks so good, though. Are those Once lady again, fingers in the middle? At this that point, like they're all fingers. good. Yeah, yes, there are. It's vanilla cake and lemon mascarpone cream, chocolate trusel. Um, it does have lady fingers in it as well. Drink. I have a question: Does it actually drink. come with that many strawberries? These pictures are pretty accurate to how they're plated in the restaurant. You don't need to. It's okay. not good. <laughs> um, this is one of the last desserts I tried, and when I told one of my managers, she told me, "You don't need to. It's not good." <laughs> that looks like it has like a streusel on top. Holy shit! Um, yeah, it does have streusel on top. It oh. is good, but I can see what you mean. It's not like blow you away, but it's not bad. I, like I, she didn't like it. No, it's solid. I, like, like, I just want, I just want strawberry special. shortcake. That's all I want. Yeah. This looks like that's exactly shortcake. what just that wait, looks like. Callie, yeah. Just okay. Wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. 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 Now keep it out and drink it. We have a thirty-eight. A bowl of ice cream. It's just it's fucking just ice cream. Are you serious? No, everything before this. No, fuck this. Was worse than a bowl of ice cream. Are you fucking serious? No. No. This seems like the line where you should serious. actually order things. Exactly. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a, like this is the equator. This is it. This drink, is the bar drink, line. But this is bullshit. I, I'll be back. This is literally just a bowl of fucking ice cream. Are you oh serious? Oh, I like ice cream. So much. We have good drink. dairy products. Like, I'm not, I just drink. Keep I will say, honestly, drinking, the please. butter at the Cheesecake Factory is fucking amazing. Like, I don't know what. I, I actually have looked at the brand. It's not one you can get in stores, I don't think. Sometimes but. I'm like, I should go to the Cheesecake Factory more often. We can go get sometime a and get a discount. And get that butter. Twenty five percent on the whole bill, other than Listen, the cheesecake factory is exclusively for making sure you uh, nail the first date. Don't 
don't take get a seller's them. permit and oh i have there. a story for not on this stream about um a little bit more extreme than the first i one. need to yeah. hear this story I can't wait yeah. the stream. continue now. your presentation okay. so mm -hmm. this is the low carb cheesecake um it's the original cheesecake but it's made with splenda it's good just not as good um even the whipped cream is different but in this picture, you can see, like, the cheesecake isn't even in focus. <laughs> like, see, but it still it's has a the... little sprig of green. Oh, green sprig, yeah. yeah. Drink! By the way, I didn't pee. Somebody's in the bathroom. I don't feel like walking to the other one. Okay. And then we have the low carb cheesecake with strawberries. It's the same thing. Oh, um, they added strawberries. <laughs> the strawberries make it better. It's still the mint sprigs. Okay. And now we have the Hershey's. Oh no, this one again. Oh, oh god, you've gotten this go. one too. Molly. Do we have any quotes too. for like what the fuck got stolen during like that Cheesecake Factory looting, by the way? Because I'm really um, curious like heard, what the fuck got taken. I've heard that apparently they like took bottles and were like smashing them, like alcohol bottles. But no, the cheesecake that like the kid was carrying was not real. It was one of the six inch fakes. Right, but the question is like which cheesecake though? Was it the Hershey chocolate bar? Was it the strawberry one? Um, it it the, the only ones we have that are fake are uh wait, does someone say drink? Yep. Yeah. Oh. The oh, only yeah. ones that were are fake are strawberry and original, the six inch. Like we do have real yeah. ones too, but like the one that's on display, because they're not take they're not bought as often. You can only get six inch if you buy a whole cake. Drink! Yeah, sure, wait, she already did. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, okay, so Molly. this is the Hershey's cheesecake, chocolate cake, chocolate tro frosting, and chocolate chips. It's just chocolate everything. Fucking everything. Like, it tastes Christ, better yeah. than a Hershey's bar, but not. it's not the best chocolate cheesecake, in my opinion. Now we have the blackout cake. Oh, fuck. That looks so it good. Look, like, look at that. Really Here we go. Okay, so this look is the that. deepest, richest oh, chocolate cake God. that we have. It's very dense. Um, it has chocolate chips inside the cake. You can kind of see them here. Yeah. It's finished with almonds. Nuts don't belong on cake. God damn it, cut them all. At least they're on and This not is some shit I would order yeah, for a You can scrape those meal. off. You don't oh, like around it. that shit off. Okay, yeah. now, now we have the mango key lime now. cheesecake. Oh, I hate that one. I've had Ooh, somebody what? order that one. I had a piece Ooh. of that. I hate it. Why is this oh, higher okay. than key lime? Fuck you. Because it's because better it's than the key mango. lime. So and the mango, mango key lime delicious. cheesecake, it's topped with mango mousse with a vanilla coconut macaroon crust. It's um, It adds sweetness to the two tart key lime cheesecake. I'm not big on sour. Uh, it's still a recommendation for those that look are looking for something that's a little less sweet without making you pucker. So this one's not quite as sour as the key lime, but it's good if you're not looking for something that's too, too sweet. I respect it. Okay, now we have the carrot cake. We used to also have a carrot ah, cheesecake, but we don't have that anymore. So sorry talking. if you wanted that. Oh, oh drink! Good. Uh, do we miss drink? I think we miss drink. Okay, so carrot it's cake, good, one but of it's the not... top five things that everybody loves but nobody talks about. <laughs> My sister went through carrot, cake, carrot so. cake like every day for there like three years. My sister went through a carrot cake phase when she was in law school. Anyways, though, so our carrot <laughs> cake is good. <laughs> our carrot cake is good, but it's not the best I've ever had. Sometimes it has pineapple in it, but sometimes it doesn't, so it's just confusing. What? <laughs> like, pineapple? Yeah, that's 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 like carrot pineapple cake, and though. carrot cake. All carrot it cake tastes sometimes the same has pineapple. I love all this is a Sunday. Like, I swear to God, if this is just a fun Sunday. That's just a Sunday. Fuck you. I swear to God, if this is... It is. Are you <laughs> fucking <laughs> serious? Drink. It's just it's drink. as big as my drink. head. Drink. Drink. It's drink. as big as my head. Drink. It's huge. Unless it's on top of a brownie. Get, a, get a it without the fuck It's fucking so big, guys. Fudge it's in a fucking Sunday. goblet. It's like as big as my head, though. Nuts don't belong on ice cream. I said it before, I'll say it again. Why was that font so small? Keep going. Okay, Ooh, now we have the Dulce de Leche Caramel Cheesecake. So oh, I, didn't, I didn't like this one. I, I had this one, too. Mango's by default, I have times. to stand behind this. So this is the Caramel Cheesecake uh, topped with caramel mousse and almond brickle. This one is pretty good. I mean, I, I like it. It's just a little bit of a lighter taste than the other caramel cheesecakes that we have. I think I remember complaining about that one to you. Um, then we have the Lemon Meringue Cheesecake. It's basically lemon meringue pie, but in cheesecake form. Mm. It's lemon cream cheesecake with lemon mousse and a toasted meringue. It's refreshing and great if you like lemon. Drink. The fact that you don't like sour stuff kind of means a lot for that selection. Well, yeah, because it's like, I mean, lemon is different than lime for me. Like, mm. key lime is very tart, but lemon meringue is usually not as tart. What is happening? Lemon is okay. usually like a little oh bit my God. Here we have. And here's the here strawberries. Here's the strawberry. Oh, and there it goes. 
And there it goes. Strawberry with the what? lemon finger. <laughs> That's how good it is. It just fucking ran out of the room. This is the last raspberry cream cheese bye, cake. Bye bye. Oh my god. Adios. Okay, so it's raspberry and vanilla cake, lemon cheesecake, raspberry lady fingers with lemon mousse, and a raspberry puree. It's lemon and raspberry, so it's tart and sweet together, which is really good. I love raspberries. I didn't know oh. bitches I could raspberry. do that. Raspberry. Fuck you. Dude. I love raspberries. Sorry. You have bad taste. Is it tech- Next we have the 30th anniversary chocolate cheesecake. Uh, chocolate cake cheesecake. I like how it's the 20th it's- or 30th. That's so confusing. We go on. Yeah, it's 27th uh- the 30th. I was hoping it would be 30th, but it wasn't. Yeah. Um, what the so fuck is truffle cream? It's a layer, like, chocolate Drink. truffle cream. Like, yeah, chocolate truffles. Cream. Drink. Um, so it's layers of fudge cake, chocolate truffle cream, and original cheesecake. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I understand now. All right. Um, It was made for the restaurant's 30th anniversary. I think it's at 40 years now. What is this um, anime? <laughs> I just went through the list and, like, went down in order. And you can't really go wrong with this one. It's pretty good. Okay. Next. Then we have the oh, chocolate hazelnut crunch cheesecake. Oh, my cheesecake. God. So this is hazelnut swirl cheesecake topped with hazelnut crunch and Nutella. Um, the only reason this is so low down is just because it's almost too much Nutella on top. I feel like it would be better with a little bit more of a drizzle instead of being like completely covered. Um, so it's like it's really good. decadent. Yeah, um, it's still really good. Um, this is a newer one. This one, I may Drink. or may not work at the Cheesecake Factory and this one may or may not have started while I worked there. Mm. I'm gonna need a new drink soon. Okay, no, I already got then it. we have oh, the salted caramel God, cheesecake. Oh. Which is salted caramel and cheesecake corn. Me? It's caramel cheesecake. All no. needs to drink. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, Kelly. Just ignore me. <laughs> caramel cheesecake and caramel mousse on a blonde brownie. I get it. Too. <laughs> Blondie, I love them. A blonde brownie. Wow. You're eating a blondie? I mean, you're gonna be so mad at me. That Are I'm you really fucking like, no, serious? No, no, it's fucking, just no fucking fuck, strawberry. Fuck, 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 no, no, you no, had twenty plus cheesecakes. No, and this is just no, strawberries fuck, go to the with no, whipped no, 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 cream. No, no, no. Are you fucking serious? Go, go to the supermarket. Go to the supermarket. Okay, you go to the supermarket. The fuck that. that this there was so twenty guys. cheesecakes no. before this. No, no, the no, reason no, no, that this no, is no. so high is because it technically is the closest thing we have to a non-dairy dessert. Just, just, just take your drink. Just take your drink. Take your drink. No, it's just strawberries I, I with want... cream. It's also probably the healthiest dessert, which is why it's up there. I understand that, like, oh, it's shit, not. Shit, it's the healthiest dessert. <laughs> Fuck healthy. I want my intestines to be destroyed yes. by how delicious the I want If I'm going is. to the Cheesecake Factory, if I'm go- not walking out of there with shit in my pants, <laughs> I don't exactly. do wrong. I, when I go to the Cheesecake Factory, I expect. <laughs> to spend at least two hours on the toilet fall. Okay? That's when I get my quality Twitter hours. It's like I do appreciate that a lot of Cheesecake block. Factory cheesecake is in fact baked cheesecake and not that shitty frozen cheesecake. I mm. hate that shit. We only have like, one This one that... I can tell is a baked cheesecake. All of them are baked except for like, I think the key lime. I think the key lime is the only one that's not baked and that's because it has gelatin in it. I'm Some of the other ones also have gelatin. It's honestly actually, I don't know. So I am not sure which of these are actually considered vegetarian by those standpoints. I can tell if it has veg- has gelatin in it when I eat it. Drink. It tastes totally drink. different. And keep going. I'm, I'm making I'm a drink so- right now, but I, will, I, I know I have to drink again. Okay, so I'm, this I'm, is the original. Um, it's simple and sweet. It's topped with a sour cream topping. Ew. Sounds sour weird, but it tastes cream. great. Ew. Yeah, that topping is made out of sour cream. It's still sweet, though. Um, <laughs> sweet this is sour. the one that started it all. Huh. I mean, I know that's a thing, but I don't. I think I haven't heard of it since I was like 10. And now we have the fresh strawberry cheesecake. This is the most popular flavor for 35 years, maybe even longer Fair now. Um, it's classic and delicious, what can I say? Usually when people say they want a New York cheesecake, this is what I'm, they mean. Except for I think New York cheesecake actually technically means no strawberries, but whatever. Oh my god. Um, well, New York Cheesecake puts strawberry, like, sauce on it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but this awesome. one does not have the sour cream topping. But it is the I same cheesecake. Mm. Okay, now we have the ultimate red velvet cheesecake. That so, rookie, rookie. This drink. one would be higher. Oh, um, making, you had two drinks, but go on. Yeah, okay, thank you. Two drinks. Thanks for keeping track of it for me. Um, so this one would be higher. It's just, I feel like it would be a little bit better with more of a... Uh, it's red velvet cake with cheesecake and cream cheese frosting. So I think it would be a little bit better with more cake and a little bit less cheesecake. 
Um, yeah, cream cheese is just cheesecake. Why have yeah. cream cheese so frosting it's like, on it? I really like red velvet cake. I'm not a big fan of cream cheese frosting. I like cheesecake, but not cream cheese frosting. I don't understand crazy, why. Crazy, you're crazy. <laughs> but, um, so I just think cheesecake that- Cheesecake is cream cheese this frosting. This is one that so I have like... had guests not like before. I mean, I maybe have had that if I do happen to work there. Hmm. <laughs> That's not how you spell ultimate. Was it wrong? I didn't see it. I it spelled that wrong. Ultimate. It is spelled correctly on the menu. All its mates. All its mates. All its mates. Red <laughs> Velveeta cheese. Okay, and in 20th place, three we drinks. have three drinks. Oh, yeah, three. Thank you. I took one, so. Peppermint, oh, peppermint, peppermint oh, bar cheesecake. Did the picture oh. fly away again? Yeah, <laughs> the picture fly away again. Fly away. Cool. So, this is the peppermint bar cheesecake. Away. It's available Thanksgiving through the holidays, so it's kind of like our Christmas slash Hanukkah cheesecake. Um, mm. It's the most divisive of the cheesecakes. And I'll tell you Do what. Do you have a gingerbread cheesecake? I feel no, like that'd be really good. No, but we need one. Yo, that would yeah, be that'd lit. Really good. I that'd suggested it so many lit. times. Oh, <laughs> shit. We actually, um, I have heard like, that the employees have a website where they can make suggestions, and um, someone very, 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 very close to me may or may not have suggested this multiple times. Uh, <laughs> I have a cheesecake. I need to, I need to like figure it out if that's a thing that I can find. I need to make that this holiday season. Um, so it's a white chocolate well, cheesecake media, with chunks yeah. of chocolate peppermint bark, white chocolate mousse, topped with chopped peppermint. Um, I think it tastes like an Andy's mint in cake form. <laughs> Drink. I can see that. That's all I need to. That would make it like top ten for me. Um, others say it tastes like toothpaste. Yeah. And apparently they that, also that's think my issue they, with peppermint bark too. Yeah. Apparently they also think that Andy's mints taste like toothpaste. They do. That's what, that's what I was gonna say. 50, no, 50, like Fuck if you, you like, if you like Andy's mints, then like that is the yeah. gateway to liking mint flavored things. But if yeah. you don't, then it's like you're sealed off entirely. I, 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 I like want Andy's this. mints. I like Andy's mints, but I don't want my cheesecake to taste like exactly. Andy's no, yeah. the, the, fair enough. I watched this YouTube video about this guy who was in prison no, no. and he Here's lived off of eating so you toothpaste. Can all see it. That's it, it looks really pretty. What is this? It's gonna so fly pretty. away. It's gonna fly away. Everyone yes, look yes, now. Goes, there Everyone goes, look hey, now. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Away. Now we have the tiramisu cheesecake. This is much fingers. Wait. This is much higher than the tiramisu, which Hold is on. different. We have two. We have both the tiramisu and the tiramisu cheesecake. Hold on. Two things. One drink. But second of all, why is that like whipped topping like crushing it? Is it that well, light? Like, because it's a marshmallow mousse. So it's, it's like, really, it's like really literally light. crushing it. And it was gone. Yeah. Very so it's a lady like finger chair. It's perfect. Thermosu cheesecake, mascarpone cheese topped with cocoa powder. It oddly enough tastes like pancakes, but I like pancakes, so. I mean, it is terrible. Wait, has anyone so. seen has anyone seen Cabin Fever where the little kids like pancakes? Pa oh, no one's seen oh my Cabin God! Fever. Stop it with the boomer <laughs> movies. Continue. It's a it's oh, a no, recent no, horror no. movie. Oh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! Go on. <laughs> Next we have the Godiva cheesecake or good yeah, This one I've had. That, that yeah. looks fancy. Right. That looks fancy. So this is the first cheesecake I ever tried when I asked for a cheesecake that doesn't taste like cheesecake when I was like 10 years old at the Cheesecake Factory in Edina, Minnesota. That's the first time you had cheesecake? Yeah, I'm, I'm, my family's not big on cheesecake. Wow. Um, so it's fair. a flourless Godiva cake um, or flourless Godiva chocolate cake with a Godiva chocolate cheesecake and a chocolate mousse. I don't, as I said before, I don't usually like flowers cake, but like this one is okay. Um, this is going to be a definitely a dark chocolate taste. It's very rich. I don't usually oh, like drink. I miss drink. Cake, but this Sorry. cheesecake makes up for it. I fuck with that. I mean, like, like without the flour, it makes it like less like granular. So I mean, I totally see that. Mm, oh, son sort of, of a shit. bitch! This is the chocolate tower truffle cake. Oh, yeah. oh god! Oh, yeah. It's layers of fudge cake, chocolate truffle cream, and chocolate mousse. Oh my god. It's so tall, it has to be laid down. Actually, all of our chocolate cakes used to be uh, this way, but then they made the other ones smaller for some reason. It's light and delicious. It's oh the only god. of our like non-cheesecakes that we also have to keep in the cooler because the mousse will melt. Oh my fucking god. I want that, like right now. I my favorite that, cakes like, are like as chocolate die. ganache cakes. And here we have- Oh, I had this one too. Yeah, I had this one. Oreo oh, Dream oh, Extreme oh, Cheesecake. Oh. So this is another one of the really popular ones. Um, like on the posy when we type things in, this one, the ultimate red velvet and the the strawberry are actually different colors because they're so popular. Oh, you? Like, you work at Cheesecake Factory? 
Um, I've seen it when I've seen other <laughs> Molly. servers go up to them. She's gonna, I mean, Kelly. I mean, Kelly. I am so full this is kettle, fudge cake? and this is the kind of shit that would immediately make me break it. I'm not gonna fudge lie. Fudge cake, Oreo mousse cheesecake with Oreos baked inside. Oh, oh, or it's Oreo that. mousse and then cheesecake with Oreos baked inside and a, cho- a milk chocolate icing. Um, this is you what can't I want go wrong with Oreo. Oreo. Like, I mean, Oreo anything is good in my opinion. This is God trying you. That's it what is. this is. This is God trying you, yes. It's layers of goodness. Okay, then we have the Cinnabon Cinnamon Squirrel. Oh, 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 I've never had this, but it looks great. Uh, anyone cinnamon. that knows me Fuck knows you. I knew it. If I see a Cinnabon, I will get a Cinnabon. Manuel's been there with me. I have yeah. a Cinnabon addiction. I prefer pe- like, <laughs> pe- pecan bonds, oh, though. But drink, drink, drink. Oh, I prefer pecan. No, I, I, I want a pecan bond now. I'm going to fucking go to uh I actually do like Cinnabon. pecan rolls. Like pecan buns, I'm okay with yeah. those. Um, Because it's more about the caramel than it is about the pecan. Anyway, so this is a Cinnabon, a cinnamon cheese cake, and vanilla crunch cake with cream cheese frosting and caramel. It actually tastes like a Cinnabon. Um, the only, uh, and the cheesecake kind of has the same taste as the cinnamon frosting, so oh it really God. tastes like it. It's a delicious taste, but the cake can sometimes be a little bit dry, at least in the pieces that I've had, um, which is the cinnamon. only reason that this one's not higher up there, because it tastes delicious. It's also a newer one. It actually came out as, I think, the same time as this one, Wait, what is which this? is the Celebration Cheesecake. Oh, it's like okay, birthday. It's like a birthday cake. Here it comes. Yeah. The celebration cheesecake. And there it goes. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, bye. Drink. Bye drink. Bye. Drink. Keep, it, keep an eye on it, please. I'm trying to the bathroom again. A vanilla funfetti cake, cheesecake, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry mousses. Oh, no. Is that the <laughs> correct plural form of mousse? For it's this? not mousses. For this type is of moose, it? I think so. Is it for the, it? For this no. type of moose, yes. For the animal, no. So altogether, this actually tastes like cake batter ice cream, um, mm. which I love. I remember the first time we have, um, I ever tried this one, me and um, some other people that may or may not also, may or may not work at the Cheesecake Factory, all looked at each other and were like, holy shit. Because it's, it's very good. It's really sweet and like, it makes you happy just from looking at it though. Like, look at that. So this is a party funny. right here. This is also the one that um, kids ask for the most. I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese for better or worse. <laughs> drink. Oh yeah. The fun fetty cake, you know, if drink. you like that. This there one we drink. is the Berry Cherry Ghirardelli Chocolate Cheesecake. Cherry. There we go. So we have, um, they have Hershey's, Godiva, and Ghirardelli. It, it's a lot of different uh, types of chocolate companies. So it's fudge oh. cake. Um, cherry cheesecake loaded with cherries. If you like cherry chocolates, like get this one. It's really good. I love cherry flavored stuff because it kind of tastes like almond flavored stuff and I love almond flavored stuff. I think this one's beautiful and delicious. Okay, next we have, this is the newest one. It's a caramel apple cheesecake. This just oh, came this out. Oh, this has my attention. Uh, shit. This I love came out it... like literally right, like in February this one came out. I so love that it's... this picture's as big as like the slide. The other ones were a lot smaller. <laughs> Well, it, I, 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 it's, it was just, yeah, okay, anyways. I um, love the fact so, that there had to be, like, little crumbs of the streusel, like, on the plate. Yes. They're very particular about plating at the cheesecake factory. Mm-hmm. So, che- it's cheesecake with caramel apples topped with caramel. Um, it, it's, in my opinion, the best of the caramel cheesecakes. This does uh, Oh, I should have good. prefaced this by saying, like, I have actually had all of these desserts. Like, I'm not just making this up. Like, I have actually had all of them. Where now, does the apple your, come in? Um, oh, let me go back. Um, you okay. see, it's in the cheesecake. Those are just apple? pieces of apple. Why are they yes. only on like one little part? They're usually Damn, all a little bit more spread out. Um, it was just this piece. It's it's like kind of random. It's just mixed together. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah. it is a little bit. We uh, they did used to have a German apple cheesecake, but that one got taken away a couple years ago. Cali's so the factory got like an apple dumpling dessert by chance? No, they do not. Damn. There's the apple crisp, which, as I said, is not bad, but, like, mm-hmm. why? So here we have the Adam's Peanut Butter Cup Fudge Ripple Cheesecake. Fuck! So this has Butterfinger, which is my favorite candy. I love Butterfingers. Shut this up, is caramel and peanut butter swirled in cheesecake. Butterfinger is bae. Butterfinger sucks. 
What the fuck? Shut up! Butterfinger is the best. Let's go. Candy. Let's start this. Let's start this fight. Let's go, go, go. What is it the better? Question though, Molly. Yes. Have you tried the new f uh, recipe of Butterfinger? I'm I've sorry. Had Are there? Recently, do so we? Yes, I think so. They changed the recipe maybe like five months ago, and I don't like it anymore. Kelly, oh, what the fuck? Are you oh, well, telling I, me I, you honestly, paid attention Kelly, to the recipes for Butterfinger over the years? I have had Butterfinger years? within the last five months, but that does not necessarily mean it was made within the last five months. Yeah, so it says if they again. put it on the package, they say like new recipe, and they lowered the sugar and increased the peanut butter. And it's not as good anymore. That's how it's, it's funny. Really it. I watched a YouTube video on the new but Butterfinger. People this... loved it. But go on. I fucking hated it. Um, but this is the better of the peanut butter cheesecakes just because it's like not, even though it looks like a lot, it's not as much because it's a lot smaller. Okay, drink, one. drink, and also, by the way, you've been going on for 30 minutes. Keep going. <laughs> also, also, this sounds like I something I have to resort to review, bra, to see if he has any Almost reviews there. on these snack uh, fucking bars. So this is rich but not overwhelming. Okay. Well, if y'all hadn't argued with me so much, I mean, <laughs> you knew this was gonna happen. To now we have the, the vanilla bean cheesecake. Oh, this does sound good, actually. Okay, so no, it's no, no, vanilla no. bean I cheesecake agree. with yeah. vanilla mousse and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Honestly, even the whipped cream kind of looks like it has vanilla in it. Um, oh no, it actually vanilla has lotion. vanilla bean in there. Yeah. Not like the whipped cream. So the a whipped cream is like explosion. on the top and on the on the plate is put on at the restaurant, but the other whipped cream. If I could get this with strawberries, holy shit. No, no, no. That, yeah, that looks like somebody like perfected their craft. And, like, any of the that cheesecakes, is, like, you can the order with strawberries. You can order it with raspberry oh. sauce. You can order it with chocolate sauce. Um, okay, maybe I'll try fuck that. that. I'll just take vanilla. It's fuck that. It that is like a amazing. small extra charge, but yeah, Whatever. you can get that with strawberries. Mm -hmm. Next, Drink. we have the banana cream cheesecake. Ah! Drink. Yeah, oh, shit. So the banana Kelly's cream cheesecake. <laughs> It's a banana cream cheesecake topped with Bavarian cream bananas. It's creamy, fresh, and light. I love bananas. They're like my favorite fruit because they're the only fruit that's never sour. So just smash it. I mean, like banana. even when it does, just make banana bread out of it. You're a banana. I love banana ladies. bread. Ladies, here we You're have a banana. number eight. We're in the top ten, guys. Like we're in the the realm of like the ones that I consistently order. The tuxedo Look cream. Fucking speckles. So the chocolate tuxedo nice. cream cheesecake. I'd say actually starting with banana cream, we're like at like the best, best of the best. Thank this you. one is fudge cake, chocolate cheesecake, mascarpone mousse with a chocolate topping. That's chocolate literally what it's supposed to be. It's just a chocolate topping. This is a common favorite among staff members, from, from what I've heard. Um, <laughs> it probably so takes like the longest to plate of because of that like black and white ring around whatever that's made with um, different sauces. Oh yeah, but it's Fuck worth that. it. Fuck it's that. really good. It's worth it. Now we have one of the best. Ooh. The chocolate mousse cheesecake. I don't even know what that's the just fuck gonna that disappear. Is. It it's, the, it's the creamiest of the chocolate cakes. It is the smoothest. It is a chocolate cheesecake with a chocolate mousse layer. I love chocolate mousse. I could eat it every day. So I say you can't go wrong with it. Um, and now we have the strawberry shortcake coming what? in at number six. Wow. Oh, my neighbors really hate me, I'm sure. <laughs> so, my parents will go to the Cheesecake Factory just to get this. Like, they'll go to another restaurant for dinner and then go to the Cheesecake Factory for dessert just for the strawberry shortcake. My grandpa did the same thing. Um, That's not a bad idea, honestly. It's so Sounds good. So a lot good. of people do that. A lot of people shortcake. go to Cheesecake Factory just for dessert. It is that's, huge. That's actually a really I mean, it's called the idea. Cheesecake Factory. Drink. I'm not surprised. Like, yeah. the, cheese, the strawberry shortcake, I'll drink in a second. It's like in a bowl that's like this big. Each biscuit is like this big. Holy and then you shit. get a scoop of ice cream with each one plus strawberries. Like you can have like a little business meeting, but at the same time, you don't have to like spend too much time on it. That's, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that's primo. These biscuits are amazing. They're actually the same biscuits as the one in, our, um, in the Cheesecake Factory's biscuits and gravy. They just put sugar on top. Um, if there are any leftover, if there are any leftover biscuits at the end of the night, I will eat them. <laughs> Same energy. I mean, I, I not that I work there. I just like sometimes show up when they're closing and ask me, if there are any <laughs> Me when I worked at Bob Evans, I understand ten thousand percent. What even is a Bob Evans? You hope you hope. Here we are. Bah, 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 that's what you sound like. Why does oh Cheesecake Factory have so many of the same cake? I know. They're all different. So the chocolate chocolate purple cake has the layers of mousse. The blackout cake is a lot denser, and this is Linda's fudge cake. Which is honestly probably the best chocolate cake I've ever had. Linda Candioti is um, the Drink. head 
That's oh my actually, god! He was the original Linda. hostess of the Cheesecake Factory. That's actually a chocolate candy brand. I'm pretty sure. We're about to get. We're about to get into it. So you I want about the recipe, Linz. but they will not give it to me. I have met Linda though. She helped train me. Not that oh. I work there. <laughs> <laughs> she just helped is she train nice me. or is she a bitch? She's very nice. She is All exactly right. how you would expect someone to have this chocolate chip cake recipe to be. She um, is, I think, the head of like guest relations now or something like that. But she was the original hostess at the original Cheesecake Factory, which is the Beverly Hills location. But it was only half of it. So if you've yeah. ever been to the Beverly Hills location, Kelly, what is, what is that face? Do you want this cake? Just this cake. It's so like, good. This is so, my favorite kind of cake. Is that Kelly's that love kind of uh, mm -hmm. ganache? That, yeah, I was going to say, we're like, gonna that go to a cheesecake factory like sometime and we're going to have a sampling. Chocolate we chips oh, on the we end. Should. Like, no, like look I'm serious. That. Anyone that, no, that is watching that knows me, if you ever want to go to Cheesecake Factory, um, well, I'm currently furloughed. But, well, she's I have a job there. Dang. <laughs> because, I mean, all the servers are furloughed. It's not like just me. Um, not that she works. Not there. that I work there. Not that you work there. <laughs> but um, I mean it's closed right now, right? For those that do work there, but you, I mean, you can still get to go. Um, I believe that there is still a twenty five percent discount for to go for people who work there. Hmm. On everything, huh. the whole bill. We should we should have a cheese except for alcohol. Night. Um, oh, one fun Lame. fact: I once all I ate all day was was this cake a piece of this cake, and then I drank three glasses of wine after work, and then when I got home, I got sick. I was gonna say, I would actually die. I would actually so, fucking die. Don't drink. I this spent an entire fucking weekend drinking wine, and that would be enough combined with fucking delicious chocolate cheese cake. Speaking, oh, yeah. Speaking of drinking, I'm bedridden. Drink. Yeah, drink. Don't, don't drink this if it's all you've eaten all day. Drink. Actually, mm -hmm. I have to say, if I were making this cake, I would have made the cake more and the frosting less, but that's just me. Okay. I think it's kind of weird that the, fro that the, the, the inner frosting is I half I will say, cake. when you actually see it, I don't think it's this many layers. Listen, okay. sometimes you just want to be an agent of chaos, okay? You're not thinking about people's well-being. Now we are at number four, guys. Oh, we're, fuck. We're the final... It's that the looks like something like. Galore. I actually don't cake? even like s'mores. This is a cheesecake. I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't like s'mores. The one with the blowtorch, baby. So no, yes, it, that this marshmallow is one like with the blowtorch. came all over so, the cake. So Hershey's cheesecake, chocolate ganache, house-made marshmallow toasted with a literal blowtorch. Oh. Like they pull out a literal not blowtorch. Not a metaphorical the same blowtorch. One, <laughs> the same one that they use. Well, I mean, it's not like one of those. Like, the same one they use on bad customers. They have for your home. It's like actually, like, it looks like a welding blowtorch. I'm sure it's not, but like. I love it. Um, this is the same thing that they use for the, uh, the meringue. Slurp, slurp. Okay. Every time I made that, it's, that this is made, I want to eat it just from the smell because you can smell like the marshmallows roasting. It's like a marshmallow fluff, fluff but it's yeah. not like jet pop. It's made in house. Yeah. Mm. I love marshmallows. I will roast a whole bag of marshmallows if no one stops me. <laughs> Problem. By all means. Now we have number Ooh. three. This is another Damn, one of the newest son. ones. So this oh, is a this pineapple is really cheesecake good. upside down. Pineapple, I hate pineapple cheesecake, Ooh. pineapple upside down cake, and maraschino cherries. Uh, uh, I don't like maraschino, maraschino cherries though. Also, wait, the ch mm, yeah, I mean the cherries are swirled within the cheesecake and also on the in the top. But I will say you can't really taste the cherries. When we do our tasting, we'll get a slice. And you can try it and see if there's too much cherry for you. Okay. Full disclosure, so my dad demands a pineapple upside down cake every single time it's his birthday. Just regardless give this. of fucking it anything. It tastes Drink. like a pineapple yeah. down, down Drink. cake. Drink. A pineapple mm -hmm. upside down cake. I can't fuck. It tastes <laughs> like a pineapple upside down cake. Okay, so we actually, or they actually had this before. <laughs> yeah. Um, so... If I had worked at the Cheesecake Factory, it would have been since 2015, um, September of 2015, September like 27th or something like that. <laughs> if, if, if. If I did work there. Um, and before that, there actually was a pineapple upside down cheesecake and they took it off the menu, but enough people kept asking for it that they brought it back, but it's new and improved. And I have heard that it is better than the original one, even though the original one was still good. Um, a lot of times you have to remember that they take things off the menu and add things to the menu um, countrywide. So even if something's selling really well at one restaurant or you really like something, if it's not doing well around the whole country, um, then it won't stay on the menu, except for there are a few exceptions. Like there are some locations that have items that others don't, but that, 
not what this is about. Because number, number, right. number two, number two, guys. Oh no. shit! Here we go. Classic. What, what is happening? It's the white it like chocolate, the same, like, raspberry six? truffle. Oh, drink. oh goddamn! It is a chocolate crust with cheesecake swirled with raspberry and white chocolate, topped with white chocolate grape sh sh shavings. The raspberry cuts through sweetness to make a perfect flavor palette. I this is one that I suggest often. It's really hard to stop eating. It's fresh and light, so you can eat a whole slice by yourself. I didn't put the calories in this. I kind of wanted to just to scare everyone, but. The is calories like for thousand? slices we got at the restaurant. Yeah, what, all of them is, are over. All of them are over a thousand, except for yeah. original and the two low carbs. What is the maximum amount of slices of cheesecake of this that you've eaten in a row? Just one. I've never eaten more than one. Yeah, think about that. Like you eat that. At my birthday, that I had at the cheesecake factory, though. Food How many cheesecakes did we order, Callie? You were there. Like we ordered like five cheesecakes, and I mean it was uh, almost like twelve people, but. Did we? I thought we only ordered two, and we got like a different dessert that wasn't Drink. cheesecake. The fact that y'all lost count means a lot. Drink. It was. It wasn't that many cheesecake. I think Molly's misremembering. Mm. This Molly's is the drunk. one that I would recommend the most often if I worked there. Drink, 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 drink. But at number drink, one, oh, sorry, that I haven't had someone dislike it yet. If I had worked there, <laughs> and at number one, drum roll, please. Oh. We have. Oh my god, what is this animation? Is it a pumpkin cheesecake? Is it gonna fly away? I didn't know there was a pumpkin cheesecake that sounds so good. The pumpkin cheesecake. It's available from September to Thanksgiving. It is the best cheesecake. I'm yeah. disappointed. I have ever had. Drink, that drink, so drink, good. drink. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Drink. Pumpkin I'm disappointed. Oh sounds like yeah. fuck, if you fuck don't pumpkin. like pumpkin, I am sorry you're missing out. I hate if pumpkin. you don't like pumpkin fuck pie, pumpkin. you're not gonna like this. Pumpkin shit. But oh, also you're wrong. So my <laughs> friend Kevin, who some of you know, um, Callie for sure knows him. Yeah, Callie actually is the only one that knows him. But he when he. He also may or may not work at the Cheesecake Factory. And when he first worked there, I may or may not have, when he first may or may not have worked there, I may or may not have told him to try the pumpkin cheesecake. And he said, this was right after Pokemon Go came out. He said, it is like the evolved form of pumpkin cheesecake, or of, of cheesecake, or sorry, of pumpkin pie. So pumpkin pie, if pumpkin pie was Pokemon and it evolved, it would evolve into pumpkin cheesecake. It's really good. Hmm. Um, Drink. I have big I don't know any energy towards this. I'm not Molly. Lie. Okay. So that's it. That's every dessert that the Cheesecake Factory has, besides the kids' desserts. But those are just smaller portions of ice cream and strawberries. I have a controversial statement. I'm gonna beat you up. Go ahead. Why is this like? I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you disagree, your opinion is wrong. He's come that to the Cheesecake is, Factory and tip me well. If, that that is if you work there, I need at the end of every presentation. I have a controversial. That statement. is it. Yes. What oh is shit! It? What am I doing? Kaylee, Kaylee, Kaylee. Kaylee. I was like Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. Putting frosting or whipped cream on cheesecake is a sin against God. You can always get it without whipped cream. Who's God? But I will every say, God. Kelly. Kelly, Cheesy do you God. like pumpkin pie with cream cheese or even with? No, Whatever so the, the the pumpkin cheesecake didn't have anything on top of it. That's great, but like usually they put so, it on there though. <laughs> so I mean, like the pumpkin one that makes I guess a little bit yeah. of sense because pumpkin pie has whipped cream on top of it. Yeah, but most of the cheesecake factory cheesecakes have whipped cream on top, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I will oh, say it's, it's some of them come that way from the factory, so it's like you can't really do much about that. Like. Every of those dollops, like the rosettes of like peanut butter and ganache, those are done by hand by people. So it's like you better at least appreciate it. But the, I mean, um, I appreciate the work, yeah. but like, what are you talking about? Who the fuck decided to put whipped cream on cheesecake or frosting for that matter? No, no. It, original, well, hold on, hold on. If it's like lemon cheesecake though. or raspberry cheesecake, I could totally see that because it winds up curbing a little bit of the tartness. It really it's depends not on the raspberry cheesecake. I know, some of the saying. cheesecakes have it, some of it don't. It really just depends. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, Fuck pumpkin cheesecake. Callie, you need to try the the strawberry shortcake. If you like biscuit based shortcakes, some people prefer cake based shortcake. Drink. 
Just Wait, do you even have any drink left? I mean, I have. Does. Okay. Your thing was 45 minutes long. Right Molly anyway. turned into a cheesecake factory. You're 45 <laughs> minutes long. I mean, yes. You're the whole done, menu. Done. The yeah, whole I, menu re- I regret saying that. Get- <laughs> I was going to do the whole menu at first, but then I was like, that's too ambitious. Molly. The you menu took forty-five the menu. minutes. That has been the most unnecessarily long menu I have ever fucking it, it's a in my fucking entire book. life. And it's I a have book. the whole thing fucking memorized. Liar. And I, I the feel the need memorized. to order the jambalaya because there is no other place locally that has jambalaya. I'm pretty sure the jambalaya is not served in Louisiana because it is. <laughs> Good. That's how it should be. But hey, I'm like, where the fuck else am I gonna go to a restaurant and they serve jambalaya? Now I, mean, I have like, okay, to fucking order it. Don't here. get me wrong, it's good, but it's not authentic. That's that's oh, absolutely take some yeah. more. Oh, ten thousand percent. But again, where the fuck else am I gonna go to a restaurant and have them offer jambalaya? Okay. I remember House of Blues had it, but you know. Turn turn off your screen share so oh, we yes. can discuss but- I could, I could, I guess, do one where it's like what I would recommend from each category, like the top two items from each category on the menu to order. I mean, Molly because... already recommended pumpkin cheesecake, so she lost my vote. What the pumpkin cheesecake is so good? Well, you don't like pumpkin pie, though, do you? No, I don't. Well, your favorite is the cookie dough, so you're just wrong. That was my least. That was I number know, fuck 49. you. As a nut, as a peanut, as a nut lover. <laughs> as a penis? Pause. <laughs> Okay, I will say also, okay, the caramel macadamia nut, if you like macadamia nuts, yes, it would be really good. I just really don't like macadamia nuts. I don't know why. I don't like, I like macadamia I like nuts or Brazil nuts. nuts. I like all other nuts, basically. I'm not I'm not being uh, not being nasty, but I love all the, the nuts. I think it's in my DNA because, you know, I just, I mean, I mean, my parents. Some people just nuts, like nuts. Watch nuts and watch TV. The stat, like, like my dad sends me to the store to get a bag of pistachios and then I crack <laughs> open a cold one, you know. <laughs> I met someone that? recently who named oh his nuts Jose and Jose B. Uh, Wait, his nuts is his like I love that. his personal like nuts. He has, he has two no, almonds. No, that. That. We'll just say that he has two almonds named. Jose. Oh, okay. Is that the euphemism we're going with? Wait, all right, wait. all right. Is that a thing? Did, did I, have I just found out about like a new thing that I should have done a long? Do, do you name your nuts, lady? <laughs> Pausing. What are you talking about? Do you homeboy? name your nuts? You, your nuts have names, don't they? You fucking bastard. <laughs> I would yes. name uh, El Tigre oh, a, and a uh, Giganto. <laughs> Is one bigger than the other? It's like, oh it's, it's, yes, it's, it's everybody. Listen, yeah, everybody's like, body is asymmetrical. Okay? No, that is true. It's just like boobs. One is always at Thank least you. a little bit bigger. But that's like, exactly what I mean. Giganto does so Molly, what should I name that this one? Like which, which, what should I name this one right here? Oh, what the scene. fuck are we talking about now? <laughs> we're naming nuts. Why are you asking for names? <laughs> Yo, well, you said you were uh, like what? This one's John and this one's Billy. Like, I what? ain't say nothing like this that. Jose, Jose B, Jose. Which one? Where's Jose? <laughs> <laughs> and the rest are just also Jose. 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 All the Jose. Jose, 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 Jose. I can say and this. Is a Greek alphabet. I can say this because I'm Mexican. The, no, I can say this because I'm Mexican. Yeah. But like my my, my my dad's family, like they had like twelve kids or eleven kids, I forget how many. And like all of them Sounds were like named Mexican all of them were named Jose and Maria. Accurate. All of them were named Jose and Maria. Are you telling me this? You yes. can tell exactly how uh, next like, a girl is by well, how they had, they had many male names she has. Like, like, my, like my dad was Jose Reyes. So there was like Jose Luis, Jose Manuel. But like that but wait, was the middle those, name. Those were no. Was it the middle name or were those their like? No, no, no. It, it, it wasn't a combined name. It wasn't like oh, okay. it was like Ali May. I can't think of like a, a white example. But no, well, it, know, it was Jose. Um, this you know, Jose. I know that, like Maria. I know this. a Maria Jose, a girl whose name was Maria Jose. But that was like that was her first name. Yeah, and there was a Maria Jose, but it was. And I think that was literally just her parents names i'm assuming because i think that i mean that's just common and ironically my mom has like fucking four middle latino names cultures. at least at least some mm-hmm. latino cultures mm-hmm. not all of them of course but in some of them it's common. Jose, i'm, Jose, a, Jose, I'm Jose. amazed i don't have a middle name i'll say that you have middle name? i have middle no name. middle name one of my but um, my mom has fucking four to five Depending one of my on roommates context. in college's middle name was literally Why just the letter W. She went on nice. Minutes talking about her pumpkin was good. Her parents okay. didn't understand the middle name conventions. Yeah, um, I, I, I didn't either. The middle name W. 
Yeah, mine didn't either. Like, what the fuck is the purpose? Because I think like, they were they were from another country, and I think they just saw everyone like be like okay. first name and then the middle initial and the last name, so they just assumed that middle names were just a letter. Everyone, let me tell you. Somehow, oh. I wound up with the fucking middle initial of P, despite the fact that I don't have a middle name. So it's like, the same thing for you. You have a middle initial, but not a middle name. Yeah. It'll show up on legal documents here and there. I don't know fucking how they got that initial. Because but everyone it'll knows just you're a dick. It'll show up. Well, everyone knows not you're wrong, a dick. But still, how did P? they calculate P, uh, that? He's a P, not D. Yeah, but P because he's a penis, oh. but everyone oh, knows yeah, he's okay. a dick. I, I got that literally right after I said that. It's on brand. So I'm all right with it. <laughs> okay, so everyone vote for a presentation that wasn't your own. And fuck the chat, because they're all voting for Molly. So fuck the chat. Yeah! I vote for Manuel. <laughs> fuck the chat. I vote for Manuel. Oh, shit. Uh, that was good. I was mentioning that. Honestly, she's not here right now, but I probably learned the most. Yeah, I was going to say. I, 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 it's yeah, I oh, my fucking Molly, God. I just lie. realized I'm still fucking invisible in the cheese. Yeah, factory. you've been invisible. Yeah, we've been talking to a ghost. <laughs> Somehow. It's between Callie like and Janet. In the cheesecake I, I was gonna say it's also between Callie and Janet for me. Yeah, me and too. And myself, because I put I a lot of fucking effort. Do you know how long that fucking took? It took off. hours to put that together. I, I, I vote. I vote cheesecake presentation. What, what, what's Dead your ass. vote, Callie? I don't think it really matters. I don't remember but... anyone's presentation except oh for Molly's. God. Are you that, and, the, are you and, that the, and the ice cream one? That's how she's gonna win. No, I, I think Callie. I think Callie and Janet have a joint victory in this one. Cause, uh, Molly and Janet said that desserts. she would give my her victory to me. What the need, fuck? I, no, she did. She did. She, she actually did, did say she, that. She, oh, that's Listen, right. I, I, I need that. to. I need to so say this. So is Callie I, won. Callie won. I need to say this. I walked out <laughs> into a living room. My girlfriend is asking, "What the fuck are you yelling about?" And I said, "Somebody is actually ranking in a fifty-slide <laughs> presentation every single dessert in Cheesecake Factory, and somehow." <laughs> Just plain strawberries with whipped cream <laughs> turns up being halfway. Through. Yeah, it was like dead ass in the middle. That was some bullshit. I, I lost my mind. They're Just good. I like strawberries and cream. No, that no, is no, immediately is like this is the spiciest bullshit. shit I have heard all year. That like, was like I, on par. That was on par when with when when, when Pleiades was like. And that's like COVID nineteen. Yes. <laughs> when we all fucking lost. And I game. tried so hard, okay. And this shit just came out naturally. So fucking kudos. I gotta say, you like like you should have added the slide under the strawberries. Just go to the supermarket for Christ's sakes, <laughs> or something. Pretty much. I mean, I do understand my whole like strawberry slide is very similar to the warm up of Chris, where it's like it's good, but why? But I just I really like strawberries and whipped cream. So like that. I, it, it just homegirl that says that speaks of volumes that's exactly the point it is fucking perfect well, some people like peaches and cream do you too. see how <laughs> white i am no <laughs> like... i don't because i can't open zoom right now oh well i'm, I'm a redhead so, and not not like a god play not a redhead that's not boomer. white boomer, I I know. Right. i'm so sorry this app is shit as well. Fuck. It really is. It's isn't. really not it's that really, bad. No, it's really simple. It's, fine. it's, me it's meant to be like a fucking like five year old that can't go to school can use it. So fuck you. My baby. mother's church uses Zoom for their services. That and their average a, age that's is not 80. A vote of confidence. <laughs> that is not a vote of confidence. No, you're just a boomer, please. You're like, <laughs> I can't even make my joke. I'm dying. I can't even. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't. Oh, I'm going to be Well, okay, to describe myself. My mom's side of the family is mostly German. Homegirl, I saw you. You're pretty much and fucking. My uh, dad's dirty. side of the family is Jewish, but I'm a redhead, so I don't look Jewish. Homegirl, oh, I, I mean, saw. Okay. I, I just I, I don't have the olive skin tone that many Jewish people have. Hey, Actually, yo, I do. It's just a really, 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 really pale one. It's it's all roll of the die, honestly. Like that. Well, okay, it's not all roll of the die, but like there's a big roll of the die factor. Oh yeah! Did you ever see those twins where they're like, they're not identical, obviously, but like one of them, ha um, one of them presents as white and the other one presents as black, but they're twins. Um, girl, I've lived in it's a fucking crazy. Latino community where like people will actively try to deny any sort of dark skittedness and constantly Skated. try to say like, oh no, I'm of Castilian on, descent, back. I'm not Mexican, oh, I'm not whatever this and that. Like Actually, I understand um, that shit. 
if I did work at the Cheesecake Factory, I would have a coworker who, um, actually she and her twin brother both have red hair and they are Mexican by descent. And people yeah. used to think that I was like the twin. Like they mm -hmm. would confuse us. And I was like, we don't, we don't look anything. I mean, they just look, we have, it's actually really interesting because we also both have like a blonde streak in the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we do have like mm -hmm. a slight like strawberry blonde streak in the back. You can't mm -hmm. really see it on here. And it's just, it's, and we have like the same hair texture and the same hair color, but we don't look anything alike. Mm -hmm. People just look at the hair. But yeah, like she, um, I'm, it just, yeah. No, it's, it's exactly the type of shit where, like, people are, like, used to seeing a certain thing. And when they see something that, like, bucks the trend, they're like, oh, this must be completely different. Nah, it's just, like, you know, should be more widespread than you might think. Yeah. Can you hear the fireworks in my background? Are you I saying? I not. Are there fireworks? Okay, that's good. Yeah, no, constantly this whole time, but there was just, like, a lot just now. Wait, did you are see that they were actually that? fireworks? They're actually fireworks. Okay. From Disney. Okay, there's a difference. I can hear, I can literally, they're so close, I can hear them going, psh, doo, psh. Oh, okay. D Dev, you checked out your it's window. Far away I'm only saying that harder. because, like, I've heard of people being like, oh, what's the fireworks? And then it winds up being fucking gunshots. No, it's always fireworks. It's okay. always okay. fireworks. They do okay. it during the okay. day. They shoot off fireworks during the day. What's the point of that? <laughs> what's the I don't point even of know, fireworks man. in the middle of the day? Hunger, I don't even know. I'm just at this point fucking paranoid and worried yeah. about everybody. So I just want to make sure everybody. Oh, and okay I am in an unsafe area. I will shit. say that, but they are definitely fireworks. Okay. okay. Sometimes I'm like, is that a gunshot? But it's always fireworks. Now you're in the OC, right? I'm in the Orange Candy. I was I was guessing that you were in like Anaheim yeah. first, but what I miss? Talking about fireworks and gunshots. Yeah, because I was thinking you were tell just near, at, like Disneyland and stuff, but you know it was just like, but it's like nah, that's just people randomly setting off fireworks. Callie, if I get a Disney pass, will you go with me? Sure. I got a Disney one. pass forever. I, Fuck you, mom. Yeah. We never, we never gone. I literally yeah. had a Disney pass the first year I moved to LA, and I never went. That's a trip. I don't have a Disney pass, but I live so close. I'm like, uh, sure, I'll pay for a day or whatever. I went to Disney World. No, once, forget Kelly. Let's go, Molly. Well, you need to go three times, and then it makes the Disney Pass worth it. Let's I go, think Rose. It's way more than that, actually. I'll go. Well, if they you might have raised the me. price, but when I had it, it was oh, only like it fuck? was like. Oh, I, got that kind of I talked to someone recently. I think they said seven times. Because when I went, it was only like two hundred dollars. I think now it's more. No, technically it was like you go twice and you pay off the The California one is only about two hundred something, and um. So but yeah, the, 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 the days are blackout more. days, right? Hey, here's yeah. the thing. There's a lot the, of blackout days. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're only getting 180 weekend. days or something. The entire month of July and June are blacked out. Like, honestly, well, it's, it's not that it matters now. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, right now, the shit might actually be extravagantly cheap just by comparison. I haven't actually like done checks. But like they might be desperate for people to come in and drop them. They're prices. not yet. They're, they're, they're not open. open. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Give it a few more months. Give it a few Disney more months. World might be open. I don't know what's happening. In no, right that's now, but... uh, that. That's the familiar I have with Universal Disney World, is yeah. open, but Disney hasn't opened yet. Disney open. World is opening Florida? first, though. Disney is planning to open soon. Though. Yeah, not land, but World mm -hmm. is opening first. Yeah. Well, Disneyland can't open right now. Yeah, because Florida's Florida, and they, yeah. they do stupid shit. <laughs> I mean, sorry for from Florida. Also, I'm being real. I was talking to my grandparents, who of course live in Florida, and they were talking about how like so much of the economy of Florida is just based on resorts. It's ridiculous. Listen, there are not, entire like, countries that are like that. Well, it it depends on like, where you're at in Florida, because there's Southern Florida where it's like that, and you go to North Florida, which no, is like they live the in no Northern Florida. But North Florida is like fucking Why? like like you're in I'm you're sorry, in the deep Tim. south. <laughs> like suddenly when, when you when you when you go to like they live in Jacksonville. Yeah. Oh, see, they live yeah. in Jacksonville, How Florida. Is that like a North resident? Florida might as well be? Deep. Well, they were they were talking about how North they were talking about how. They're talking about how so much of um, farm produce goes to resorts that, like, wrong. you could literally just pick it up for free because they were just trying to get rid of it because they, they couldn't sell to the resorts because the resorts. Oh, especially, yeah, no, especially right now, like, resort, like, restaurant, like how you said resorts and restaurants and shit like that, they can't buy anything because they don't have customers. So, I, like, they're fucking dumping out entire gallons of milk just, like, in the streets and shit like that. Manuel, like, ja so Jacksonville, that's where AEW is. So, it is. Yeah. I didn't know that. 
AEW's well, in the like the Daly's place and and Jack and Jaguar Stadium. Well, everything's like, in Florida because it's. I mean, well, especially cheap. all this. Yeah. <laughs> all Jacksonville these, is, as far as I'm concerned, the um, capital city of pedophiles. Has anybody seen? Damn, the- damn, Dark, damn. I shit! Thought, I thought my I, I thought my the, stupid uh, 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 team. Have you ever been to Jacksonville, Florida? No, it's and I hope to never pedophile. be what's there. The, what's the sh- uh, the show about? It's the animated show with John Mulaney and Nick Kroll. Oh, Big Mouth. Oh, no. Big Mouth. Yeah, there's an episode where they go to Florida. I gotta watch that now. Listen, I, I unironically out. actually because they're visiting. Mouth. They're visiting. Um, I've heard Big Mouth is very good. It's all it my is. favorite comedians are in it. It's I love it John Mulaney. There's a lot of my uh, first Jacksonville reference in my brain is the Good Place. But well, ah. not Jacksonville specifically, just Florida in general, and like <laughs> different parts of Florida. But like weirdly enough, because my family is my dad's side of the family is Jewish, I don't have any relatives that live in Florida um, because that is a very common that. place for people for um, older people of Jewish descent. Um, so older Jewish people religion. in general, like yeah, I would say older people Florida in general. My family's not Jewish. My family, there. my family though, it's always been more Palm Springs. That's where my my grandparents. Yeah, Palm Springs is another old person. Uncles had um, had their had their condos, and they would go there during the winter, and then they come back to Minnesota in the non-winter. Like I, I I had a Spanish professor in community college who would actively actually make a joke out of it. That like, yo, there is an entire subsection of Florida that is just like nothing but Cubans, and it's just like speaking Spanish, all this shit, and it's just like old people every fucking where i mean and, like, and then there's and then there's like my and then and then i think there's also a really like flourishing like lgbtq population mm-hmm. oh yeah like, yeah oh yeah and then there's the rest of florida which is very different oh god there's some percent Yeah. Crocodiligator. Yeah. Crocodiligator. Pretty much. Crocodiligator. That's real. Now, have dude. you seen the signs that say do not feed the alligators meth? That is a <laughs> real fucking sign. I remember driving in Florida and my dad was like, Why are there all these like like fences across the roads? And he's like, Oh, that's to keep the alligators off the highway. It's like true. Uh-huh. That's true. That's true. Yeah, no, it really is. Like he wasn't joking. But uh-huh. it was just like it's not something my you dad think about grew up in not. Jacksonville, Florida. And he was like he was like, Oh yeah, the al- the, the alligators aren't what you worry about. Is it alligators? It's alligators, right? Because yeah. alligators and there's crocodiles. Mm-hmm. Alligators are both. I think they have both. No, they don't they, have both. They don't have both. It's alligators. One is freshwater. Well, what, they only have one of them. Then they it's have crocodiles. Are you sure? Is it alligators? Someone, Someone look at I'm not going to lie. I just, I just keep difference? imagining oh, some uh, reptile sitting on a couch with like a. Well, they a have caimans Joe too. Exotic. Why am I still. On. They also have caimans, and caimans are like the tiny ones. Why am I still. I'm just, are those. Who said they had both? Like, really who, said they had who said they had both? Who said they had both? I did, but I could be wrong. That was mine. They have both. They have both. They do have both. They do have both. <laughs> that explains right. a lot about Florida. Well, this this reptile right here kind of, you know, he wants some more representation. For okay, it. but what is that? Alligators are way more common because they're the ones that are actually in the middle of the state because they're in the swamps and the marshes yeah. and yeah. fresh water and stuff like that. Crocodiles are in salt water. Yeah, crocodiles are in salt like, water. Alligators are in I remember water. like swimming um when I was in Florida, my my cousin was having a um a wedding in like near the Keys. Or in, um, yeah, near the Keys. And we like swam across this little like river thing to get to the ocean. And like we realized after we swam, like that was like an alligator or like crocodile infested river. And we're like, oh, well, you know, none of us died. I mean, so, all okay. of them are. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like. My dad is so Florida that the last uh, last time I called him, remember it was last month or whatever, he was saying like, he was saying like, oh, you know, yeah, like, I mean, when we were teenagers, we'd go out, we'd pick up the frogs to eat. Wait, like, <laughs> to bro- eat? Oh. Yes. Like, I would go out like, and find, like, those little toads, like, the little, like, rock toads, and, like, 
Cold Did you eat them? Eat oh, them. Right. no, I wouldn't eat them. I mean, I'm right. sure. Okay, like there are some, there are some like parts of Minnesota that are, I guess, more like maybe they would eat frog. I am saying something in full confidence right now. I, you're on a Twitch stream. <laughs> you eating the frog? Fuck everybody. I hate frogs. I actually have a frog phobia. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna the lie. Entire, there's <laughs> listen, Resident Evil Zero, where there's like. A uh, a uh, a T virus infected frog boss. Yeah, that like, immediately was the wall of like, nope, not playing this fucking game anymore. Fuck that shit. Ladies, are you scared I of this guy right is, here? Are you afraid of this man on camera? Is that a frog? Uh, well, I can't see the fucking camera because I'm too much of a can't boomer, open Zoom. So, SMD. Oh. I know you are thing, a though, boomer. Also, if someone yeah. legitimately has a phobia, you don't want to hold up stuff and be like, well, are you afraid of this? Because phobias no. are like legit. It's not just He was it's holding like, it up way no, before I he said that. Listen, yeah, listen, listen. No, I, I'm not saying, I'm not, sorry. That no, wasn't I'm gonna me be like, like, trying to target you. That was like an in general like thing. Yeah. This is a real send... frog though. This is just a, a puppet. So. I'm gonna send Molly some vomit videos and just stick her out. I hate you. But, no, yeah. we're, we're talking about LA Beast, that that guy who like eats all that shit then like vomits. And I'll just send like Kelly. I mean Kelly. Me and middle school, school and high school. Like even okay, here's the thing. Like there are some things that people have phobias of where I can understand. Like okay, snakes. Like people like watching snakes. I think snakes are cool My dad. personally. But like, why is vomiting like even an entertaining thing for anyone to watch? I saw this. I uh, think it's like a catharsis thing. No, kind of like like pinching I, I like this... pimples and shit like that. I oh, that, I like. that is very satisfying to me. See, I, exactly. I, I, exactly. I, had, I had a phobia of vomiting when I was younger, and I still kind of have it, not so much anymore. But like, it still like makes me feel anxious. If you I was vomit too much, fuck in my teenage teeth... years, so I'm totally used to that. Because if you vomit too much, your teeth will rot, and oh, actually, okay. truth, oh. absolutely true. Steve yeah, but I, I developed this phobia when well, I was okay. like seven. I don't think I knew well, that Steve when I was seven. I was gonna bring the, I was gonna bring up a movie and I don't want to anymore. <laughs> because he he puked too much, so he had to he had to get dent he had to get uh fake teeth just to No, replace. that's one of the um that's that one will of the side effects happen. also of like when people are bulimic. Yeah, yeah. that'll um, absolutely happen. My shit like I had a couple teeth where they actually like rotted and cracked. Wait, were you bulimic? This is getting deep. Hell yes. No, 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 no. Oh, me? Oh, sorry. I think we're talking about no, me. I, I, was. I don't know about no. He's just straight up talking about his teeth. No. Yeah, I was. I, Middle school, high school. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Absolutely. Game, little... What is this conversation? I was gonna mention how I watched this YouTube video about n- about gross out horror movies and it was Damn, I th- have listen, I have no shame. It is what it is. That's fine. Boy, you're and I'd rather fuck. share I'm it. Not gonna go into that, but yeah, I'd rather share it if like somebody has any sort of experience and identify with that, so that they're not alone. That's how I feel. That's, that's me. That's deep. I'm not even fucking with you. That's, that's pretty deep. But um, yeah. Like I said, I watched the YouTube video, and they were talking about the most gross out horror movies. Not even a horror movie, but there's this trilogy of movies, like a series called like Murder Vomit Dolls. And I, I don't know I if I sent. You're gonna say. I, I don't know if I, I. I don't know if I sent it to you, Molly, but like um. Like, that I don't think she, I don't think you did, or if she did. Why would she watch no, it? No, because I watched it without. No, no like, mind you, the video talking about it centered the vomit, but like I ended up watching the movies. I that would help. It's I not up... so much the vomit itself, though. It's like the gagging. Oh, no, you don't me. even know because oh. like the movie. The okay, obviously, a vomit is one of the three words in the titles. I um. I can't really, I think it was his murder vomit dolls. Anyways, it's one of the three words in the title. You know damn well that's a huge focal point, and it is. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna watch this anymore. And I've well, actually. That's why, like, I know. Okay, so people my age, a lot of people. I'm my not even age, against vomit. I'm just I'm not against vomit. Like you know, up. have seen two girls, one cup because just like <laughs> it was like a viral video, like just for laughs. Where I've never seen it because I don't want to watch that. I've shit. never seen it either. I'm not saying yeah, everyone has, but I think seen... a lot of people that weren't watching it for like sexual pleasure at all, they were just watching it to like kind of say that they did, you know? Can, can but I, can have I, you ever I seen like, Mr. Hands? I have seen LemonParty.com. Can, 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 can I get an F in the chat? Can I get an F in the chat for uh, for everyone who got like bamboozled watching two girls one cup? <laughs> Mr. Hands, bamboozled. two girls one cup. Yeah, lemon that was party. Okay. Seventh like, grade, and I knew what would happen when I went to just watch two girls one cup. <laughs> no, but I don't part- know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, ca- God damn it, Kelly. I don't want to. <laughs> I never watched it. I identify with I it. I never either watched way. it, but I remember very specifically it was a whole thing when I was in seventh grade. You never watched it. Have you watched it, Rose? I haven't watched it, but I know. 
It's disgusting. Don't watch it. <laughs> I, I know. Just don't. Just <laughs> no, I've watched I it. I have one of my friends. I had one of my friends who had watched it go th- beat through by beat through it with me. No, I used to. <laughs> so have, I didn't have to watch it. I used to have an old YouTube channel. Oh, and got... Tub Girl. I have seen the picture of Tub Girl. Tub Girl. Yep. Oh, no, don't me a Tub Girl. I don't know what that is. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. I, uh, just Cause Google that doesn't bug me. It's purely just a vomit. That'll though. actually, that'll actual, like that will also give you the same result. Well, the thing is, like, like I gag a little bit when I cough a lot. Like, if if it's really dusty in a room, I'll start to like after like two or three coughs, I'll just gag like a little bit. So, you know, I don't like it's 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 common for like certain <laughs> people to gag. When they I cough. remember, I remember when when I, I was at a con with with Molly. It was that same con that what the, what's that tiny girl's name? I forget her name. Natalie. Um, yeah, <laughs> when she was there too. Um, oh yeah, and I stayed up all night just staring at you because I thought you were gonna get sick because you yeah. were so drunk. That's and I kept so funny. and I kept waking up, and you were just staring at me like intently, like with your eyes wide open. And I'm like, oh. what? Like, I don't want you to throw up. Okay, I'm like stop. Um, because Manuel literally walked into the room, and Natalie was like, "Hi, I'm Natalie," and he just looked at her hand and walked away while wearing sunglasses at like 1 a.m. <laughs> in, yeah, in a con, con mood. Sunglasses for yeah, so for manual. Like, so oh, no. I can, <laughs> so I can. And I was playing music, and they kept trying to turn it off, and I kept turning it back on. <laughs> we were just like playing a song for like twenty seconds, and then you go to the next song. It was all heavy metal. That is not what you sleep to. Oh man, that was good stuff. Good time. That's not vibes. It's some complex. Guitar. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. Mm-hmm. That was also oh the Coke con-, con, and I don't mean Coke like the drug. I mean like there was a Coca Cola. <gasps> oh, booth. we got like a million. That would Cokes. be and, a and really the, fun the con. Song, I they were giving like. away free Coca Cola, so we had like our our fridge in our hotel room, which is like. Oh. Yeah, because because we, we, we like because we knew one of the staffers and she would like she actually brought she was pushing a cooler she's like grab what you want and like we filled up bags of like tons of I took coke home like I had coke after the con like, that sounds terrible but yeah I had, I had, that I had, sounds like a plus that was also the con I'm not gonna tell the story never mind but um uh, but I got drunk and I yelled at somebody who's actually really famous now and Molly knows the story oh, it was that was funny. that con it was that con Pussy, I had just come from someone that nice. I'm friends with. I- yeah, I had just they come. I had just come. She won't. was not famous then, I, which is part of the part of the shit I said to her apparently. But I had just come to the. I had just come back from her room. Well, not her room. It was my friend's room that she was in. I had just come back from that room where I just finished yelling at her, <laughs> and then I came I back. Love it. I gotta be right. I gotta piss. You gotta piss. He's not coming back. He has a fucking switch deck, Twitch deck. I mean, and he's fucking. He's a boomer. What the fuck is that? Right. You see it? I can see it right there. I don't think it's yeah. on, but he has a tw- he has a he has a Twitch deck, and he's fucking doesn't know how to work a computer at all. He's like, "What Zoom? I don't know how to look at the." Wait, screen. Manuel, you're not wearing your mask anymore. I took it. I I, I took it off. Oh, I didn't even on. notice. But I. But you also it. you shaved though. I and did. Also, it's a different mask. It's a different mask from the one that the white supremacists were using. In that. No, it's, it's, I'm it's glad a... that you changed it. I For did... all that don't know, he had a mask that was very similar to a mask that some people were wearing in some of the like COVID nineteen protest videos. And he was like, "Well, can't wear this mask anymore." Like, and I, I, fuck. I, sh- I shaved knowing that I, I would be drinking and that my mouth would be exposed. The last time I didn't, because I didn't think about it beforehand. But I shaved, so I and also I was trying to like I considered cutting up. You guys can't tell because the lighting's bad. But my sideburns are re- my hair doesn't look that bad anymore because it's grown long enough that it's just mm-hmm. long. But like my sideburns, I'm like, do I they cut are these? they are starting to curl a little bit? Yeah, I'm like, do I cut them? I don't know what to do. Dude, go like 1800 Civil War style with that shit. Like, go yeah, back just get to like mutton chops. No, yeah. I, I might just shave them off, and it's kind of sad to think about because I've had them. I've never shaved off my sideburns like ever. Like since I've never I was seen like, you without sideburns. yeah, I, 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 I would have been. And I, I've known you for like what is it, ten years? At yeah, this point? I, I've never Almost. shaved them off since I was like in elementary school. So I didn't Eight shave years. them off then, but I mean, like when I grew them in. They stayed there forever for the rest of my life. So yeah, well until is that now. Isabel Keaching. What me? Yeah. No, it's. Oh uh, no, that's Freya. Yeah, it's Freya. You know, Freya and Isabel kind of look similar. No, <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> well, I have um, where is it? I've been meaning to put this on my thing. I also have an Edelgard keychain I've been meaning to put on, but um, I haven't. I haven't put it on yet. Also, Callie, you say that um, Bacano costs too much to buy. I paid. 80 Canadian dollars to have Lucky on my island at Animal Crossing. So. Yeah, she's stupid. How else was I gonna get him? Oh my god, that's oh so god. funny. Also, the, no, that, that's still you know my how, smoking like, tray. His Smoke card, tray. his card was, his Amiibo card was going for 80 dollars. 
and then someone posted it for 80 Canadian dollars. And I think they like didn't realize that it was 80 American dollars. So 80 Canadian dollars is only like 50 US dollars. And I was like, that's a seal. That's so I bought still it. so funny. I know, it really Molly. Is. Did you recognize this checky? This is also on my thing. <laughs> oh my God. By a Molly checky. That, that's such a baby checky though. That was like five years ago. I don't look any different than I did. I know you look exactly the same. But this is a this is like a five year old check. Fucking circle lights. Like pop. I look different from when I was eighteen, but I feel like from age like twenty to now, I have not changed. Well, you kind of look younger if you really look, but yeah. I mean, I guess, but part of it is also hair and makeup and just like like good checky lighting fashion over the years. Some people some people change it up like you know throughout their twenties. No, I didn't. My I've looked. I've been the same. Yeah, these, my these are my. This is the things. first time I've ever cut my hair properly. It looks I've really never, good, Kelly. I've like, never I mean, cut my hair more than like a little trim. I will say. I mean, I'm not actually there, and it is a little bit blur, like just a little bit blurred, like zoom quality. But from what I can see, it looks really, really good. Like for especially for doing it yourself, <laughs> and also just it looks good. Wait, on you did it yourself? I actually missed that part. I don't remember that being the thing in this. Where the fuck would I have got it done? Yeah, that Daniel? totally makes sense. You, you you totally did that during the quarantine, like early on. Well, I don't know. Like someone could have done it for you. Like I could have come down like with a mask to like cut your hair, but I would probably no. Look worse I put that. my hair. I put my hair in a ponytail, uh, and then I put my hair in a second ponytail, and then I went snip 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 snip. Have you ever seen the videos where, where they cut their own hair and they undo the ponytail and it's all fucked up? Well, because a lot of times it's like if you bring your hair forward, then it's going to be shorter in the back. So, just like pulling it forward and stuff. But so, yeah. I do actually um, do that too. Did you watch Brad Mondo's video on how to cut your own hair? I did not. I didn't need to. Have you done it before? How do I stop having a virtual background? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to explain that, do. like, I just I made a ponytail. I made a ponytail as close to my scalp as I could, and then I made a ponytail basically just like half an inch above where I was gonna cut. And then so when you bring it forward, you just grab the one that's close to where you're gonna cut, and it's not like distorted from yeah. the like move. Yeah. And then you can just cut it straight. Yeah, that's the problem that a lot of people have though. They'll bring it forward and not realize that because this hair is being brought forward, it's going to be cut shorter. Yeah, I have, actually, like, weird... this is slightly shorter than I can get it with that method. So I actually did have to manually, like, just, I have, like, those those scissors that, like, when you cut it, it only cuts some of the hairs. Oh, yeah, so I like had the to just, thinning like, shears, yeah. Yeah, I had to just thinning shears it myself, because I think the second time I, I touched it up, um, this side was longer for some reason. Yeah, so. I, I trimmed my bangs. I trimmed them a little bit shorter than I wanted, but, like, they'll grow back. Oh, I tr I've been trimming my bangs for years, so that's yeah. That's I mean, I always have, and I always accidentally trim them shorter than I meant to. But this time, I also thinned them, and I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. That's why they're still for the side instead of full. Oh my god, we should start wrapping this up. But Pleiades isn't back. I don't know. I don't want to end it until he comes back. Well, Is he dead? No, he's been gone yeah. for like ten minutes. Did we have another person die? On the no, last time because that was my funniest clip. Last time when he went to the bathroom, remember it? He came back. He was gone forever. Like he was yeah. legit gone. He was gone for like I think we had moved on. I think we were already like mad, moved on. We, we thought he wasn't coming back. Like he passed out. In the, we might have passed out in the bathroom this time. We thought he passed out in the bathroom and he just rolls up all drunk as fuck with his glasses, his fucking uh, Guerin Lagan glasses. Oh my god, I'm sobering up, and I don't like it. I don't like reality. I am too, but I had like a, the equivalent of six shots, and all I've eaten today is no, no, like no, no, that no. little like dinner I had and and a donut. I, and I, cannot, I don't drink as much as you, Manuel. My tolerance yeah. is probably, actually our tolerances are probably pretty similar now because I naturally have a high tolerance, and you don't. Um, <laughs> I put in a small splash of this stuff, but basically I watered it down like so much. But it's like one. The uh, Supreme three. West something rum was in these. Yeah, and it's like this. This this stuff's flammable. Overproof rum, I, I think. But I watered it down like crazy, and all I did was put a, like a splash in my club soda. So it's like I watered things down like twice. Barely, barely any effect. I drink more, you bastard. Nope. <laughs> You're the, the most, most sober out of all of us. Like stream. Callie sobering up too. Rip Callie. She she was like I was never really that drunk to begin with in this stream. You were pretty drunk. No, I Callie, wasn't. I don't think so. Callie doesn't really drink. It's no, like, she got pretty I drunk last I time. I know, but I I did get pretty drunk last time. I did get so drunk I broke my toe. So yeah, I will admit even even if I thought you were drunk this time, you were definitely way drunker last time. <laughs> I wasn't drunk this time. I was drunk during my thing and now I'm sobering up. But I. 
No, I, I was pretty gone. But I stopped drinking because like my, my soda got watery. I don't feel like getting more ice. What if we what, what if we had a a Nash like what if we had a standardized drink? What if it was just like all soju all around or all well, are we gonna do a spicy noodle one? We yeah, are. We to, should. I want to do that. that I, I thought. I thought you didn't want to do spicy, Molly. You said you wouldn't I do mean, it. I'll do it. Depend, but I'd want to try it first to know what I'm getting myself. No, into that's that the thing. That's I know. No, no, no. I okay. Two things. One, I know me. If I do it one, I'm only doing it once. I'm not doing it twice. Like, and that one time will be live, so we can all see it. It is never happening again. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I really can't handle spice and acid reflux runs in my family. And although I do not have it, <laughs> I'm worried about causing it. Yeah, slurping a noodle takes longer than taking a sip of a drink. So it's like, I okay, my slurp. All the time? You know, like that's how it's going to be on the stream. It's like one minute slurp. I promise my next slideshow will be less time. I honestly didn't think that one would take so long. But... I knew it would. It always takes like twice the amount of time. No, it's it funny. Is. I thought mine would I thought mine would be How really long. How long was mine? It, it was Yours was like perfect length. Like yeah, I wasn't was mine. It was about 17 minutes. Yours was yours was also oh. everyone was about 17 minutes like legit except for um who was the short one? Pladies. Pladies went on way long last time. We only went on about 12 14 minutes this time about a sip stuff. Um Simple uh, you've sure. actually yeah. gone to see those those uh, plays in Japan, right? The the ta what did you say? Ta what Taka Takarazuka. Yeah. Takarazuka. Takarazuka. Taka 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 Watashi wa Watashi America Jin Des. Watashi wa Kelly Des. Watashi wa Steven Spielberg Spielberg Des. Steven Spielberg Des. <laughs> Gaijin Desu. Guy oh, wow. Two copies of this fucking art book. I have two copies of every Bakano thing that I own. It's fucking. Hard. I have. There's one Arina Tanamura, or no, two Arina Tanamura art books that I have, and I think there's two I don't have. She's my favorite one. I have two. one. I have one Arina Tanamura art book, but I think it's in Northern California. I don't think I have it here. Which one is it? Do you know? It's the Full Moon one. Oh, I have that one. Okay, I was gonna say I'd buy it from you. I have the Full Moon one and the Gentleman Cro Alliance Cross mm. one. Uh, but there's one that she has that's just like random, and I think there's one for um, time traveler Kyoko. It's I love her. Just like the detail she puts into her, like the fabrics that she draws are fucking amazing. Yes, agreed. I love watching her. Like, there's like videos of her. Like, I'm still mad that I didn't go to that con. That we didn't go to that con in Texas, and I could have dressed up as Meroko and met yeah. her. But I don't know where my Meroko no. hat went, and that is not a small hat. I don't know how the fuck I should have fucking it. remake it, man. Weston in the chat, like, do a Carolina Reaper. We're not Reaper. doing the fucking. Yeah. We're not doing that shit. We're not doing a Carolina Reaper. I actually, I don't even know how where I'm gonna get the Korean spicy noodles because I because I use the grocery service. Food. I don't even think it's on the app. So dude, dude, dude you to go. remember what I said that my family is German and Jewish? We eat potatoes. We don't eat spices. <laughs> like, I think to make it easy, I we could just it could just be like a tablespoon of sriracha. And then instant noodles. Oh, no, I don't think the Korean and sriracha. However, and I was like, no. However, I mean, you can get the non-spicy version of the Korean noodles and then just mix them together. It's like half the spice. Or maybe maybe no a cheating. teaspoon of sriracha, just like that. Small. Or it could honestly also just be like whatever everyone's like. Like for me, taking a bite of a jalapeno every minute would be a lot. So like, yeah, yeah. It could just be like whatever your spice tolerance is. Do something. Dude, the jalapeno would murder me more than I think the noodles would. When is the next one of these things? I don't know. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Let's make it Fuck. weekly. I'm actually a week from now, I'll be in Cal I'll be in Northern California. So well, we, we do it with your parents. Eh? No, we need to do one when I'm in Minnesota, so I can do one on how cute my puppy is. Oh, my phone's <sighs> dying. Um, the only thing that matters, my phone dies. I won't be able to look at the chat anymore. But um, oh, yeah. update for those that know that I got a new. My parents got a new puppy. His name is Tucker. Sophie, our other dog, is very not happy with it. Um, but yesterday, apparently, she went up and sniffed Tucker for like a solid five minutes and was just sniffing him all over. And that is a big step because before, every time she would like, there was one time that he was outside and we're like, Sophie, come on outside. And she like walked outside and then she saw him and literally just did a U turn and walked back inside. She was yeah. not like mean to him, but she was not happy with us that we got another dog. Kind of doggy. Nice. When are you coming back from NorCal, Cali? 
I have absolutely no idea, but I can I can stream in NorCal. It's oh, no big deal. well, then we can do that. But yeah, yeah, if not next week, then uh, well, we might make it weekly. Obviously, you don't have to, everyone has to show up every week, but we can do it weekly. I'm not gonna lie; I'll be drinking every Saturday anyway, so um, it, it works out in my schedule. And like, every Friday, apparently. Do any particular day of the week Saturday. when you're not? No, I don't. Yeah. No, actually, I stopped. <laughs> Is there a week? Is there a no. day when you're not drinking manual? I actually stopped Tuesday because the whole reason I did it on Tuesday was because that was my Friday, like my work Friday. Mm. Um, and I, I legit stopped because I don't have that schedule anymore. I don't have any schedule really anymore, but um. I kind of kept it for a while because it's a tradition with me and my roommate, but then it's like, okay, now we're just alcoholics, you know, but, um, yeah, <laughs> now, but, yeah, but, but the Friday and Saturday thing, that's still a thing. I, I want to stop doing it the, the nights before a podcast, that, like, that's some bullshit. Like, e- each time I do it, I regret it the, the, the day of the podcast. Like, today, I, like, Yuji knows, Weston knows, I was dying. I was like, I don't, I don't want to do anything. No drinking. No, don't even talk to me about alcohol. Like, in the morning, I, not even in the morning, I woke up at noon. When I woke up at noon, I was like, don't even talk to me about anything. Like, like no, I'm not going to drink. No drinking for anyone. Everyone has to be sober from now on. <laughs> yeah. It's not. I feel like that's how we feel after every con. No, it's not the. It's not the hangover. We're like never it, again. No, <laughs> if I knew I could just sleep in and let it pass over me, that's whatever. But knowing I have to get up and start getting ready for something, even though like it was six hours away, but I still had to like you know do things. And I thought I was gonna go to the store to buy more. Well, because sometimes stuff. also you wake up and you're like basically still drunk. So you, yeah. by the time it's like. 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. You're hungover instead. Yeah. So t- today, today actually kind of worked out because like I kind of I ate and I felt a lot better by about three or four, and I was okay. I'm okay. I could do this. All right. Man. By the way, I'm got... sending your stamps this week, Manuel. Nice. You're gonna you're gonna I'm bounce gonna do anything. Well, if you're gonna bounce man, I think we're gonna bounce. I'll just we'll just leave plate. I've been I've been meaning to close it. I just was waiting for Platys to come back, but I don't right. think he. Two quick two quick suggestions. No, but Platys is the one that wanted to hear my story about. Cheesecake Factory. Oh, well. We'll hear it after we get into the stream. It's fine. So, Manuel, two quick suggestions for, for instead of spicy noodles. Really ridiculous ones. Gyoza or hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Gyoza. Just, just eat them? Yeah, just eat Gyoza's them. Gyoza's good. What, are you, what is the challenge in that? I could eat, like, I know, 30 I'm gyoza. <laughs> Don't get me the wrong. challenge is how many you can eat, like, all together. Okay, well, okay, oh, what if it's, like, chubby bummy? Every, every minute you have to stuff another marshmallow in your oh, mouth. Oh, that would yeah. actually be pretty funny okay, if you we, did, like, the mini marshmallows, Let's too. do that one. Let's do that one. Yeah, I, I want to do, do, do that. Or, no, but or you won't. Durian. <laughs> he won't learn. Because hard-boiled eggs. talk. Durian. <laughs> Durian's possible. Durian. Durian's nasty. Well, that, that's hard I know. My, though, my roommate is from Singapore. She grew up eating durian, and she loves it. And, like, we have it in our fridge, like, durian paste. And I'm like, you are never allowed to open this in our apartment. But, I mean, durian doesn't <laughs> taste like how it smells, though. You usually is yes, right, by the way, in the chat. You can get the spicy <laughs> noodles at 99 cents. To me, it tastes the, like the, the, um, the aftertaste of it is, yeah. The initial that that is true about the 99 cents. It does. Yeah. The initial taste is good, but, like, the aftertaste. Um, yes, but you're assuming that I leave my house. No, th- th- this doesn't affect you, you obviously, yeah. Callie. But but there's, there's like a corner, a corner store. The same place I was get the MD2020 earlier. Like it's, it's not really a liquor store. It's more like one of those like mini markets that has liquor, oh. I guess. And they have the noodles there. That's what I was going to go Actually, honestly. no. Manual should have to eat eggs because Manual has the number. No, I was going to say that too. Yeah. I, I actually have not touched eggs since this all began because I got like I don't deathly like, sick. I really don't like hard, hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> I got really sick off of some eggs that... Yeah. They were, were like a month expired. They were, they were like a month expired. How are they even at the grocery store? No, that's what I was saying. When they were brought to me via Instacart, they were already like three or four weeks old. Like they expired. Oh like, I'll tell you day. that wouldn't happen now. Yeah. <laughs> well, mind you, like it was kind of at the start. Well, it was at the start. It was like right before shit really went down. But mm-hmm. I'm like, how did no one notice? How did the guy not notice? I check dates, don't you? Uh, I mind you, he's just the Instacart guy. You probably just give a fuck. The Instacart but- people do not check dates. But it it's seems so like annoying. A, it's like such an obvious thing to me. I don't know. It's I know. Like, it's really it's really irritating. I've gotten stuff from the services and it's like... Oh, it's, shit! Planning is back! I, I saw like his butt. Where'd he go? No, it was a ghost. No. <laughs> there he goes. I saw his finger. I saw a hat. <laughs> yeah. It was the ghost of Planning's past. Oh, my you God. You use Instacart, right, Manuel? And on Instacart, you choose a store first, yeah. right? Yeah. I can't believe they went to one of the wrong store. They went to the wrong store. The only thing I kind of understand is if maybe if like you chose Ralph's and Ralph's 
they went to Albertsons instead. Like that's no, the one I chose Ralph's, Ralph's and they went to Kroger's. I don't even know where a fucking Kroger's is around here. To is be fair, Kroger's? yeah. To is be it fair, Ralph's? Kroger's. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, Kroger is the parent brand of Ralph's. But like, the, but they're different. Like the things yeah, they, they are in the store are different. Yeah. yeah. They might have gone like, to like a Ralph's whole has Kroger brand. brand is like their like off but, brand. Yeah, yes, food, yes food, but Kroger like, does not have Ralph's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Food for less, Ralphs and Kroger's are so like are every so time, some... every fucking item he had to be like, they don't have Ralph's brand blank. Do you want this? I'm like, sure, whatever. What the fuck? Are, what? Why do you not have any of the things that I ordered? <laughs> well, maybe it, maybe Ralph's wasn't. I once I recently ordered Instacart and they charged me for like three pounds of apples and I did not get my fucking apples and I'm still sad. But it you can just say fun. missing items. I know they were funny. Yeah, I, I but wanna... I still want my apples. I know. <laughs> the, 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 actually, the alcohol I'm drinking right now it came from an Instacart order I made like about obviously about shit. Okay, I actually ago. shipped and shipped doesn't let you do alcohol. It's really annoying. No, Instacart does. It's actually I love Instacart by the way. I've used this. I've done. I've used Instacart, Instacart for years. Not always, but like I did for DoorDash, so I've delivered alcohol before. So it's like what else? Hey, in the South, in some places they have drive-through alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> They're called they have drive-through alcohol here. They have drive-through alcohol here. Yeah, I, I, I complained. They I complained about it. Yeah, yeah they, they have uh, drive-through liquor places that are like called like milk and shit like that. That's weird. They just now legalize the ability to order alcoholic beverages from restaurants in Pennsylvania. However, for the longest time, they did not allow consistent operating hours for liquor stores. Fucking but, but, yeah, but, but they were but they were also you couldn't there were also beer stores shots. open. Right, but there were still beer stores open despite the fact that the liquor stores were closed. Just to finish my story, I was gonna tell Cal I, I complained about it to Cali. But it's like so I was, I ordered the alcohol from Instacart, yep. and the driver came or the, the delivery person came, and they were not wearing a mask, and it really bothered me. And like I, I actually complained about it. I, I didn't know this was gonna happen. I legit just complained about it, and they refunded the order. So the alcohol I'm drinking is all free. Um, so yeah, but but legit, so I was upset. I was, I was mad upset. Scotch is huh? what you're saying. In Minnesota, I know you can't have anything in the grocery stores that's over a certain percentage. So all the hard alcohol has to be bought from a liquor store, and from like a grocery store, you can just get like some beers and like wine. But but yeah. So when my friends come to visit me, they're always like, "They have vodka in the grocery stores." I'm like, "Yeah, California doesn't fucking care." Also, I the- touch so down in like, fucking Houston. You still and get I, in for the it. air in the airport. There are vending machines with whole full bottle size portions of jack daniels meanwhile <laughs> i cannot fucking buy anything resembling actual alcohol in a walgreens kroger walmart and i was gonna say in texas they don't really sell liquor at the grocery stores and yeah. i was very surprised about that they, they have you, walgreens wait, i've been to walgreens say- and they had fucking bargain bins full of wine i'm like what the fuck is this shit did you say that you can't you can't buy alcohol at restaurants in pennsylvania they just now made it so you can order it like to go. Oh, as, oh, like, oh as yeah, as you can't get it to go. But meanwhile, yeah. but meanwhile, no, you can. They also you can. didn't allow you, you to now, order too. to like buy shit. Oh, like, it depends on where it is. Yeah, I guess. Um, they there are allow, places, like, a lot of places around me where you can get to go alcohol, shit like that. Like for, like, I, they um, did that well, at about. a place that I may or may not work at. Like if someone orders a bottle of wine, like they own that bottle of wine, they can do whatever they want with it. Yeah. However, for like um, like if they order like. A Long Island iced tea, like that has to stay within the restaurant. But that might be mm. more like a. I've place. seen places. I'm not sure. I've seen places that have been selling margaritas to go. I um, like well, also in Las Vegas, you can drink on the streets. So Las, Las Vegas, a- whatever. Oh yeah, Las Vegas yeah. in the airport, they have fucking slot machines. It's they great. also I know, I love it. Houston, ten thousand percent. Like four no. years ago, went down there. They had drive-throughs where you could get a fucking margarita oh my go. god can we end the stream Jesus yes god. i will end it right now right? Um, real fast i just want to say i'm not just being a karen in la you're not supposed to be outside without a mask that's all i wanted to add to that so yeah, yeah it's a good oh idea. yeah oh it's yeah like, you know, oh yeah it's that's a thing it's, it's like it's like a it's like i don't know if it's a law but it's, 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 it's a, a good idea law. in general yeah like, no it's a law shit, in, in la can, it's a law yeah so i wasn't just being a karen who was like no i'm scared no it was legit like dude what the fuck <laughs> and then I had to yeah, give her my ID true. and she's just like really close to me. I'm like, dude, back the fuck away. You don't have a map. I was wearing one for the record. Maybe she liked you. It's like, are we going to make out now? But anyways. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> anyways. Like a Mormon through the masks. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That oh. kind of shit. Oh.
Oh, that's yeah. getting crazy. Anyways, Anyways um, thanks for, thank coming. You for watching. Right. Kelly won. Kelly always wins. She's a fucking boomer. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna win next time. Nah. Molly gave a fucking dissertation on desserts, <laughs> and uh, okay, Cal and Molly won the popular vote. I'll be real, because the chat totally wanted her to win. Yeah. Um, Thank you, chat. I love I'm you not, all. I am kind of, but like technically, I did say that we were gonna vote on it before. So uh, <gasps> I know what my next presentation is gonna be. I know right. what mine is too. I already, I had it in my head. Serious? Jesus Christ! I had I, it in my I'll head. I'll do more on the cheesecake menu, but I feel like I should move on. Yeah, like I want to do more on the. If week. anyone has any questions about what they should order at the Cheesecake Factory, you can just message me on Twitter or on Instagram. I will she, she talk might, to you there. Yeah, she might. might I may or may not, may not work there. there. <laughs> so, anyways, good night. But that would feel against my brand. Good night, we everybody. Stay, Stay safe. safe. Love y'all. Stay safe. Spread love and positivity. Positivity. I can talk. And there you go. Peace out. Die. <laughs> oh, God damn it.